I don't, it doesn't matter what, how you feel. Saying he's led by God, but you feel like God is not telling y'all that. Do you still follow him? You said something interesting, Ish. You just said like men don't think the way that women do. So it almost sounds like you don't fully trust their expertise. So how could you successfully be led by So the majority of men don't have kids. Y'all are picking wrong. Y'all are literally picking the minority. Every man that's on this panel, y'all have more kids than all of us women? 51% of black men are single and childless. Excuses for the for the statistics. The, the statistics don't go well in your favor. So you say things like, "Okay, are they are they uh, are they shooting blanks? Are they?" Is his because men? I don't feel like men are overall passive the, the aggressive. The majority of men. Do you think that silence is that passive aggressive? Because we will do that. Yeah, if you because there's niggas that are use that as a form as a, a way to trigger a woman. Like, cause a lot of time a woman to tell you like, when you're silent, it makes me feel like I'm ignored. So a nigga will do that intentionally. Yeah, no, I'm just, cause I didn't agree with the passive aggressive part until Mary said that. I'm like, okay, I can see men and be like, you know what? I ain't saying nothing else. Well, unsubscribing from the democratic party help fix black America. Let's just unsubscribe. No, you gotta know why. I don't think so. That's the only thing that get black people together. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Wow. What I think we'll fix is if black people under truly understood politics. I because think for a guy, because listen, it's it's so many different reasons for a man to want to hang out with his friends. AJ, I'm not gonna let that slide. I heard you. Why do you think that it's older single women who share that opinion? Sometimes that's the case. There has Explain to be Explain what White History Month is. It's honoring the achievements of the greatest ethnic group in human history. Wow. I think all of that shit deserves a put them in the bathroom. 
Would you rather have a whore of a daughter or a gay son? Um, let's see here. Um, bruh. Cause if she's a hoe, that ain't my problem. Hell, she just be a hoe. Shit. <laughs> that's a that's a whore. Definitely. Like, yeah, what it's I going doubt. to college a waste of time. Absolutely. <laughs> I it, it, it's ridiculous. And can I just piggyback on that? That I read this for me, Q. Okay, five dollars super chat from Omega Green depends. Go for STEM, medical or law. However, if you go for BS degrees like communications, is that supposed to be policies or Facts. criminal justice? Poli sci, political science, poli sci, okay. yeah. or criminal justice? It's wasted time. Final thought. When you take a man's time, it's like taking his money. When you take a man's money, it's like taking his time. Simply put, we want something for it. If you're not interested, don't go out. Sis, hit me up. Let's clear your coochie balance. <laughs> Do women, should they still be covered by men? Do women need to understand what it takes for men to feel like they should be covered by men? Yeah, absolutely. Like, women don't value men anymore and, it, and it's evident for women to admit that they're not equal to their men you may have to come to that conclusion that you are not equal to your man are you for spanking let's go around the room yes or no q are you for spanking absolutely Age. Mm -hmm. okay so big kids don't get spankings mm, you gotta fight them niggas <laughs> <laughs> There's no difference between divorced women and single mothers. The man will, in both circumstances, suffer comparably with no benefit to himself. The benefits don't outweigh the cost. But not it's still not as it's still better to go with someone who doesn't who hasn't gone through that. It's still better to not choose. Have men been getting over on household duties all this time? Listen, but I don't I don't touch a trash bag to save my life. So, so let me ask you, could you and your wife switch roles and, and what you do versus yeah, what for that person hold y'all back? Um, or let y'all go because I feel like I'm not gonna do that. Like I'm not gonna be in that situation where I'm trying to fight. Direction, choose your own path. Don't just wear anything. Wear garments that mean something. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got jackets. We even got hoodies. Let's not forget our classic tea. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Wait. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Direction choose your own path. You know, this is the home of We Major, Me Frosty, Unfamous, and the restricted clothing brands. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Pace it. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, Choose your own path. Yo, yo, we here at DJ Hampton Stampede. We in the building. Run, it's a stampede! DJ Hampton 
the damn. DJ Ham does it. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Shit like that, shit like that, shit like What's that. What's poppin'? Let me check the chat real quick. Oh, there's too many people in the chat already. Going crazy. Salute to the chat. Salute to all of the supporters in the chat. Looks like everybody getting a lot of love in the chat right now. Feel me? <laughs> Fatty, what's popping? Yo, how you doing, man? Everything's everything? Absolutely. And Indeed. thank you to the content creators that came here today and Daryl Long. He doesn't have a page right now, but he's going to get there. We got you, Daryl. I I I salute to Daryl for making a new page and all that. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uh, Ali, what's good? <laughs> what's going on, man? You tell what's me, going on, man? my brother? Everything's yeah, everything. Man. Everything's everything, man. Salute to everybody on the panel. Much respect <laughs> to y'all, man. Hope you have a good day. I can dig it. I can dig it. Cheeky was not- popping. <laughs> man, what's good? Um, out of respect for you, I'm not looking at comments. Just. In the private chat, okay. Yeah, everybody stay out of the comments, man. The com the conversation is not in the comments, I promise you. you know what I mean? You. I would I would I would venture to say 50% of the time the people in the comments are talking to each other, they ain't even talking to us. So <laughs> let's stay out of the comment. Aaron, what's good? What's the word? What's the word? Showtime. Yes, sir. How's everything? Got my water. Good to go. Indeed. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit World like class that. was popping. You on mute? Put, 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 put him in the fucking bed. Get him out of here. Come on. We up. We up. Back at it like jackrabbits. Slick. Indeed. 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 I can dig it. Perfect. Sharon was popping. Shit like that. Shit like that. Was good. I'm looking good. Feeling good. Smelling good. I also got my water. Okay, okay, okay. I also got my cucumbers, so I'm ready tonight. Is that right? Cucumbers have they have any what do they do? Isn't like water just in the form of a vegetable? Alkaline. That's right. You need to eat your water, not drink it. Okay, okay. Wow. Daryl was popping. We gotta talk about this wrong. What's good, Hamp? How you? Everything's everything. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I want to give a special shout out to Sim Nation. Shout out to my family who I spent time with today. My girlfriend who I was later with all day before this started, you know. Gotta have some time with the actual people who you love. Some of us don't know nothing about that. All right, all right. Got some crazy background noise, man. Jay Prince was popping. Man, what a beautiful dog. Shout out to the Black House. Much love to the Black House. Shout out to the Civil Nation. And uh, shout out to my new girlfriend, man. She's beautiful. She loves me to death already. Is that right? Okay, okay, okay. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like she that. love you. How long you know you knowing her? Well, I've been knowing her for uh, at least two or three years. But you know, I've been trying to get with her for a long time, and now she finally gave me a shot. She was kind of skeptical because she ain't, she ain't want no rough type of neck type of guy. So she mm-hmm. finally done, you know. Okay. She can resist that president. Shit like that. Shit all right, like that. all right. Like Beans, what's popping? <laughs> you on mute, bro? Put, put, put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Yeah, what up? How's everything? Ah, oh, shit. I'm the best in the world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Shout out to the ladies who represented last week for the female content creators. We definitely learned a lot from them. They presented themselves well. They represented themselves well. And I hope everybody's growing, learning, and understanding more and more. You know what I mean? So I've watched everyone's channels in terms of just how they do things, the talent levels, the charisma. A lot of things are intangible. Um, and I see a lot of that in the in the brothers that are up here today. You feel me? So I wanted to bring everybody together to have a conversation and learn more about the people on the panel and then go over some topics that we often argue about in the space so everybody can give a concise answer as to how they where they actually stand. Oftentimes, we're discussing things in the midst of, for lack of a better term, chaos. So this time, I'll present a topic in which a, a person can answer concisely to give their full thought as opposed to people just making judgment, running over them, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? So it should be good. 
once again like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most um the chat pass is out there if you are not a member it's only 99 cents if you want to give your commentary in the chat um so feel free you know what i mean one of the um one of the moderators do me a favor please drop that link please drop the www.directioncyop.com link in the chat please also drop all the brothers links that are up here today i will also be putting those in the description as we speak all right Perfect. first question fatty what's popping hello hi friends what got you into content creation money money solely i did it for free it was fun but it was my sh it was my shit. i was doing other people i want to be rich like Karen, so i decided to my channel money okay okay that makes sense when you say so you were like assisting people building channels artwork yeah right? I, built, I built like a page somewhere and i was doing other people channels and all that mm -hmm. and the channels were were popular i was kind of carrying my own anyway fight club used to be the biggest showcase and i used to be uh, there all the time and it was uh, super fun so it just, yeah. just transition to i know what to do i know where i am let me try to make money out okay. of this i've been doing this shit for free for a while so, yes so during already. fight club you saw like people noticed you adding value whatever way it was for all intents and purposes yes 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 it was a uh, on, on on fight club there was a very aggressive environment i uh, mm -hmm. probably Aaron can talk about that a little bit better but probably a thousand people went through there mm -hmm. if you are on the top of the people that usually on fight club you probably have thousand to merge into outside so there's what most people that were on that branch actually yeah. did they branched out okay 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 shit like that shit like that shit makes like sense that. to me like ali what's good what's going on hell everything same question my brother uh I kind of started out the way Fatty started out. Somebody put me on to the space, and the first person I got connected to was Beans. Okay. Um, and I really appreciated Beans' content, by the way, as well, too. And it, it set me over to connecting with Fatty and Jay Prince, and we built something special, and they're trying to connect to the people as well, too. So everything was always about the people. It was always being able to have the conversation, not yeah. necessarily trying to tell people how to think, but at least getting people to think. So yeah. it was just kind of a unifying thing. When I first saw you, you were on La Peef. How did you make your way there? And at that time, when I was tuning in, it was, you know, I would say upwards of a thousand people in that chat room, you know, in the chat and such. Mm -hmm. How did you make your way there? Because, yeah, because I remember I messaged you. I think you thought I was somebody else. You didn't know who I was. Um, just yeah. Because, and I was more or less be like, hey, man, that's a great how you articulating points on Lapeef. I would mm -hmm. just remember you remember. Yeah, of how, course. How did you make your way to Lapeef? So I was on a show on Lapeef's channel. I was invited to a show called Cheat Critique. Okay. by um a, sh a girl named shan shan mm -hmm. and then yeah okay. saw me on that show and then he put me on the peef okay he invited right. me to the peef and he saw the value essentially mm -hmm. okay okay do you do you do you like those times better than now in terms of how the conversation was being had back then uh I can say it seemed like those conversations were just as intentional as now. It wasn't controlled. So everybody got to say what was on their mind. And the people were put on the panel to say exactly how they feel. I, I don't know if it's the same. I don't have the same feeling of how, how it is over that way. I'm not sure if you're speaking on just on that panel on it or um, in connection to this place. But I think the space in a way and the way the way space is evolving on our side is getting a little too toxic more. So everybody being intentional. So I don't think it's the, it's getting worse, obviously, obviously. It's certain okay. content creators that'll survive, but they're getting worse on our side. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting, 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 interesting. Shit like that. Cheeky like was popping. What's good? What's good? Everything, bro. What got you started? Um, Lapeef, uh, I called in on a Thursday show, um, mm -hmm. gave my thoughts and ideas, and um, JR asked me to put my information in the back. Okay. Um, and then he asked me to be part of his young group of panelists mm -hmm. and people kept asking me to start a channel because they were interested in what I was saying. And that's how it really started going. That's it. Hmm. What, what do you think, um, sparked people's interest in what you were saying? Um, I think my ability to, to convey an idea, right. You know, make it clear. 
yeah. at least from my point of view. Um, I think people in, enjoyed that being able to do that or see people do that, especially because <clears throat> a lot of the things that I say is not that they're brand new or mm -hmm. that it's original all the time. It's just being conveyed in a way that makes a lot of sense to both genders and to old and young. So it kind of works. I'm not like the the most original, but I can speak well enough for people to get it. Okay. Okay. How did you get to that point being such a, like how, what are you, 26? Uh, I'm 27. Okay. Google Gaga, right? How did you get that yeah, 27. so far in your. <laughs> there ain't no way. First part of the show, it was him. First part of the show. <laughs> how did you get <laughs> so far? It's always going to be him. <laughs> how did you get so far in your thought process, right? I fit. Here's what I'm saying. And I'm saying I feel, right? Just when I hear you speak, you your thoughts are like further along. Like you should be like like Aaron's age or some shit. I've just always been around older people. And then like I've just been in situations that have kind of forced me to grow up a little quicker. Mm -hmm. Um and then also my dad was just my dad, you know, tried to make sure um he raised, you know, children who know how to articulate and communicate. Because that's that's something that he is was big on, so you know I picked that up as well. Trying to follow in his footsteps as best as I can. Right, 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 right. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Yeah. Aaron, what's popping? What? What's the word? You tell me, man. How'd you get started? <laughs> uh, the best way to describe it is uh, unintentionally. I never came on the internet to be a content creator. Uh, it's an organic experience. We we would be, everybody watched Lapeef, let's just be honest. One of the co-founders of Lapeef, uh, we had a conversation and he said, you need to be more present on the internet because or social media, that's the way the wave going. And I said, all right, say less. Uh, probably a couple months later, uh, we end up doing a lot of live streams together. There was a group that was going on there and one thing led to another. Uh, we created a show called Fight Club uh, and that's what's transpired to this day now, so. Okay. Yeah, so I was trying to do some due diligence. So like um, there's a couple channels that obviously have like clips of like the hottest moments and such. Mm. Um, generally speaking, how you present yourself I don't see Fight Club. It, it, would I be wrong in saying that? Uh, yeah, because it, it was never meant to be that. So it just unraveled that way. It was meant to be a bunch of people just hanging out. You got to understand after the pandemic happened, it everybody was online. They were confined in spaces and people were, you know, finding communities in all different places. And if you were looking for, you know, somewhere else you kind of got drafted over here in a lot of ways so it started off just like kind of like this we all chilling having a just conversation about absolutely nothing learning about each other and evolves and evolves down the line and then as you spend more and more time together uh you know sometimes people bump heads so yeah but yeah my personality doesn't necessarily fit that concept of the fight club it's, yeah. especially unless you mean like word wise yeah not just just general like i get you know but when you watch clips right mm -hmm. the clips only show all the action right so out of an 11 hour stream it's only going to show you you know action packed things but that makes sense i know there's a cliche out there that says familiarity breeds contempt to them you know what i mean mm -hmm. um hmm, interesting world class was popping what up what up you tell me man how'd you get started um had to address a, a guy that's popular now um in my community uh saying a bunch of lies so we invalidated him so he started saying a bunch of lies this is in 2019 so mm -hmm. i'd embarrass him pretty bad and then while my child was watching me edit he asked me what i was doing and i said i'm i'm editing to put it on youtube he said he wanted to do it too so i said i gotta learn it so i can teach him personally okay and uh one thing led to another so you so you had smoke for somebody you wanted to <laughs> You wanted to correct somebody? Was it like correction or was it like let me expose? Like what was it? What was the point of initially coming on with that person? Uh, he was lying on a, a, a woman in our community that most people respect and um, just spewing a lot of lies that was getting people in trouble. 
So. Okay. <laughs> and then baby boy wanted to learn how to do this and he saw you and then you just yeah, we did a, it. We did it. We did a few videos and his uh his friends love it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Luke, Luke, Luke. Shit like that. Shit how like did Bay Boy? Like Seven. Seven? Okay. Work, yeah. work, work. It was three when we did it. Damn. Sharon was popping. God damn. I'm doing well, thank you. Why you say goddamn? <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you know you was next. <laughs> what, why you, what got you started, Sharon? Oh, nothing. Uh, so what got me started was the fact that when I started uh, going on Fight Club, I was killing people in debates and conversations <laughs> so badly. And I seen how badly people was doing with their thought process, how they was dealing with remedial rhetoric. I said, God damn, these brothers need help. And mm. since I started from the bottom, now we here. I say I gotta show some other young people how we gotta get there. Cause I started from the bottom. I came from nothing, making eight dollars an hour, uh, made to a place where I uh, created my own company in the construction world. Started on not even know how to climb a ladder, and we just built a lot of dope conversations. I see people needed um, to see people on the other side of the the arguments and disagreements in real life. So. I'm the other side of, I'm the real life walking, talking, contradicting to what people are talking about in these spaces. Okay. Solution based gang, we here. Okay. Solution based yeah. gang. Yeah. Okay. So your point is the is the is the show people how to do this thing correctly and essentially show them what what to be. Right. So um so you know, I started this thing called a solution based gang. So I deal with a lot of issues growing up myself. So I want to show other young brothers of all colors and races that yes, we can get through things. You just got to have the proper tools in front of you to deal with problems as they come in front of you and not just get stressed out and just give up and quit. Cause a lot of young men, they just want to quit. They like, fuck it. It's too hard. I'm just going to stay at Walmart, live in my mama's basement like Aaron and leave it as that. Why, why the word gang? <laughs> because when you, uh, three or more people is considered a gang. Hmm, what about the connotation though? What's wrong with it? Gang? The connotation yeah. of gang would be negative. Mm. And I came from and I came from a negative place and I became positive. So we can <laughs> it's the truth. So I still got a little bit of uh a negativity in me, so this don't make me relapse. Okay. <laughs> wow. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Daryl was popping. What's good, Ham? What's good? How you doing tonight? I'm doing the right thing, my brother. Why did what, what got you started in content creation? Um, so what got me started into content creation is there was there was someone on here saying that the black culture is trash and they were attacking black culture and correlating black culture to specifically rap music. It wasn't correlating into brothers like yourself ham brothers like your brothers of, of omega sci-fi etc cetera, etc cetera. they were specifically talking about the most degenerate parts of black culture and then the great and black women and then i saw just as the fbi saw that there was dangerous propaganda in this right so i started doing reaction videos to it little did i know that um a lot of these people have cultish following so <laughs> more idea reaction videos the popular i grew then i figured out just go for the big ones the ones at the top i think somebody got background noise i i'll um i'll mute myself until everybody else mute up because i don't want to be disrespectful <laughs> go ahead go ahead go ahead Darryl. finish finish the thoughts so we can get around but they you mute know, i know some yeah. of us are mature as fuck what but listen embarrassing my whole thing is i jumped into this space <laughs> Shot number one, I heard that. This space, so hey, shot I number one, I heard that shit. Hamp, shot I'm number not... one, I heard that shit. Hamp, again, I, I can't even finish the opening question. I'm gonna mute myself. Number one, I heard that shit. Done, Hamp. Don't do that shit again. You let me know whenever it's done, Hamp. Yeah, finish. I didn't finish come here to have no why you conversations came, with nobody. the reason why you came to content creation. Go ahead. As I was saying to the crowd, 
I came here because men are spewing dangerous propaganda. As a father of daughters, when I'm seeing different things that's happening out here, I had to check the men, whether they like it or not. And since then, I have been the boogeyman of this space. It's pretty much that simple. Okay. Would you say checking also has a balance to it? No. No. Because... <laughs> As men, we want um, to paint a picture that life is not fair, but then ask for fairness. So, no, life is not fair. So, when it's talking about balance and all that different stuff, no, I don't believe that. And um, often, what I found is the women were the most honest in this space, which is why we developed Sim Nation. I can see my time. Okay. okay. Jay Prince, what's popping? What's that man? Man, that mic. What's good? So, uh, I'm chilling, man. Um, what you want to ask me the question or? Yes, sir. How'd you get started in content creation? Well, first I would say uh, a lot of pain. Okay. A lot of hurt. And I had something to say and get off my chat. Hmm. Uh, I first started off on Facebook. And what I seen on Facebook, it was like, it was like a lot of black women. They was in this swirler group. And, and within that swirler group, they was talking shit on black men and talking about how white men was better than the black man and just started just like going down that rabbit hole of doing stuff like that. So I feel like I had something to say. And so um, I started talking about my experiences with black women and stuff like that. Although although um, I should always clarify, like I, I'm not against my black women. I'm not gonna talk about black women with no other race of people not white women not white men nobody else this is a conversation between me and my black women so i start off doing that for since i think that was like 2015 mm -hmm. and i got extremely popular on there and then mm -hmm. um once i hit youtube uh i don't know if you heard of nala said nala says and uh, uh taz and cynthia g and I did a show, I did a collab with Nala Says and Cynthia G. And that video got about like 70 some thousand views. And then later on, I started watching uh, Lapeef. And then I started seeing Anton. And then Anton dropped a link. From then on, you know, uh, man, I went to their fight club and stuff like that. And I became popular over there. You know, so Anton um, gave me a channel with just me and him. After I came from Kendra G, I went on Kendra G show that he gave me a channel. And the <coughs> channel was booming. We we got lots of views. Uh people thought one person came up there, gave me I I was taking it as a compliment. They said that um uh, I was naturally funny and they I, I remind them of Richard Pryor. And to be compared to Richard Pryor, that's you know, that's 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 a good compliment. Yeah, you yeah. Okay. So, I went on from there. Okay. It's interesting. You you mentioned pain first. You thought you felt that the internet was the best place to was it dive into the pain, discuss the pain, or tell people how you overcame the pain? Well, uh, I grew up in a family where uh like a lot of times this this type of stuff that I'll be speaking on, a lot of times we got into physical fights. And one time we got to start shooting at each other. So I need a space where I need to get this off my chest. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like, you know, it's a lot of people that went through the stuff that I went through. And I came in with the intentions of being 100% honest and transparent because I knew a lot of people that were suffering from a lot of uh, mental health because a lot of that pain developed a mental health. So I knew, um, I was going to attract a certain type of crowd and I wanted that crowd is the, the crowd that I was trying to attract is the people that stuck in silence. I had to be the voice of them too and take the embarrassment. Okay. Well, that's, I can understand. I can see it. I can see it. Okay. Okay. Salute. Beans was popping. Yep. It was goody. How'd you get started? Um, well, it's it's this cat, um, Aaron O and his sister Brittany B, and they were struggling on this little weak ass platform called Fight Club. 
And so they hit me up and they was like, please help us, please save us with your personality. And so I came through and helped them with it. The... Okay, I'm just playing. That ain't what happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> Aaron O like, don't play with Fight Club, nigga. What really happened was, uh, I was dealing with, uh, I was dealing with a lot of issues, man, growing up uh, with my mom. And um, I was dealing with them on Facebook. And it just wasn't, Facebook wasn't the, the platform to have that conversation. And I had a few people tell me YouTube was the place to have that conversation because YouTube is the world and Facebook is really like just your, your select group of people. And so I brought the conversation to YouTube and um, after being on YouTube for a minute, I discovered uh, I discovered these other platforms like Lapeef and Anton and Fight Club and what they had going on. And um, the conversation just got deep now, man, and, and it's been a journey. I've been blessed to be here. Okay, okay. Facebook is not the world. How does that? I agree to that. Ah, because they trying to convert it over now where it's more like people doing a followers thing. But at that time, four years ago, it was like your friends. So, okay. you know saying. what I'm saying? It was just like your friends. Whatever you was yeah. posting, it was really for your friends only. Whereas yeah. with YouTube, you can literally reach the world immediately. Yeah, it's almost like somebody had to know you to find your group and et cetera. Absolutely. Right? Or yeah. know somebody that knew you because very rarely, there wasn't a feedback then, right? Where you could say, this is yeah. like interest. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. I'm going to try to read all the super chats. Um, I usually do a decent job, but, you know, as we get into it, I don't know if I'm going to want to halt the conversation for all the supers, but I, I think I do a decent job of getting to them for sure. <laughs> Please don't. Granville with the 10 ounces. GBG in full effect. GBG, GBG over everybody. On Allen with the 2 ounces. The riskiest show he could have lined up. Nah, bro. Sun Kiss, Shalom. Salute, salute. Randall said GBG, GBG. All right. But Garrett, what's popping? My brother with a ten dollar says, "Let's get it cracking." Indeed. GBG, Sherelle in the building with a twenty ball. She says, "Salute to my guys, Aaron, Twin, and Cheeky Bandit." GBG in full of full effect. Gang, gang, salute. Sell you light with the ten ounces. Drop the suit. Hamp is wartime. Shit, the Secret Service dressed like this. To with the two dollars says, "Hamp, you a wild boy for this one, nah, bro. Are we gonna have a good time." Quentin with the two dollars. Two dollars says, "Why y'all look mad?" <laughs> TJ Sim smooth with the two dollars. What up, DJ Hamp in the panel? What's popping? Real Bavala with the two dollars says, "Hamp in the suit again. Look out, indeed. You feel me?" I'll be in. MSR was popping with the two dollars. Look at Deacon Hamp. <laughs> Raw B was good with the ten dollars. Says this is gonna be juicy. Ju I ain't. This is gonna be pause. Pause. Shout out to to Hamp, Ali, Aaron, Jiki, and Team Fatty. <laughs> Rain on me with the five dollars. Says dropping all niggas tonight who ain't on the bullshit program. Tommy B was popping with the two dollars. <laughs> Hamp looked like he about to pass a collection plate. Uh uh. But Garrett with the 20 ball, salute. He's an Aaron, Cheeky, Sharon, Fatty, Ali. Salute. Uh, let me see. Daryl Small has three occurrence finance charge on his Android. All right. <laughs> salute to the $5, man. Blue Collar with the $2. Salute, good fellas. Appreciate you. T.O. with the $2. Sharon, you as a gang member? <laughs> Quentin with the $2. Who, <laughs> who going to? Who gonna show their bussy first? JJ Carver with the 200 yen says, why JP look like he a pimp hell driver to tail driver two bugs? Let me salute for the 99 cents. Easy money. Salute to everybody else who became a member as well. What up, buzzing, buzzing, those flipping dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You got your cousin, was Crown Life with the two dollars. Salute the hand, world class beans and Sharon. Salute. Quentin with the two dollars. JP fumbled the biggest bag. Maybe we'll, we'll understand what he's trying to say. Harambe Jack was popping with the 20 balls. So shout out to Aaron O. Cheeky, no red pill rage. And Sharon, huh? It would be too much to ask you not to derail and simp. So do your thing. Podcast, what up? Ask Florida, accept my marriage proposal. <laughs> yeah. Hamp, good show. Salute, bro. <laughs> and, and 
NJ Dre was popping with it too. Though. So Jay Prince then looked like Marshawn Lynch. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Cali was popping hemp out here suited and booted. Yeah, man. Indeed. Rock the Den was popping. He says, This spear is why y'all here, especially you ladies. Music man, what up though with the two dollars? Let's get this on, niggas. Look. Once again, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. We have 224 likes. It's 589 people in the building. Let's get the likes up, please. Put, put, him, put, put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. I've been drinking. All right. So this is a two-part question. All right. Two parts. We'll start with Cheeky on this one. So do you think... You, I was meant to say, you have been more of an asset or a liability to black YouTube. And then what, what were others perceive, perceive your value to be? You understand it, Chiki? So what yeah, do you I think, think so. what would people say? Um, I think I've been an asset. That's the first part, right? So oh, I think yes. I've been an asset. Mm -hmm. Um, And what do I think people would perceive me to be? Yeah. Um, I think... I think that most people kind of see me as the, depending on the age, of course, but I think most people see me as like the little brother, the youngin, you know, that's just trying to figure shit out. Mm -hmm. um, and in the process, I've made mistakes, man. I'm not, I haven't been perfect. So, sure. Um, but I, I think generally speaking, I think most people know um, that I'm not really here to cause any problems. I'm just giving my thoughts. And in the process of giving my thoughts, um, you know, I'm, I'm giving, I've given ideas that can be challenged. I've given new ideas. I've given uh, talking points that, you know, aren't really usual. They're very unusual, but they start a conversation and that always helps bring the conversation forward and things like that. So my perception, I think my perception, you know, um, on others would be like, he's just, he's just a regular young guy just talking. Like I, it's not like I'm like this huge deal to most people. I don't feel like. No, well, I would say that the ideas do permeate, though, right? Even when you explain to me the house husbands thing initially, I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? No way in hell. And then as you broke it down, I'm like, damn, he has a point. So that house husband thing, even if it your name isn't attached to it, which it should be, that house yeah. husband thing is loud, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I definitely credit you for that. I'm. I'm not. You know. I'm. I'm sure it has origins. Aaron. You know. I know. Yeah. Well, and pod, lot, pod, but... Right. So this like and, and podcast has been one of those people too. Like mm -hmm. where the idea, you know, has blossomed into yeah. what I've you know made it to be as a whole. But there, there's definitely be, like I said, a lot of my ideas I won't say are super original. I'm like the the most original guy. I just know mm -hmm. how to articulate a point. And think about it hard enough to go hey these are the reasons why i think this is an idea that we should look into yeah but yeah th th you, everybody on this panel is definitely i mean when i say everybody i literally mean everybody has played a part in some of my ideas and how i communicate them for sure word 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 i like it i like it sharon do you think you have been an asset or a liability and what would other people say about you regardless of what you want them to say my question is what do you think they would say you know you see what i'm saying yeah i believe i'm both i believe i'm an asset to um to people that want to have long lasting relationship and i think i'm a liability to people that want to hold on to that it's a gender war so i'm a liability because i'm able to articulate my point of view about being in a long lasting relationship so i am both so there's one thing we don't do and this might be risky is use some both would be some and both would be some maybe both i hear those the same way so if you had to pick one which one would it be as asset asset because you are a proponent of long-lasting relationships that's one of them yeah okay what would another one be just so I'm, i got the whole picture another one for uh men taking accountability for who they are and they responsibility for where they at in their life hmm you think men so the, a sentiment is that men understand consequence because we deal with our consequences coming all the way up. You don't think that's true? No, most men, uh, I would say at least, um, I would, 
No, I don't think that's true. No, most men are not trying to be responsible for families and they want to have the least amount of responsibility into this day and age. Damn. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll dive into it. Now, what would other people say? Uh, it would depend on who you ask. Some people, they, they despise me. They do not like majority. me. Hate majority me. of people. Uh, majority of people, I would believe they absolutely love me because I'm handsome. Hmm. Really? Yeah. That's what I get to hear. It's like sometimes I don't even get to recognize my name anymore. Like they say handsome so much that I've started to think that was my name. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Okay. Considering uh, when I'm looking at analytics and things of that nature, the majority of people watching are men. Yes. So that 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 confounds me a bit. What, can you clarify? Oh uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, it just makes me believe that maybe what Q was saying it might possibly be true. What the fuck? <laughs> Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Daryl. Same question. You need me to restate it? No, no. I got you. I got you. Um, asset liability, right? In terms of how you see yourself and then how others would see you in terms of those two terms as well. Um, I've been nothing but an asset, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing but an asset. Since I've um since I came into YouTube, I remember doing a show back on Lapeef with Courtney Michelle called Let Me Clarify. We spoke about postpartum depression. We spoke about mortality rates for black women. We spoke about medical disparities that affect both black men and black women. Right? Um, I remember her and other women telling me that this like that was one of the first times they heard black men even had these conversations and acknowledged the fact that black women do have chemical imbalances and had the conversations with them. Um and then moving forward, when it comes to money, I know my name is a big money maker. So I know if you go against me, you put my name in the chat, you're gonna have people that, that just come with you, you know, to support. But that's all that's all good, right? Helping content creators make money and also being able to cater to the women that support me. I look at it as a double edged sword. I'm um I'm an asset to both. Hmm. I'm asking both. Um, I never, I've never considered myself to be a liability to nobody in this space. You know, unless they make themselves opposition. You know what I mean? Especially if they within arm's reach. You know what I mean? I linked up with Sharon when I was in New York. Me and Sharon had, had arguments, had no problem with Sharon. Next time I go to New York, I'll be right in Brooklyn, Brownsville, linking up with Sharon and his people again. So what I do. Um, I linked up, I told Jay Prince, I'm coming to the, the, um, the Wisconsin Dales with my family, my people, MJ, we already got the tickets, everything booked. Oh, yeah. I'm a link up with Jay Prince. So what I try to do is cultivate real relationships where I can lock arms with the men that say that they got the solutions that they want to give out to other people. Um, oftentimes we Come bump on. heads because people just refuse to, um, to really just be genuine. So I think I've always been an asset to the second part of your question. I think people would say I've been a liability. Okay. Or I think people would say I've been evil. I think people would say I've um probably exhibited some of the worst behaviors and said some of the worst things they've ever heard anybody say. Okay. Right. So <clears throat> again, I'm I know who, who I am and I know how they feel about me, and I acknowledge both. Okay. Okay. And this is a yes or no question. In terms of egregious things being said, are they wrong in that? If they say that, some might be, some might not be. Um, most of them won't be. But a lot some of some not be in an answer. It wasn't think, so, so just yes or no. Like, do you think they would be wrong in in saying that, or or what you think? Yes or no? They would definitely be wrong because you know wrong is all. Um, sorry, yes, yes, they would be wrong. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Beans was popping. Same question. You're on mute. Go ahead. I know. Ask it again. You asked everybody else to ask it again? No, I didn't ask Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think you have been an asset or liability in this space? And what would other people say? Well, I find it, I would find it odd if people said I was a liability. I don't, I don't, it's 
if you say problematic yes but liability maybe not so much um i definitely believe i've been an asset to the space um but yeah i think other people would if they had to choose i think the majority 51 percent of people would choose a liability um because they dick ride narratives but i think the the true response would probably be yeah he's been aggressive angry problematic but not necessarily a liability i haven't done any damage to the space um necessarily okay um your sub so you more problematic is more palatable for you i think it's more fitting i think it's more accurate right it because problematic doesn't necessarily equate to liability but I'm saying if you ask people, if you give them a choice, I think 51% of people would absolutely choose liability based on the fact that they dick ride narratives. You see what I'm saying? So like if the, whatever the narrative is about you, that's what people are gonna ride with. Why do you why do you um characterize it as dick riding? Are you saying like they don't have an over y'all mute if you're not talking about what that noise is? Like, are you saying that they're only going with it because everybody else is going with it? Regardless. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 so I've been around long enough that I can pretty much everybody on this panel, I can pretty much break down, right? To a T from top to bottom as it pertains to what they have been in this space. There's not one person on this panel, and a couple of these niggas I really want to punch with love, like brotherly punch, not hate punch. But I don't think it's one person on this panel right now that people can honestly say has been a liability. It's been things that have come out of these situations, um, out of these personalities that I don't like, and I've been vocal about that. But a liability, come on. And that's why I'm saying it's it's gonna be based on the narrative, right? The, the same people who will tell you that Fatty, Fatty has been a liability to the space are the same. Let him, let him, let, it's just about you right now. No, 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 gonna, but I'm, I'm using it as an example to say that the same people. I know, people but here's what say, I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. When you say his name now, they're going to be thinking, they're going to attach it potentially, right? So I just they, want, When you say that, you're talking about Fatty or the audience? Audience, right? Because okay, you'll yeah. say, like using him as an example, now they, yeah. they'll hear that last. That's all. Not yeah, saying yeah, you yeah. was doing, you know what I mean? No, 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 I get it, I get it. You're saying they're stupid, but you don't want to say that because they're super no. chatty. Got you, got you. <laughs> but no, what I'm saying, though, the same people who would say certain things be the same people that's watching you, right? So, and that's all I was going to say, is okay. that you can say whatever you want to say necessarily about somebody, but let's just be honest. Um, The personalities themselves, the, 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 the space hasn't even defined itself. What is it? Is it Manosphere? Absolutely not. Is it Red Pill? Really, we got Daryl Long on the on the panel, along with Sharon. It can't be Red Pill, right? So what is the space? It hasn't necessarily defined itself. It's just entertainment, quote unquote. That's what everybody falls back on. And so that's what I mean when I say dick riding the narrative. Whatever the narrative is about the person, more than likely that's what people are going to assign their, their belief to. Okay, okay. Okay, I I want to I want to understand narratives a little bit more, um for sure, uh to see where the truth is in them. You know what I mean? Ali, what's good? What's going on, fam? You tell me, my brother. So, what you think? Have you been an asset, liability to the space, and what would other people say? Uh, de definitely an asset. I think majority of people would say as an asset, okay. and 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 just inherently just from the heart alone like people know most people know i genuinely care about people i want i care about the community i genuinely want people to come together and whether any brother acknowledges or not even if i don't rock with some of the brothers behaviors i support everybody <laughs> on the panel I, su I support every woman and man period i might not support behaviors but anybody who has conversations with me always know i, I have good faith conversations regardless, regardless of how passionate i've may have been or seen as over, um over pursuing it's always good faith conversation. It's always intentional conversation. But I also have invested about everybody on the panel as well, too, um, and shown support. I, show, I I support everybody on the panel. Yeah. Do you think in terms of, like, when the intention of the conversation get lost in being overly passionate or over-pursuing, do you think people miss the message when that happens? 
not most people know most people know who i am as long as i've been here there's some of us on here uh, are passionate we have our moments um where we may seen as uh over pursuing in, in our nature on trying to get to the truth but for the most part in my it's a few people in the space they see me as a certain type of way and see probably see me as a liability i have to accept that but for the most part people know i'm about i want people to come together i want marriages i want men and women to come together i want families yeah okay so you answered the second half you believe the majority would see you as an asset as well of course of course huh? okay. okay 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 shit like that shit like that shit like that aaron what you think uh can you just repeat yeah. the question to make sure i have it correct mm -hmm. uh what do you think you are in this space asset or liability then what would other people say if they had to answer the same question about you <laughs> good question <laughs> I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, I would say that the people that I've had conversations with on the panels, mm -hmm. whether it's on the panel, we back chat conversations, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I add a, a high level of value to them. Just when we discuss in life, things that they can add to their shows, just anything like that. I think I add an enormous amount of value. Uh, I think I create a space for people that I'm a genuine person and they get that from me. The audience, <laughs> I think that what has spawned from Fight Club and everything that comes from it, there's a high level of entertainment that people get out of it. Yeah. And then there's probably some personal gain that some people get value of, right? So no matter what they come here for, it's either entertainment or some personal value that they've gained. So the way I look at it, I've given a, a good level of value to people. So I would say I've been heavier on the side of uh, asset. Okay. The things, right, when, um, you know, because like I said, I only see the clips and things of the nature. The, did any of the negativity that is perceived get tied directly to you or people understand you're monitoring a panel, the channel is what it is? Or do you think you absorb some of that? I, I honestly, I don't think I absorb any of it. Okay. I think that people, some people are independent thinkers, and then some people are group thinkers. But but so, what, what would you say? Majority and minority of people. The the majority of people don't view other people's actions on the panel as being consistent with me. Right? They they okay. see me separately because I would navigate. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily do the things that other people do. Even if I could do it, I didn't do it. So people can yeah, see that damn who does and who doesn't. Yeah, beans on. Come on now, because you you're long winded as everybody else was mute. I seen um uh Sharon doze off when you was talking. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Aaron. Finish your thought. No, no, no. That was my thought. Okay. You ready? All right, all right, all right, all right. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit Fatty, what's popping? Hello. What you think? You think you've been an asset or a liability I'm, in black I'm YouTube? Gonna... I'm one of the biggest assets on this place, by far. How come? I can help every single person on this panel get better in every single way. People get excited every time I go somewhere. My people travel with me. You're going to get more views. You're going to get more money. I can work on the back. I can do thumbnails. I can edit. I can participate in roasting conversations, dope conversations, war, peace, uh, solutions. I am clearly an asset. Absolutely. Even if people don't like me, they are going to get more numbers, more money, more views if they have me on their team or if they mention me. So absolutely an asset. And what would other people say? The same thing. Same thing? Yes, absolutely. They might say that I'm not the asset, but if you put my name on the title, are you going to get more money or less money? More views or less views? If I go on your panel, is it going to be better or get worse? Are people, is, is there any place where I go where people say, Man, I'm not excited to see Fatty here. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if people are excited for me to see him here, and every time I show up or whatever, my people travel with me. They are yeah. spending money. They are shouting people out and all that. I'm clearly an asset. Yeah, because when you look at the two words, right? Uh, you know, yes. assets for all this is a purpose would appreciate something, right? They yes. appreciate. Okay. So that regardless of how they feel about it, the benefits outweigh the cost. Absolutely. Okay. okay, that's pretty simple enough. Actually, 
not talking about nobody in specific see when i'm on the place and when people cut me off see how the the usually things go when i'm inside of the group and i'm there and when i leave and how things actually work mm-hmm. and you can have an assessment of who is who who is the asset who is the liability okay that makes sense that that is economics jay prince was popping what's going on man? everything and nothing bro same question do you think you've been an asset or liability to the space and what would others say about you i think i've been a, in, in a intentional liability break that down. when i showed up it exposed the liars mm-hmm. you know it, it exposed it exposed that uh you know when people have been on a high horse and they downplay everybody else and you know when they when they say that uh they they talk one thing talking about they want black liberation taking care of their children women and stuff like that and and they label me as the poopy but i did all of that and they not um the liability is you know, uh, they make them have to face look in the mirror how this nigga that we look, look over and look and, and speak better and went through a whole better life can articulate <clears throat> He barely can't articulate himself. Not only was he raising his children, he came up with a goal. He completed it. You know what I'm saying? And hire people. I'm creating jobs in the community. And I have not seen that one of these other niggas did it. That's that's on the that's very articulate, articulate, intelligent, financial steady. Never been through too much trauma. So I'm a definitely liability because majority of people in this space, I would say, are the revenge of the lame slash nerds. So Jay Prince, break this one point down just so I'm clear. I'm not trying to break it down. I'm trying to understand it, right? You say you came here because of pain and you said a lot of your conversation ended in shooting. So then mm-hmm. then you said you haven't dealt with a lot of trauma. Those things don't seem to coincide. Maybe you can clarify. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I had a lot of, uh, back then I had a lot of beef with my own people. And uh, I, like my family, like they extremely violent. We all are, you know, uh, that's not something to highlight, but that's just the way we were set up. That's the way we was brought up. Mm-hmm. And um, when, we, when we start talking about issues, like deep rooted issues with your emotions, a lot of my family is emotional driven, which y'all would say is feminine. Uh, so it will lead to like fights, Okay. Um, to the point where we get to start pulling our gun. Okay. So you don't see it. You're just saying it is what it was. It was, it was going to be what it was going to be. So you don't see it yeah. as super duper traumatizing because that's what it was just coming up. It's like we hate each other in the moment, but after, after, after they go down, we stop talking to each other for like a couple of weeks and then we back loving each other and finna get into a new fight. I don't know why it's set up that way. Okay. And what would other people say, real quick? You, you would say they would say you're a liability. Other people? yes mm. and and uh, just so i heard it correctly you're saying that you've accomplished the things that they say you have to do xyz to accomplish but you didn't do xyz to accomplish them yeah it's almost like they was the truth until i came up when real when real showed up it exposed the fake it exposed the liars when i came up being extremely transparent being honest uh taking the embarrassment you know, I've been, I basically embarrassed myself based on a lot of stories that I have told. And so it exposed when, when real came, it exposed all the, everybody else of being fake. You know, it, it exposed that, man, come on, man. Like y'all can't be this perfect. Okay. It exposed, it, it exposed people wearing masks. Okay. I got you. I got you. World class. Same question. What up? What up? Good. Yeah, de- definitely an asset by way of exposing the liabilities in the space and showing people how you can dominate and control over other people's channels whenever you want and using what they say, <clears throat> especially when they got 100,000, 4,000, 68,000, how you can dominate and make them niggas do what you want them to do. Even though they're sitting there barking like they got um, some type of credibility. So, you know, that part, knowing that in this space, 
if you don't say shit that's correct, these people will come and they will bring it to me. And I'm, the same thing that they will say about me is you can't convince that nigga anything. You can't convince me to do anything. You're not going to get me to choose what you want. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I'm one of the only people in this space that build that platform 100% on themselves. Not off of Anton Daniels, not off of Angry Man, not off of Kevin Samuels. And I don't follow trends. Would you, okay, and what would other people say? Should yeah, that's what I said. You can't convince me to do anything. Okay. No, but in terms of, would other people also agree that... Asset yeah. liability? Yes, sir. Asset. Yeah, because a lot of these people, are, they have gotten a lot of information from me on to be healthy. And, um, yeah, people are now, using it right now on the panel. So when I hear, you know, things like we, we, we're revealing the truth, we're, we're leveraging, what do the results have to say for it to be considered an asset? right does it have to be one person who got the message does it need to be a hundred people who got the message like is one person enough for it to be considered an asset yes okay as long as it's not two people that's negative you hurt you help one you don't hurt two you help one you don't you know what i'm saying that number got to be what well, basically zero okay. in terms of who you hurt <clears throat> okay so as long as it's a net positive you consider it an indeed asset. indeed okay. Okay, 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 okay. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. And yeah, we're not rushing. We're gonna, I think we're doing a good job in terms of pacing. You know what I mean? I'm interested in the answers and all that. You feel me? GBG Sherelle with the five dollars. Salute the beans and nigga turtle looking ass. Pound pie mob. Black man was popping. Why with the two? Why the fuck I'm not up there? LOL. Shout out to DJ Ham. I got, I got you, bro. <laughs> Angry <laughs> man, salute. He said, "Who summoned the light skinned drippy god?" <laughs> MJ was popping with the twenty bosses here to support the whole Sim Nation SBG in the Black House. Have a good show, gentlemen. We appreciate that. To with the final says, "I'm hypergamous like Sharon said. Most men are pound house husband 2024." Looking for a five two to five eight six figure lady that knows how to be a leader. God. Wow. Damn. AP was popping with the five dollars. Ham, are we able to drop folks in this stream? I thought this was all men, but you got a woman. I guess that's why you have <laughs> her. Come on, man. Damn. AP and money with the five dollars. Daryl and Sharon are the, <laughs> the zestiest creators. There are bigger man. man oh man. Damn. AP with the two dollars says Princella is more of a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Angry man with the ten dollars says beans. Estimation point. Why you call me to a full panel? <laughs> Damn. Crown life with the two dollars says beans. Corey Holcomb gonna be in Kentucky soon. King Kunta with the two dollars says they take Team Fatty Task Force. Oh, wait. The takedown team fatty task force assemble. AP good. with the five dollars says beans, bro. Give yourself more credit. Definitely an asset. Sherelle with the five dollars says y'all are all assets to the space in your own individual way. Honestly, some some good, some bad, ugly, all assets. Angry man with the ten dollars says one light skinned brother on a fan panel. That's some bullshit. Ali, I'm light skinned, right? Yeah, you light skinned. All right, two angry man. Jim with the five dollars <laughs> says, if your, channel, like "If your channel is constantly being taken down, breaking guidelines, you may be a liability." HQ with the two dollars says, "Did you get my super chat from Rain on me?" Huh? I don't know. Mm -hmm. HQ. That's your rock the dim rock dim with the five dollars says, "I guarantee this spear is not majority incel, quote unquote. If it was, your ass wouldn't be here, ladies and gentlemen." AP with the five dollars says, "All the brothers on this panel have value and are an asset. I rock with them." Now the sister in the bottom middle, why he going so hard? Why AP going so hard? MC Heavy Tips with the ten ounces. Hello to I the panel in chat. Man, I don't know. <coughs> Quentin with the ten ounces. I'm not excited <coughs> to see Fatty here. Damn. Ray, what's up, my brother? Appreciate you. What up, buzzin', buzzin', bird, flippin', dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Striking it rich with the two pounds. Say shout out to Fatty Ali DJ Hemp. Let's go. Andre was popping with the five ounces. Panel outline is perfect. JP and World. Damn, y'all just be wild. <laughs> Damn. Hold on. Who is this dude? Is this Damn. the I'm delivered guy? 
Yes. Yeah. I'm in delivery. Sugar Bum with the five dollars. Sugar Bum with the five dollars. A lot of subliminals going on, but Reaper, salute my brother. Appreciate you. Rise, girl. I see you. He said, salute, Hemp. Salute, man. I miss you. I ain't seen you in a minute. Blessing to the men on the panel. Hemp, you're great at leading discussions and asking real questions. Yo, where my bro at? I text CT, but he been he been running around, man. He been getting it popping over there. So that man is busy, man. He got back to me a little late, but we definitely gonna have a part two because there's a lot of brothers who can definitely um be up here to, to further this conversation. You feel me? Other outside is human. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She wanna run the street, so let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be cop blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. Thank you, Roz. Appreciate you. DB with the 20 ball. Great conversation and panel for the most part. Reaper Rail with the oh, yeah, Reaper Rail with the final says salute to DJ Hamp in that Burlington Coat Factory Vice Assistant Substitute Principal suit. I hate all of the panels. Just kidding. Salute and God bless. I got this from um oh Nigerian jokes. JJ Carver with the 500 yen says some of y'all are prepaid expenses, neither an asset or a liability, just here existing. Damn. That life with the 10 ounces. Salute Hamp was popping. Fatty on down to beans are assets. The rest of the Funky's not so much. Get them out of here. They add yeah. nothing to the space. Unpopular truth was popping. He said, Pie Mob, salute. Quitting with the two thousand GBG look like they here at gunpoint. <laughs> Ray Midnight with the five dollars says, For the folks in the back, for the gang. Salute, Ray. Angry Man with the ten dollars. No, seriously, is this a closed panel? I really want to know why beans summon me. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Angry man, I don't know. <laughs> Angry man. Um, the AP with the five dollars is de- uh they're wrong. I had I had respect for you until I don't like saying names, right? No man, I mean no man goes on the show. My name is Yanni. Yanni. Oh, okay. All right. Well, at least he clarified what, what his issue is. Salute, salute the AP. Sherwin Thomas with the five dollars. Cheeky, you look angry. I think it's because you don't have your hat on. Go get that hat. <laughs> man, y'all niggas leave me alone. I'm just here chilling. Tired, <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, can you smile one time so they know they know you should Bro. <laughs> niggas angry is man, chilling, man. Fucking, we are Instagram, we are man. chilling. We all we are chilling, okay? Check your don't, Instagram. Don't. I want these people thinking I sent you off. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That yeah. helps the channel the most. Let me check the likes real quick. The likes are at 299 and 653 people. Please get the likes up. That shit is crazy. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. All right. Uh, one more clarifying question. Then I have a couple questions so we can clarify different sentiments that are seem to resound in this space. Hopefully they're good ones. Regarding YouTube. Would you be considered famous or infamous? Regarding you two, would you be considered famous or infamous? <laughs> Fatty, why you smiling like that? <laughs> what do you think, Fatty? In, in, infamous, absolutely. I'm kind of an anti-hero. So I'm not the like the famous part. I'm I'm on the infamous part of YouTube, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just wonder. I think they both are equally effective, right? Because it's traction, support, yeah. and whatever people, it is. Yeah, people actually lo- love the the infamous, the anti hero, like the Wolverine type of dude. They don't like the squeaky clean Superman type of dude. They usually like more of the anti hero. Like you don't need to be a villain per se. Sometimes you deep there, like you deep your foot there. But I'm I'm probably infamous. Okay. Absolutely. Beans, what you think? Yeah, I mean, if I have to choose, it'd be infamous because I know I'm not famous. Um, it does surprise me every time I go to new channels and they know who I am, but I, I don't. I'm not famous. So it'd probably be just infamous for um, you know for obvious reasons. Yeah. Well, so and just to be clear, they're this. They're two sides like of the same coin. Is that the proper way to say it? Like there's popularity in both, right? Mm-hmm. But the reason in which you popular, infamous, would be like uh, 
Like you remember the old school? Oh, like like my bosses and shit like that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. Um. So they would be infamous, right? Um. But then you have famous, like like Fatty said, like a Superman or something. So you still go with fame, infamous. Yeah, absolutely, because you got Don't Mischaracterize Me, You Say My Mama What, uh, put, Catch a Flight to Chicago. You know, I got all these different scenes. I seen your Lil, right? So, yeah, I'm sticking with that one. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ali, what you think? You mean you mean famous like distinguished? Famous like popular for, <laughs> for good things, I guess. Yeah, yeah, popular for good things, definitely. I'm not no. I, I, like I said, there's a few people that can mischaracterize what I say or what I do, but for the most part, definitely fam- uh, famous. Okay, okay. Jay Prince, what you think? I would have said in famous, but you know, a lot of people they do shows about. You me say what? What did you say? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Jay Prince. Yo. And famous mean like not non-famous or famous. It means that you're popular for bad things. Bad is kind of hyperbolic, but that's what I was saying. Like you know, like uh, Scarface, right? Scarface would be infamous. Like people like him, but they don't like him. They know what he does, but they can't take their eyes off him. You know, but he's a J- J- bad guy. Go ahead, J- 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 Prince. Uh, look, if you look in the private chat, I got you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? So, I'm kind of conflicted with the two. Uh, uh, all I can say is, like, I know I'm very popular, and a lot of it because of bad things, laughable things, whatever the case. Uh, what make me famous is people be reacting to me that I don't want to be thinking about. That's something that you do with famous people. You, you talk about famous people every day. You have these famous people on your mind. And they don't even know you. They don't even care nothing about you. They don't think nothing about you. So that kind of will make a person famous when you got all these people. Then also they was using a lot of people have used my broken English. You know, uh, like don't dismiss my character. All all this. Uh, what's what's uh, what's that? Uh, a school sissy. Like I'll be trying to pronounce these words and they make fun of it. <laughs> you know, but it, it, it is what it is. What do you mean, exclusivity? What is that? Like, I'll be trying to, like, what you got right now, be more exclusive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't fuck with the English language. It be spanking my... No, no, my, I understand. What? What's the What's the actual word? Exclusivity. I don't know. You got to ask one of these. Uh, exclusivity. Big ain't shit. Oh, 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 oh. You stop that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like a lot of... It's like a lot of... In, in, in a lot of my... Uh, Wait, hold, Jay Brown. Exclusivity. Oh, hold on. Hey, what? That's <laughs> Jay, Jay Prince. You a legend for that? No, them asses be spanking me, man. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the That's English crazy. language to be more, Sharon, you know, like, more like basic. Like, come on, you it, you don't have to have all of these big words to articulate to get somebody <laughs> to understand your point. Yeah, nah, real shit. Nah, that's 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 legendary. I didn't I didn't know what you was trying to say. You ain't shit. Huh? Well, yeah, a lot of no, I said using, that. Like, a lot of people they be using a lot of a lot of stuff that I have. You know, my character. Uh, a lot of people I be saying like a lot of people be kind of like mimic like mimicking them way in. A lot of people like by me being who I am. Hey, Prince, you came up with this minute. Yeah, I heard. I was watching something. I heard that for the first time. Fantasy said it on a panel I was watching. And then it was like mm-hmm. two other people saying it. So I'm like, oh, this must be a word. <laughs> <laughs> that came, that's me trying to pronounce it correctly. Okay. And nobody was laughing when they were saying it. So I'm like, oh, it must be like a, you know, like in the uh, hood vocabulary Bible or some shit. You know what I mean? Or dictionary. Yeah, they started off laughing, but I guess they got too old. Like they've been, that diminished word been around for a um, a little, little while now. Damn. Okay. Shit like that. Shit like that. Okay. Shit like that. Shit like that. Cheeky, what you think? Um, probably not infamous. Uh, so famous, because there's only two options. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I don't think. Honestly, I don't think either. To be to be fair, but famous more than infamous. Yeah. House husband. You said what now? House husband is infamous. 
Um, I think it's infamous until you hear it, and then you then you have a problem coming Once up. You break it them. down. Man. Yeah, like once it's it's like oh fuck, I gotta think about it. So I don't, yeah. I don't know. Aaron, what you think? Is the question pertaining to how I view myself or how I think other people view it? You, you, you. Uh two options. Uh, it would be more. It would definitely be famous. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. weird to say. <laughs> Man, you'd, like- be, <laughs> you'd be surprised. It's, and and again, it's it's in you know it's it the context is YouTube, but when you pop up and when you're on panels and things of that nature, the kudos and the acknowledgement is what you know what I mean. That's the lens I'm kind of looking at. You know, I, I think typing my name in the search bar kind of make you go, "Wow, <laughs> wow that's yeah. so that that kind of make it more realistic." But it still sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it's real though. <laughs> you know. World class, what you think? So, so is this pertaining to this space or YouTube? Because this people that got three, four million subscribers that y'all don't even know. The bars, the bars, well, uh, uh, inner circle con- trader. These people I don't even know. The context of would be I'm saying YouTube, but it would be I guess people that would know all of us. It, that, I think that's probably a good framing. This this space? If it's this space, then everybody up here famous well you can be popular for for negative reasons which would be infamous that's a good you point. see what i'm saying yeah that's a good point that's a good point mm-hmm. yeah so so for me definitely infamous either way yeah hmm. do you like how fatty said it do you accept that title do you know that that's how it was going to be i did it on purpose yeah to be infamous in that way yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay. Because if it's if I'm addressing things that I think is wrong and I'm being loud about that, then the fun and the stuff that I, I like and I'm doing that on purpose. Yeah. I had to take responsibility for that. Okay. 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 Sharon, what you think? Famous or infamous? I don't think I'm um, known for doing anything uh that is extremely a bad deed. So I would have to say famous. Um I would have to say famous. I met people in real life. I met people that came up to me. It's like, oh, I'm such and such in the chat. Hey, okay. how you doing? So I, I don't think I'm known for something bad. I don't think I'm known for a bad deed. So it has to be famous if I got to choose out of those two. If people make um, videos about you, I guess you got to call it famous. I remember a show from a long time ago. You were reviewing something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and a uh, salute to Anton. Do you remember he was saying how your channel was being built? Do you remember that? I, I never reviewed it, but uh, other people did. Oh, so I guess I am. It. I, you said it, and I think I went to go see what it, you know what I mean? Like, and so, mm. um, because it was saying, essentially saying, like, how the channel was coming to, you know, into glory, so to speak. Yeah. Um, what, Where do you think that sentiment came from? I think that came from uh, people building narratives about my channel okay. and not actually watching the channel. Cause you watch the channel. You cannot say that something that happened for 20 minutes out of a six hour stream, that that's what I'm building my channel on. People that know me and been to my channel and hung out with me and had conversations know what I'm really about. Okay. okay. Ain't nobody can say that I'm messy. I react to messiness cause people want to try to attack me. So I react to things and I ain't scared to be a part of no mess. I'm willing to get down and dirty. Don't get this soup fucking food. <laughs> okay. I would slap somebody's smile right off their face. <laughs> like that, like okay, that. okay, okay. I think it's don't be fooled by the soup. <laughs> <laughs> when, he yeah. said, when he said it, don't don't let this soup fool you. Yeah, that's that's right, right. That's not what he said. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> It was a game. You gotta leave him alone. Damn. <laughs> Daryl. Regarding well, YouTube, well, would you be considered well, famous yeah. or infamous? Um, that tap I think, water? I think I'm infamous. Infamous? <laughs> Sharon, tap water. No, no I, think, I, I think it's definitely um, infamous because <laughs> I, I built the name on, like I said, being a bully in this space. Um, to be to be perfectly honest, the only formidable 
person I see here outside of yourself, Hemp, is world class. Um, I don't really, I don't really enjoy doing Hemp. You know what I'm saying? All the time, the the calling people while the putting footage together, you know, and really, to be honest, um, embarrassing people. But due to the fact that I have, I grew infamous off of it. I come into spaces. There was a time where uh, I would come into a space and people who I never met, they would throw up something that was related to something that I did in this space, whether it was a content creator, I went that, you know what I'm saying, the bald headed guy, or it was a young lady that throw a little flowers in the chat. They'd do something, right? So then I'm thinking, I don't even know you. You 40, you 50. At that point, I realized I was infamous, so infamous that my private parts get their own videos. I think I might be the only man here that private parts got his own videos. I can see my time. Well, were you, was your goal to be infamous? Absolutely not. But I realized that the men in the space, they love misogyny. They love um, hating women. So I became infamous by being their rival as if they could ever be a rival, but the rival that they think that, you know, they are formidable against. I just started to break down all their talking points, right? And I do mean all of them from black women don't get educated more, which we know is a lie. I have a census bureau put up. I had it put up before the show even started about which black men have children at which ages, right? So we can have that conversation, right? So what I start doing is me, Venus, a lot of the ladies that I started Sin Nation with, my wifey, MJ, Jalen, all the ladies, we start breaking it down. Then I start getting wrenches, hemp, and other in, in other spaces, Danica Marie, et cetera, et cetera. And together we started calling out the men collectively. So um through that I became quite infamous. But you but that wasn't your intention, right? So if you could, would you change it? No, no, absolutely not. If I could, I'll do everything I've ever done the exact same way all, all, you know, all, all over again because um, I've learned a lot of lessons. I've been able to weave out, you know, a lot of fakeness. Look, 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 I'm at a point now where I can have 10 people in my chat and make more than I did when I had 600 in my chat. You got so, so to me, I became infamous and I built the tribe. I wouldn't change a thing. Okay. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Perfect. Let me read D. JJ Carver with the 200 yen said, Why is Daryl's ears connected to his shoulders? He said the same thing about me. Harambe like Jack with the 50 ball says, Aaron, oh, I'm sure what I'm sure was the greatest thing <clears throat> about Fight Club. The only level headed person who kept the conversation logical and focused. The brother deserves more <clears throat> accolades, but he be humble. Yo, big shout out to Aaron, motherfucking O, the motherfucking goat. Pause. Maybe. <laughs> um, shout out to Fatty. And when I'm feeling broke, E and J by my side, Kenny like forty dollars. Salute, salute. Marriage, politics, and sports. This is Mr. Payne, right? Yeah. What's up, Mr. Payne with the 10 ounces? Where's the wisdom of a boomer on this panel? Panel. Tell me this space is growing. <clears throat> Vet Life with the five dollars says cheeky salute. Old vanilla wafer head ass boy. LOL. <laughs> nah, salute, fam. Quinn <laughs> with the two dollars says <clears throat> infamous is still famous. Dummy. Sugar mm. bum with the five dollars says. Not angry, angry bird feeling left out. That's sad for people his age. Juan Solo, salute my brother. JJ Carver, the 200 yen said, JP got world class bra cup on his head. <laughs> Big bad boy was popping. He said, with the 50 ball, said, I've been a chat mod supporter and promoter for every single creator on the panel. I sincerely have love for each one of them. And view them all as extremely talented. <laughs> Even though we have not always seen eye to eye on every topic, they have good hearts. Shout out to Big Ben. Jesus, you make over me under the blood. In the morning, when we wake up, 
and the blood that Jesus me take up. And when me feel like me, I go pray up, put the blood on me face just like a makeup. Salute. What do you think? Like like uh huh. JJ Carver with the 20 in said, Can y'all add captions when JP speak? Damn. Salute to MJ for becoming a member. Add money with the fellas. JP needs to get off these spaces and clean his house. Damn. AP with the fight says, Hemp, that what's the course to replace the female in the bottom in the middle with AM Hank Ricky real motherfucking men? She's trash. Damn. As A with the fight says, JP, you are the best. Nobody needs those words. They try to use. You are very interesting. You sharp tonight, and they gon' hate. Mm. <clears throat> Rock then with the ten dollars says, Yo, Hemp, next time you have have an all ladies panel, show up, name it. This might be frisky. That's with crazy. they verbal finicky asses. Damn. <laughs> Quentin with the two thousand. Sharon still ain't send me that AWS info. See, AP with the two thousand. There. Oh my god, AP. Damn. <laughs> Alexis. Like that. Like that. Salute so the Lord for gifting five membership. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Angry man with the ten dollars said they are not the most educated. They are the most enrolled, and most men under thirty don't have children. Stop capping. Mm. And JP should let go of English. She divorced you a long time ago. <laughs> Great pill. <laughs> salute, salute, salute for locking in, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. The likes are at three hundred thirty-two. 332 and there's 723 people in the building. Put, 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 put him in the fucking bedroom. Get, him get out the here. likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up, man. All right. So I hope this is a good question. Um, I want to see. I want you guys to be able to answer this fluidly. This is a, a point where if somebody has contention with an answer, then we can have a simple discourse. All right. So, one of the sentiments is in the space, right, is there's a strong dislike for women and their conduct. Now, to be fair, it could be the women more so, or it could be more so the conduct of women. If vagina was put in a can, how valuable would women be to you? Excluding the obviously having a baby. So, this is how the world would work at this juncture women are extremely valuable hold man. on daryl let me finish painting the picture okay just so you this is how the world would function right now you, you're going home on your way to work you can grab a six a variety pack six pack vagina work the same way as a real one but there's also women that they, women still have their parts as well if you had that option how valuable will women mean to you so it's it's two part though when i say you but also what how do you think men would move at that juncture Go ahead, Daryl. In that junction, still, in, in any junction, women still bring value, no matter if, you know, the vagina is there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, when you think about women, women bring knowledge, they bring balance. Sometimes they bring foresight, right? As a matter of fact, I see men today, you know, content creators, we want to bring women to our panels. We have specific nights for ladies. We have specific days for ladies because we understand that women are valuable. We're not having sex with these women, obviously, right? But they bring value to the show. They bring um, beauty, attraction. They bring femininity to the show, right? Have yourself. I'm pretty sure you didn't have sex with all the ladies that's been on your show in the last year, love, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they brought you a lot of value. So I just want to make that clear. In any situation, women always have value. But I got DoorDash. Go ahead. Mm. Beans. Oh, fatty. Go ahead. Nay, and love. They have vaginas. If you announce that the woman that come on your panel don't have vaginas at all, the value of the people that watching would go down immediately. That's when you say these women are married or these women are single. There's a reason when the women are single. People get more interest because they are available. With all the respect, if there was the situation that you have 
most of women, 90% of women will lose their value immediately. I will consider that men love companionship too, but I can buy a dog for that. And he's going to be more loyal. He's not going to leave me. He's going to always be excited to see me when I get home. So the reality is a woman without a vagina is like a man without money. You need to do something to make sure that you actually bring value to whatever secret dance you are. And most women don't have value without their vagina. World class, before you answer, do you want to maybe respond? Let me, with let me, that shit was dumb. Let me get clear on what you just said. You said they still have their parts, right? Yes. No, no, no. I'm talking about talking to him. You said they still have their own parts in your scenario in the, uh, the pain, yeah. picture you paint. Said that, right? Yeah. yeah. No. And the no, option. Well, it's no. interesting. It, it, so initially I said, yeah. Um, cause I'm thinking I'm giving men the option to where the vagina and the can can do the exact same thing as the one, the woman the has. Right. So uh-huh. now I'm saying, if you have the option to choose what would men still do, because you can still buy the six pack variety and you can buy a dog. So yeah, yeah, I'm at his point still relevant in terms of it. Yeah. But we, we left out that part. That, that part confused me that I, I thought you said, yeah. Go ahead. The women, the women still had their parts, but I like it. Um, women are very helpful when they, uh, when you give them instructions to and through. Um, they just got to put them in there, you know, put them in position to be successful. Like, um, like what, what was just said, they bring perspectives that men don't be looking at. They look at the small things, but we don't. You know what I'm saying? That's the value that they have. They focus on little, little aesthetics, little minutia little things that we don't really focus on we don't really care about so they dope in that regard um so yeah let's okay. say it is amazing so let me just clarify this okay let's say they didn't have the part would you still have the same sentiments yeah because what i just said they had nothing to do with their vagina their ability to focus on stuff that we, we don't focus on is uh extremely valuable can i say something real quick Amp? two seconds amen it's funny that these people that consider woman value never befriend 400 pound woman you notice that their associate female friends usually kind of look nice kind of look fuckable and all that they all like a woman because of her femininity and because she sees angles that you don't see but when you say can that woman be 400 pounds most of them will say absolute motherfucker not well, so how would how would anybody know? How would you know who on, Sean, you has a friend? How would you know? How would you know in real life who people are friends with offline? And why would you ask a, a man to go? Oh yeah, here's an ugly friend of mine that I I deal with. Why would you ask another man that? With all the respect, do you address my point? Yeah, I did. So I'm validating the, it. I'm so, validating it. Oh, okay, so most friends that you have on these YouTube streets, woman, they are attractive or unattractive. So my question was, why would you ask a man to bring an attra- the unattractive one and go here? This is one of the ones that's unattractive. I will repeat it again. Woman, I'll repeat my woman. point. What's the what's the question? What's the question? Ask the question again, Fatty. I want to see. Go my ahead. question to him was, I made the point that these men that say that women are valuable outside of their vagina always find themselves with women that are attractive. Is rarely the 400 pound woman. She is my friend. She brings value to this panel and she can look to different sides. No, we usually gravitate towards attractive woman. So my question to him was, if you think actually that I'm lying or I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm not telling the truth, are most women that you befriend on these places attractive woman or an attractive woman? Is that a fair question? There's hundreds of women on this place. He could have seven obese women, seven <laughs> women without a teeth, one woman that don't ever ask. No, it's, it's clear. I'm yes, go ahead. I think all women are beautiful. Go ahead, yes. class. I understand the question now. So yeah, if we so, if we use the results in which we can see on the panels and the women we had around us, do they reflect women having value regardless of how they look, or is their value coupled with how they look? Yeah, then my question was why was the first one was how do you know these people in real life? So we switched it to uh, how you? How would you know their friends in real life? Then we switch to YouTube. So at YouTube, why would you then ask a man to bring to go? Yeah, I, I have unattractive people in YouTube or like maybe people in the chat. Why would you ask a man to present those people? It doesn't really make any sense. It's undermined. But you can answer my question. Our your question is invalid because your, your question, the nature of your question is 
can I can give me a second? Let's look at the noble girls, right? Savannah Aria, attractive. Natasha, beautiful face. You can go go on and on and on and on. Most of those women, Lexi, attractive. Most of the women that you had around you, the 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 noble girls, were attractive. Was that a, was that an accident? Are you surrounding yourself by beautiful women or attractive women by accident, or you are talking about obese women, women that are not attractive? Where are these women? If what women are, where are these women that are That's not? That's my question. So, what obese women showed up and cammed up like they did? What obese woman, unattractive woman, is hopping up on the panel? Oh, world class. I, I haven't have seen it on your panel, world class. I have to be fair to the to the discourse. Mm -hmm. You haven't really answered this question. He's now, if you answer, that'd be good. And then you can still add your after context. But an answer mm -hmm. would allow us to get more clarity. If what, he's if, if, because if his if his point is valid, regardless if we move like that, it would still be valid. You know what I mean? It, is it is his point valid? Is his question valid? That's yeah, what I'm at. What he's saying, like even like no. let's say you remove yourself. Okay, well, if you remove yourself, do you agree that men have attractive women around them, or men just have women around them? Women. Hmm. Oh my! Because you don't pick who they you don't pick who they who, who come to your school. You don't pick who come to your job. You don't have no pick over that. You just pick them who come. You you can't control who hit that panel who, other than the women that you bring here. And to yeah. be unattractive, listen. Because if if we on stream y'all right. And they know they got to be cammed up and they're going to criticize more than likely the attractive ones is going to hop up when you had the women the other day who was unattractive nobody because the attractive women are the ones that's going to be more confident to hop up there and very rarely so the ones that hop up on the panel or hop up in the that's in our chat consistently they're attractive so how am i how am i going to yeah, pick a 400 pounder if they're not there to pick you know that's why he's lying question. you know why he's lying because on his, he, right. on his right. intro Yes, Courtney Michelle, attractive. <laughs> woman on the middle that I don't know the name, attractive. And Lucky Marie, attractive, saying, world class, handsome. Why didn't you pick a fucking woman with no T? Like one booby right. bigger than the other. No, well, you value the. So, 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 so the Pam, do you, do you keep hearing this question? Do you keep hearing yeah, okay, the question? So why, we, did not, why did not pick? No, so I understand. Which, well, okay, Let me ahead. clarify real quick. So, yeah, look, we belabor it at this point. So, exactly. initially, world class is saying the options on youtube are largely going to be attractive options because they're more likely to cam up and get on camera Thank um so the choices are usually going to be women that are averagely attractive at least so it's a dumb thing to say and it's disingenuous at best yeah. because the only options there is attractive women. not the main options oh, no, there is attractive you understand so, what I'm one oh, question it's kind of dead right because this yeah, exactly. is it's a different question. I should have been asked. Well, well, okay. I want I do oh, want to get Sharon in and then just hold on to that question because I want to get everybody yes, in. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, awesome. yeah, gotcha. Um, but that was an interesting discourse, and we had the chat that the people are having the conversation, so it's definitely provocative. Sharon, what's popping? Uh ain't nothing. I'm just saying that Ali has a he's friend with Fatty, so there go. Huh. <laughs> Why are your oh, jokes wow. never make nobody laugh? What's, what's that? What's that mean? Can you clarify that? I was, yeah, I was that's not making it hurt, That's man. the 300 pound girl right there. What are you talking about? Yeah, who else is 300 pound? You know what 300 pounds is? No, listen, listen, listen. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. If y'all say, now listen, remember what I said was off the table. This is an awesome dialogue. That yeah. little joke, whatever, but don't, I don't want to drop nobody down if they violate what we agreed to. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. let's just stay there. But ha, ha, I was going to say this real quick. I well, think hold on, it, hold on. It it's still Saran. It's still it's still oh, yeah, my solution base. Solution Even though he said that, yes, yeah, solution base. Dope. Go ahead, Sharon. <laughs> so the thing is that women absolutely have value. I think um, men that dislike women, they don't look at women as having any kind of value. And as simple as that, they think that they could buy with prostitution. That's why men try to, when they in the strip club, they're not even buying the, the vagina like that when they in the strip club. They're more buying their time and they're having that woman in, on next to them, talking to them, being feminine, the way how they smell, the way how they look, the way how they look into the eyes, the way how they interact with women. So, yes, women absolutely have value. Okay. Regardless of sexual appetite. Yes. Regardless of sex. Because sex is the least thing that you have in a relationship. So how can it be that it's so valuable when when you are in a real relationship, you've been in a long-term relationship, the least thing that you're going to do in that relationship is have sex. 
most people have <laughs> like 15 to 30 minutes at a time. So even if you did it every single day, you're going to eat food more than you have sex. You're going to drink water more than you have sex. You're going to go to sleep. You're going to talk. You're going to do everything in a relationship more than you have sex. So yes. Well, let's think about what you just said. Yeah. Uh, Can I challenge you? I just want to ask him to challenge you. Listen, listen, oh, listen, listen, listen. Here's what I'm going to say at one time. Let people finish their statement, all right? Because it's very important to consume, pause everything they saying. All right, I want to ask one clarifying question real quick, and then Beans can go, then Ali, all right? Um, the strip club is what is the the strip club thing threw me off a little bit, Sharon? Because her pre are, are you alleging that people go to strip club for companionship from women? Okay, okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. Go ahead, Beans. <clears throat> So I'm getting old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. But what I know is four, he named four things. And at least two of those things don't have anything to do with women. Right? He named sleeping and, and food and, you know, everything you eat at woman ain't cooking. I want to agree with you, Sharon, but the problem is, is that for most men, I don't think this is accurate. Right? It, when you start having a conversation with women, you start realizing very quickly why there's biblical text that tells women they need to move in silence. And I don't think, see, let me just be honest. I think a lot of niggas is pretending with all this simp shit, but I literally support women and want them to be the best versions of themselves. It's not my fault that they won't be. And they keep providing ammunition for motherfuckers to use against me when I try to defend them. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you offered up what they have in between their legs or in, in the middle of their face, I guess it's the bottom of your face. If you offer that up in the can, they would effectively become useless. Hmm. Right? Because we're talking about majority versus minority. Shout out to him for being able to get away with that because I was an asshole when I wanted it. You can't have the majority of women being afraid of accountability, afraid of introspection, afraid of being objective, and at the same time tell me that they're providing some sort of unsubstantiated quality for the, the average man, it's not happening. And I think that's what matters is majority versus minority. And the majority of women refuse to be the intellectuals that we need them to be in order for their value to supersede them sexually. Sharon? So I think I think the problem is, is that um, when a man is talking to a woman, he's not looking for it to be intellectual. And that's the, and that's the issue that uh, y'all have. It's like, so when I'm talking to a woman, I'm talking to, a friend, a female friend. I'm not looking at her to be intellectually matched with me. She's a female, so I'm not looking at her to be my equal in intellectually, but I'm talking to her because she's gonna see things that I can't see because she's a little bit softer than me because male are very rigid. We are very sh straightforward. We're very rigid. We got horse blinders and they will pull back the horse blind so we can see a little bit more clearer is what a woman can provide for you. They will say something that will open up your thought patterns and say, oh, I did not see that angle. So they help cross your teeth and dot your eyes. Yes, but the problem is, is that you're acting like that's the majority of women. When we have evidence to suggest that the majority of women are this, Sharon, this woman just slapped this man and this man just slapped her back. If we have a conversation about it, the majority of women are going to focus on the fact that that man should have never hit that woman under any circumstances. Hmm. They're not gonna start at the beginning. They're not gonna be objective and say, she should have kept her hands to herself. They gonna skip past that part and jump right to the man and say he shouldn't have hit her back. But that's because you. Thing, I think, but that's why I think, think having a conversation, about being, a conversation wait, 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 about being aggravated and a conversation. Wait, 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 wait. Let beans. Let me finish his last. He has six words left. Go ahead, Bean. That's the problem with seeing them beyond sex. The only way for me to see you beyond sex is for you to be able to communicate in a way that takes your value beyond sex. 
It's not about being equal to a man. It's about being equal as it pertains to being introspective, objective, rational, reasonable, logical. Okay. Let's do this wrong. Quick rebuttal. Then Ali wanted to say something. Also, I see Fatty had his hand up, and then Jay Prince just just kind of jumped in a little bit. Go ahead, Sharon. To be honest, Darryl, I'm not I forget really, about you, Daryl. Go ahead. I'm really not even understanding what's being's point about the whole slap, and we not talk about that. Like we can't just bring all types of things into the conversation for no reason. We is talking about certain things. All women can they provide something other than a vagina in a relationship, any kind of relationship, friendship. Yes, they absolutely can. There's no way you can refute that. There's plenty of women in these spaces that we have relationships with where we never even thought about putting it in them at all. Fatty says it all the time. I do not use this thing as a dating. So therefore, yes, they have value beyond their legs. They switched a little bit. Now this now this switch let me oh, this right. week you attract everything a day so, so brother ham I, I i just want to be clear when you asked the question you were yes, talking about the body part in the can correct it was separate from the woman that's the way i perceived the question when you asked so i want to ask the okay ask the three brothers that quickly jumped to the value of the woman separate from the body part they didn't talk about the body part being this can so i want to ask the three brothers at the bottom since that's what they went to first instead of the body part would you have a woman that only has sex with you she doesn't do anything detrimental to you she don't but she don't do absolutely anything for you either but she will have sex with you or would you rather be with a woman who uh does everything for you but she won't have sex with you hmm. i'd rather be with a woman that does everything and not have sex with me okay no no no, no just let him finish uh they're alone in a world class same question the latter. the latter everything but have sex World class. I'm gonna somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. The latter. Daryl. I mean, you're saying that, that that's that's easy. That's easy. Okay. I would take everything else she brings to the table over the sex. Easy. I do that right now with Sim Nation. Go ahead, Ali. Did you have a follow up? No, no follow up. I just wanted them to say that to all the world that that's what they would pick. That the woman. We, we can be messy. We can't be messy. Yeah, right I'm, not be, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna. But, these, but these, is it, was that not I, the foundation I, of the question? Of bullshit, bro. Was yeah, that well, not? I, okay. I, accept, I accepted your answers. I'm not pushing back or anything. I accepted. This is your amazing. Okay, cool, cool. Hat, it was that? It was. Oh. Yeah. Hat, was that not the foundation of the question? Yeah, that was because we got the you got the pussy in the can and she got the pussy. So you're mm -hmm. asking specifically what value did they have outside of the pussy? Foundationally, um, so so here's what Ali did. He understood the question. Then he asked based on you guys answers a second <laughs> to get clarification so he mm -hmm. didn't so what i'm saying world classes he mm -hmm. didn't try to avoid my question he asked a different question to just With open up a, thought, a line of a line of thought you know what i mean correct um, it, it's interesting it was interesting when i heard it I, i'll say that um it was um so let me do this hold on fatty unless hey bean what's your favorite word that was hey, uh What's now, Fatty, did you have something quick that you wanted to add before Jay yeah, Prince? No, no, it's just a, like is the premise, right? Women right. have two legs, two arms, a wallet. They work. They take care of. They are valued just because they exist. They can be presidents. They can be workers. We're not talking about that. We are saying that most of woman value is in their vagina. And you know, I know that. M, hmm. which one has more value, a beautiful woman or an ugly woman? Beautiful. Which one is more valuable? beautiful everybody's going to say beautiful so her vagina the way she looks her sexuality is going to be literally connected with her value the same the way with money who is more mm -hmm. uh, valuable a man with money or a broke man a man with money if we are very honest when it comes to men and we are straight to the point no what if he's tall what if he has this let's be honest An attractive <sighs> woman is way more valued than an ugly woman and most of men look for the attractive woman because they know they have more value than the ugly woman that's all that okay. is we're not that has nothing to do with the question wait 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 that's why i asked what i asked what, what is it is, it, it's an open dialogue he just had to, he had a statement i want to get jay prince real quick oh, okay uh do women have without the coochie would i still value women do women still are value absolutely like to me, the men that will say that even see a lot of times when I hear men speak about it, would say the opposite. They speak more out of anger than what was reality. 
the reality is you got female family members who you will never fuck and you love dearly. In fact, you love them way more than the men in your family. That's one. Two, a lot of the a lot of men see more the problem is when you have it, more men see more value in other men because typically a man not his sexual body parts not supposed to be attracted to you neither, but yet you can value that man. Right. And and thirdly, like a woman gonna have your back when when a, when a man fold on you. I would trust a woman, I would trust a woman over a man hands down. And the other type of stuff that women bring, see it's it, it's I think it, I think it's unfortunate for a lot of us that a lot of us don't was never taught what women really bring. I would say the when you think about spirituality, I would say men is the mind of the, the god of has the uh, the god of logic, and women is the god has the is the god of heart. The women brings that energy to your house. You can always tell a man don't have no woman in his house if you go over his house because it's gonna be feeling dead. And it don't feel like a home. It's just a house. A woman energy comes in, and she brings. She a woman gonna uh, gonna love you unconditionally. You know, when your when your daddy say fuck you, a, a, a woman gonna uh, forgive you when all the niggas say fuck you. A woman a, a woman is the ones gonna uh, care for you, nurture you, feminine, especially a healthy woman, a feminine woman. When other niggas say, well, you messed me over one time, I, I'm done with you. I mean, when you think about these platforms, all of us have said some most egregious shit about women. Okay. And most of us got the majority of support from women. I know I done said a plenty of shit out of anger and frustration. Jay Prince, and, now and, I have and, any context to what you're saying? Come on now, everybody got their chance to speak, don't... Uh, oh, that was my bad. Go ahead, Jay Prince, you good. Go, go, go. Uh, um, women still be supporters. Had those would have been men, Men would have said, man, oh, F this nigga. Nigga, he says some stuff I don't like, so I ain't finna deal with him. A woman gonna hold you down. How many times y'all done said some foul and bogus to a woman and she still supporting you? Financially showing up, all that, where a man gonna say, man, fuck you. So when, when, you, when you try to dumb down a woman to a woman to her vagina, to me, I would question the sexuality of that man. To me, if, if you only view a woman based on her coochie, Shit, you and then these are the same men that you see interacting with men more. You see these same type of men interacting with other men way more differently than they do women. They they push off hatred towards women and push off nothing but love towards men. So in my mind, I think you gay. Okay, and, 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 and the problem is it's a lot of closeted oh, yeah. men. Okay, how, how you able to see a lot of value in men? That you're not supposed to be attracted to your sexual body part. I'm not, but okay, I'm gonna wrap it. How you are able to see more value in other men, and you not his his sexual organs supposed to be been in that can, but yet you can still find value in other men. But now you want to sit up here and talk about a Love woman uh, without her coochie, she don't have no value, nigga. You is gay. Shit. Oh, wait, oh, that question was for who? I'm not being specific. I'm he's saying saying about the men who say they who only see that man value. over a woman because you you have better relations. Most a lot of these men have better relationships with other men than women. I would say that you be gay. You know it's funny. So, these these men went on a campaign saying that. Thank you, Reaper. Women are healers. Hold on, hold they on, heal. Fatty, hold, on, hold on, Fatty, because I want to make sure we make sure everybody gets in. Um, you heard what Jay Prince said. Now, Beans wanted to chime in. Beans, it may have switched based on what Jay Prince just said, but I know you try to get in real quick, Beans. Is it still pertain at this juncture? You're on mute. You're on mute, Beans. Well, mine's dead real quick. Yeah, mine's just super quick. So, a few hey, days ago, when, um, just to add to what we're talking about, when I was arrested, before I was even put in the squad car, one of the Sim Nation ladies was already at my house, ready to pick up my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So again, we can sit up here and say, well, women have no value. She pulled up, she had MJ on the phone, right? My sister's on the phone with her too, because I made it, I made it, I made it that way. I made it the way that the people around me, they know my family, they know where they can find me in my city. So again, before they even had me in the back of the squad car, you can ask MJ, she in the chat, Jen in the chat now. 
She pulled up to my crib where I lay my head at where my daughter was at. Brought her clothes, brought her whatever she needed and said, hey, until the situation clear up, we got you. You get what I'm saying? So again, some of these men may not have women around like that that are actually beneficial to them. But I don't need to have sex with a woman or even sexualize her in order to get the benefits from her. And again, <laughs> the simp angels, they represent that. I can see my time. Cheeky, I want to get your opinion real quick, Cheeky, on what Daryl kind of doubled down on it, but specifically what JP said about the benefits of having a woman and how they're less likely to turn their back on you and shit hits the fan as opposed to having a, a brother next to you. I don't know if I can agree to that because I've a lot of the situations where I'm I may need some backup. I'm thinking about calling the homie before I'm calling the girl because the, the situation will require some type of strength physically and mentally. Um, so when it comes to stuff like that, I, if I'm in trouble, I'm calling a man. Like, what about, what about mental type of trouble? Like when you have to deal with like life, not just somebody just trying to, you gotta go I'm fight. Calling, I'm calling a man. Okay. Deal with life. Uh, JP, JP, you're you not mean? asking a question. You're trying to give more commentary. Let Cheeky finish his statement. Okay, I'm Please. calling the man for that as well. Like, I, there's, there's, um, relatability when it comes to mental health or perspective on, on worldview matters a lot because if we can't connect on that level, then how can you help? Like, we have these issues on the panel all the time where men see things one way and women see it another, and the women are like. Well, I don't understand why you don't see it like this. And we're trying to figure out why you don't see it this way. Um, okay. um, so in regards to personal help and, and mental help or any aid that's personalized to me, I'm going to look for a man. Now, maybe with emotional things, right, I, I may go to a woman because they they seem to be a little more in tune or more expressive and, and seem to know how to decipher that, right? Because their practice the, the society allows them to venture and, and discover those kind of things while men tend to have to either suppress it or not even address it at all so you know maybe in that aspect you know i would go to a woman but when it comes to mental physical i gotta talk to a man because who else knows what it's like to be a man but a man i got one question to you but like when when people know when your circle know what you've been through who usually take the initiative Male and men or women. When, when when people oh you know you're like when when there's an understanding oh my, it's my it's my guys when my guys know what's going on they like bro what's are you straight my guys are the ones that that check in and be like bro you good and that and that bro you good is it, simple right but when you really a, when you really the homie you we all know bro you good means if you not let's talk but if you mm -hmm. is then you is and mm -hmm. it's real simple it's not it's not a it's not no hey well how's your day it's just bro you good and we looking at each other and like we know what's up like unspoken understanding right among yeah you. like and that and that in and of itself makes makes being vulnerable a lot easy because it's not an addition it's, it's a it's simple and it's like bro you, so you, you already know what's going on yeah. and with women when it comes to vulnerability they the details that you got to give sometimes and the explanation that you give makes it awkward because it's like I don't I feel uncomfortable being vulnerable as it is and mm -hmm. now I got to explain what's happening bro you good it's such a simple I can just get into it yeah I don't I don't have to I don't got to okay. worry about all of that all right let's do this fatty give your comment let JP address what was said in terms of his um understanding then I want to yeah. get Aaron to answer the original question so I just want to say that all these men on the bottom not named beans complain about men being orange dogs they just want to eat they just want to fuck they are baby daddies they just want to deal with the the woman and use their for sex and leave dick discipline they preach this shit. they are bandits like all this conversation right and now all of a sudden men don't want women for just for sex men want men like value that no you stay over there you say you guys preach time and time again over and over again that men just want women for one thing multiple times use them abuse them and all that so just stay over there yes man most men want women to fuck if you take the possibility of vagina and sex they are not going to engage and 
especially this man Jay Prince been preaching for a year about women being healers. They use their vagina as healing. He sold that shit for months, and now all of a sudden, no, women are more valuable than that. Come on, man. We have to stick to the point. We have to make sure that we and, uh, stay. If you choose a side, we stay on that side. Don't flip flop now. Just, right in front of everybody. Just Go got ahead, smoking at the big one. Oh, about big discipline. Now all of a sudden, I promote it. Go ahead, Jake. Okay. okay, to address that part, um, when I say women are healers, that was one aspect because that's the, the focal point, right? When I say the touch of a woman, like we all got mamas, right? Or have mamas. And if you had loving mamas, the nurturing feeling that you get from your mama to pose to your daddy, your dad can't give you that certain feeling that can heal you just by her presence alone. A it's healthy not, woman. Yeah. Come on, man. I did not interrupt you. Go ahead. Not, uh, don't, 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 don't get derailed right. from it. Go ahead. Keep your second second. Say what you're saying. A, a healthy woman, <clears throat> again, your healthy woman has a lot of value where a lot of men, even though men, even though your brothers and them, your guys and them, don't get me wrong. I, you know, you got that love for your guys now, but when you're going through something, especially emotionally, without that nurturing from a woman, <coughs> you don't have much. And to Tiki point, when you say you are vulnerable to men to open up physically with, with men, I would say, boy, if you was in prison, <laughs> open up to men, they'd be climbing up in your your body, your BM. So my, 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 my thing is, the value, what the, the value of what, what women brings naturally, it's a purpose. Women has a purpose on this planet. And it wasn't just to be just fucking them. Don't get me wrong. I like to fuck. And yes, I have said some egregious shit to about women out of anger. But if I'm talking realistically, uh, if, if, if I don't want to be on a planet full of niggas, it ain't, it ain't no fun. The, your party is lame without no females. Even if even if you don't have even if it's not no fucking on the table, if you bring it around, if you have if you have a party right now without no fucking and there's nothing but niggas there, I'm not gonna be there. J JP, one point one point of contention I have is you've said this and I agreed. People that tell you the truth, drunk people and angry people. Yeah. So if you said it in, in a fit of anger, right? And I think kids tell the truth like a motherfucker too. My, my, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but if you said it in a fit of anger, is that how you actually feel? See, when I see, how can I put this? Sure. I was reacting. My anger come from reacting to a, in this valid, an unhealthy woman. Okay. Right, a woman that's unhealthy. And of course, just because just because you get mad at your kids. I mean, saying that women don't have no vagina, that's like looking at your daughters and saying they don't have no value. That's like looking at your sisters and saying they don't have no value. No, like it's men that will ride for they, the females in their family and die for them way quicker than they will any of their male family members. So we, just because I speak anger out of certain behaviors or certain experiences that I ha have had with women from a, from an, from a, an, an unhealthy woman in that point in time, that don't mean that I discredit, I don't fuck with women. Oh, no, hell no. I, what I know saying. what women bring. That's what makes me upset because I understand what the value that women bring. So when I see them, when I see, yeah. when, when, when they're not giving me what I expected, the love, the nurturing, the femininity, the energies, these energies right. that women bring is, is, right. is very yeah. magnitude. I got one last clarifying question. It'll be a yes or no. You think minority of the majority of women are, I forget well, the word, well, good or healed? Hmm? I think the time that we're living in, majority of them is un, uh, uh, unhealthy right now, but it can get fixed. Hmm. Oh, that's what you said, unhealthy. My fault. G, uh, G, go ahead, Cheeky, and then we'll get Aaron. And Aaron, you don't mind if Cheeky just make a quick comment, do you? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I, because I, I wasn't able to answer the, the do women if they didn't have a vagina. Sure. Right. But I found value in women and y'all know my situation or whatever. Right. So mm -hmm. as as a person who's living a life to of finding value in women without having sex, I, I know for as an individual, I can say that. Um, and I think that women do offer a lot of value to men's lives 
um in regards to just being a friend um and if they didn't have a vagina I, I would value them still because i've learned how to appreciate them as human beings um and that and that and being able to do that like currently makes it makes this question for me very simple because i'm already doing it now to answer the general question do most men do i think most men can do that absolutely not because most men from the very beginning from their adolescence have already fallen into the trap of liking vagina because they've already experienced it the moment you have sex and, it, and you're doing it at an early age and you don't know how to fully comprehend the value of human beings because you're still trying to figure yourself out and i can i can see a man having a hard time being like bro if she don't got a vagina what's she good for because that's kind of how most men kind of experience women in the beginning we, we don't know much about them we just know we like how they look um got a lot of hormones going on i'm i'm young i'm ready and this is what you're good for for right now and then the older men get i think that's when they go oh no women have more value outside of that but early on i don't think so i don't think okay. Know that. Okay. okay can i Probably challenge that real fast i want to challenge um, that real fast if aaron doesn't mind but i know aaron been waiting aaron right? doesn't mind the first part so are you committing to the fact that you would make the same decision they make you pick a woman that does everything for you that you can't have sex with versus a woman who doesn't do do absolutely she doesn't do nothing detrimental to you but she doesn't do nothing for you but have sex you would still go with that answer uh pick a woman that does everything for me but i can't have sex with her yes versus a woman me, who you can have, you can have yeah. sex with she doesn't do anything to you but she also doesn't do anything detrimental to you as well too no i would pick the i i would pick the one that does everything like is a complete asset without sex mm -hmm. because okay I, i've been in a relationship like that already and okay. i mean you know how my life goes right now so okay so i would ask all the men on the panel if all women were bad <laughs> would you cease to have sex with women would you cease to connect with a woman absolutely not because pussy has value a tremendous amount of it i fell in love with a woman that never gave me no sex right it was a chemistry so i'm just asking the question that i asked that's not the question that i asked i'm asking all uh, what he asked. Asked. that's a good question if all that's the women question. were bad would you have sex with them or you would leave them alone you said if all the women went bad yes as far as like what do you mean clarify what do you mean yeah, yeah, yeah. unhealthy yeah. unhealthy would be yeah. not good I mean, they're terrible clarify. all of them so jp for your stand when you said unhealthy if all the women were unhealthy would you still have sex with them yeah that's that's the time we living in now and then yes I, we have to deal with the consequences behind it however however that still don't take away i, mean, I know we're trying to come around and give these little uh points no you're not the ad it's context like, yeah we, you know, it's, a, we it's, it's good it's good to kind of answer it because i want to it, it 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 answering it how you answer it is the answer in itself the context is slightly unnecessary because the the premise is if they're bad would you still fuck them and that yeah with, with, when we say yeah that that says how much we value vagina Exactly. Yes, it does. Oh, yes. It does. So, not necessarily, though. It does. You go to the only, the only person. Well, hold on. Let's, the, the, again, you got to think about what he asked. If the women are, if the quality if, of the woman is absolutely destitute, if all of them are bad, that? if like, all of them, all of them, all of them have no, not. everybody is terrible about them. Would you stop yes, having sex? Yes, nigga, I, he said I, that. I, yes. He All right. So that, that, that I, I, but this this why I say let's, not let's necessarily. Let, hold on. Let all right. Aaron, Aaron been nice to everybody. Aaron, yeah, just bring it back full circle. What you think about the question scrolling? But that, <sighs> that is that was interesting. I, I think honestly, we need more parameters around the question because I okay. said we jumped from if you was in a relationship to my mom, my auntie, and all these different oh, let, the original yeah. question. Oh, okay. Sorry. So yeah, the this would women that you would be dating. So when JP brought in the relatives, it didn't really pertain. But a woman that you were dating and you had access to in that way sexually, that's who would qualify for you answering the question. Yeah. So I think somebody said, I, I think the large majority of men that that wouldn't work. You you have to be sleeping with them for sure. Like it ha it has to be the thing. But women have the part that i'm looking at is current society right i think we'd have to be re-socialized to have had an experience 
prior to the experience we already have with women. So now we already know what it's like. So we we can't like take the matrix pill and go, hmm, I'm used to this other thing as well. So there's no way of replacing that. So if the women still have their body parts and you can go to the store and get one, the men would still prefer the woman that instead of going to the store. So that's priority, right? Now, do that's the value that they have to you still can sleep with them with, from what it sounds like to me, but is there a value outside of that? Is that where the question is? Because it's, it says yeah. it, it puts so, a, you can't, that's why I said, yeah. 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 So yeah, the value outside of it, does it trump um, the value of sex? Dang. In current, in current society, absolutely to a small group of men. So no. So no. Like the large majority of men do not value women in a sense of enough for that to mean so. Yes, exactly. but the small group of men who really understand the value of women, yes, it, it, they have enormous amount of value. Oh, okay, not sleeping with them. Let me respond to that right quick. Well, Aaron, I don't want to really really get uh, Beans, Daryl, or Sharon to get a response. Yeah, that. but but Aaron, yes, sir. Let's say I let's say I concede to that. Is that because that's how men view women? Or is that because that's what the majority of women offer? Boom. That's a good question. Uh, of course it is. I asked it. That is primarily how men view women. You most ain't shit. Men, most men are not intelligent enough to properly identify the value that they need in women and then have that be uh, actionable. They Most of the thing that they value is, you know, like y'all said, sleeping with women first and then it's like i deal with her for this and yes she clean and all that kind of stuff so it takes a certain type of man to be able to identify that kind of value but they still have it are so the majority say, are, are the majority of women are the majority of women hypergamous in your in your estimation <sighs> checkmate to answer your question are the majority of women hypergamous meaning that they want the best possible guy that they can get checkmate. yes but I think checkmate. Most, I don't know if that's a checkmate. It is because that's what I'm saying. You you want men to ask for something that they don't know exists. You want men to value something that they don't know exists, something that they don't see on a regular basis, which is women. No, 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 no. Okay. A man can see a woman and go, wow, she is enormously valuable, but realize the woman that he can get ain't that. So it they uh, they can see it exists, but they don't have the they don't have the capabilities of extracting that from women in a general sense. But they ah, can what you're can arguing, you hold on, fatty. Ah. most women are don't hold on, have. Hold on, fatty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So no, what no, wait, wait, wait. But, but being, respectfully, ahead, but respectfully, one more back and forth, then we'll get Sharon. No, no, ahead, no, no, no. I can see because fatty okay. is about to go exactly where I'm about to go. Go ahead, fatty. No, is what he said. He said that most women don't have that value. So absolutely not. Doesn't that mean that it's not that men don't see the value? Is that they? So, so he, he said for a small, he said for a small uh, percentage of men, they actually going to value that, right? And then he asked, "What is it? It's that we don't see value, or they don't have no value?" I said both. I think Aaron went for men don't see the value. Mm -hmm. Do the, the clarifying question is Aaron? Do our most women actually bring these things that we want from their mother than sex right now? If you had to say, he said, most of y'all men are dumb and y'all cannot see past. It, 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 Sharon, Even if that's true, that doesn't answer the question. That doesn't answer the question, Sharon. Just drop the <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let Aaron go ahead and answer that question. Then, Sharon, yeah. you jump in once Aaron quickly. I think Aaron will be concise in answering that question. Can you repeat the, the question? Do most, other than sex, do most women have these things? that actually make us bypass the sex and says, you know what? She's a really good woman. I'm going to pick her even though she doesn't make my D card or whatever that shit is. No. Do you think most women are that woman? No, w women have the capabilities to be that, but mm -hmm. they're not necessarily coming to the table saying, yo, I, I, I want to give all this type of value. In today's society, they're looking primarily to make sure that you can be a certain way and then they will present their value. But that's, that's it perfect. exists though. Okay. That's that's perfect. It's not a checkmate. 
It is because it applies to your mama too. <clears throat> Go ahead, Sharon. So, so the problem is, is, is pretty much what Aaron said is that the men cannot see those women that do bring value more than a vagina because they are too dumb. They're not smart enough to see the women that have value past their vagina because most men only see vagina as a superpower. Not, try, not trying to be messy. There are some people on this panel that have beautiful and dutiful wives and then have girlfriends on the side. If 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 a good woman is enough, why would I have second a girlfriend, third girlfriend, whatever? It's because of the pussy. One doesn't mean enough. I need mm -hmm. more. They cook for them. They give them spinach, cucumber, juice and all that shit. And they still have women on the side that they fuck. So well, the reality, well, wait, 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 the reality is pussy is king because if good deeds and acts of service was enough, you would have only one wife. You right. didn't have several girlfriends on well, the side. When do we establish monogamy being the standard in this conversation? Yeah, no, sir. We're not going to have that conversation. Like, again, you're making sense that it doesn't have anything. Right, right, right. right. If exactly. one is enough, if it's a woman right, that right. Right. We, we, we made the point. That's a feminist talking point. If a woman that does things for me is enough, I don't need extra Yo, girlfriend. Patty, you made the point. You made the point. Yeah, um, let, me, let me make a quick point, right? I think this conversation can trigger women, but to be fair, right, to, to, the, to where Beans was going, because it's not a checkmate, but I understand your point, is that women don't actually believe that they're bringing value to guys like that because otherwise they would be encouraging men outside their man to have more female friends and they don't they actually discourage mm -hmm. hey you don't need no female friends but hey, wait wait women are so valuable and important what you mean i don't need no female friends it actually yeah. shows you what women think even about women, women think about that shit. there's exactly. a lot of nuance there it's that great you could point. examine it's a great point mm -hmm. A great point. I um, think it's the self esteem of the men, though. You saw Sharon real quick. Sharon, did you have anything? So I think it's, I think it's, I think they're using the question as to say that yes, men, we know every man here loves vagina, even the man that didn't get any yet. We love that. That is not the question at hand. If if you can have two women, you can have two men, and you love vagina, you love vagina. That is not the fucking question. And you try right. to move the point and you try to move the conversation yes. to something that we was not talking about. Even if right. I do have Girl, even if I do have two women, that does not negate the fact that women have value past right. their vagina. That's right. Fucking a woman is arguing that. Can, can you clarify again? That's what a woman that you are romantically. Listen, he he listen he he, he he's saying he's saying that he's saying that regardless of men stepping out, that doesn't negate the value that the woman has at home. Because you see, saying you can still see value in both women, unless you say monogamy is the only way that you can see the value. No, M, it's not that. Is I'm, I'm making sure well, we all see value in women other than relationships. I'm talking about sure you the point, though, not just say what you want to say. All right, let's do this. I'm asking because you guys are going outside of relationships. I'm interested in this right here. Daryl, go ahead and go, Darryl, go ahead and say your piece. Maybe that maybe if you align with Sharon, that'll maybe clarify for Fatty. Go ahead. So for me, um, again, like I grew up watching other content creators in this space, right? One of the, um, the fellow Detroiter content creators, his name is Anton. Um, we all know he's been married for 20 years, but from my recollection, he has a woman on the panel. Her name is Island Girl Q. She basically hey, let's, fills let's in chill as with the, uh, Darryl, Darryl, let's, let's chill with the names oh, and all yeah, that. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Because I'm not being messy. My point no, is know, let's just, her being able to control the panel her being able to bring different value to the panel without him ever laying hands on her, without him ever having sex with her, shows that women, that's just one example, right? Mm. So I took that right hand and I said, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna have five different women do the same thing where I don't I don't gotta have sex with them, but they still can help me with my channel. They bring different uh, conversations to the channel. So I saw him do that and I say, well, damn, sexuality is one thing, right? She does bring sexuality, she's beautiful, right? But the, the, the thing about the vagina and sexuality is different. Somebody can be um, exuding sexuality and help me out, like gently, Genesis. All of them ladies on my panel are beautiful. They exude sexuality, yet their vaginas don't have no value to me, right? Their opinion does. So again, I saw that, um, that relationship between brother Anton and the young lady, and I basically copied it because I saw this was a man who admittedly on his own platform said this person 
brings value and i never had sex with them i'm a married faithful man so right i can see my time let me ask a question real quick daryl but yes, the sir. men that are watching do you agree that they're tying her attractiveness and sexuality in hopes that maybe they could have access to her in that way which still includes her vagina just asking you see because i'm saying how audience you know what i'm saying yes for the audience absolutely yeah. but to, like the audience isn't the man who brought her there right the man who brought her there did not have sex with her to exude that sexuality that you're talking about he didn't it's need not, to slay with her and, and her. Hold on, i got you guys i'm going to concede in a second beans but he didn't need to have sex with her to get that result hamp that you just alluded to he needed only to make a good business friendship with her and then she brought that sexuality herself and then the audience saw what she brought he did not need to lay down with her or even sexualize her in a way that her vagina would even be a topic of the conversation i can okay. see my time okay. wait Fatty, let me say let's, it let's let me this. say it let, you wait, said beans it beans hard. beans let's do this yeah. let's go beans ali fatty all right I don't know if we, I think we're going to say the same thing, Fatty, but that's why I said, let me say it, because if you say it, it's going to sound like you're feeding yourself, right? But 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 to Daryl Long's point, right, why not get, damn, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I was about to say a name. One name, one fat I was about to, No, I'm not going to do that. I was about to say a name, but I'm not. <laughs> but, but, but why not get the ugly, masculine, burly chick to play that role if that's what it's really about? Right, if it's really about the intangible that she brings to the table, then why not get the less attractive tattoo across the chest, four or five kids in the background making noise chick to play that role, right? I'm saying at some point, you're still <laughs> eating off of her sexuality. Yes. It might not necessarily be her vagina, but what you're still making use of it's her sexuality, it's her femininity, the thing that is a that makes her attractive, right? Do we not understand that's turning the, the situation to a different conversation? No, no y'all turn it to a different might be. I don't care. It's not no, hey, listen, it, listen. It, so I'll I'll organize it if I need to, but it's actually still providing a level of clarity, right? Because the question will start one place, but we haven't totally derailed. We on the track. Um, so so go ahead, B. I just add the we question. We had this conversation hands, earlier, hands. right? Sharon, the says, Ali. vagina vagina so I'm, I'm, at the very bottom it says if vagina was put in a can exactly so i just saying that men yeah. who never had this woman vagina still value like it's, it's still value in her oh, daryl absolutely oh, your oh, point oh, is your, absolutely your point is there's no way to undermine your point right but i'm saying the example that you use the example that you use is problematic right and the reason why i mean i'm highlighting that but ali Sharon and myself had this conversation earlier, right? Most people who know, know Sh Sherelle is my op. But I respect her <laughs> mind. To me, she is the smartest, most logical, most objective, most introspective, most rational, reasonable woman I've ever met in my life. I give her that over my own mother. This, I don't even think it's a close second. It's her and then everybody else is 10 under. She's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've never even thought about her in a sexual way at all, ever. Right? But <laughs> the whole thing is that no other woman is providing what she's providing. That's the point. They're not able to have that sort of conversation with you. They're not able to forego feminism, forego womanism, forego misandry, and, and the hating of men and all this other stuff. They ain't able to do that and just have the rational, reasonable conversation with you. They aren't providing that. So the conversation that we have right now can't be limited to content creators. It has to be about the majority of men, if you just want to say the U.S., but the world uh, at large. And I'm saying you can't pay me to believe that 51% or more of the men at large have women who bring something provisionally that is more substantial than their sexuality. I, I can't see it. I've been around for a lot of moons and I don't, I can't name a woman outside of my auntie who really, I know for a fact brought something to her man that the sex didn't even really matter. Beans, can I give you another example? Absolutely, worked, please do. Yes, yes, sir. When I worked with Prince Sella on the Queenmaker, 
Mm -hmm. never had sex with her mm -hmm. was by far the most valuable product and, and most valuable partner i've ever had on youtube easily okay. easily right so again the value that she brought the mentorship that she brought the mm -hmm. relationships that she brought the books that she suggested the information that she brought right all of it had nothing to do with her sexuality <laughs> to this day the ladies whether it's sophia whether it's jalen the ones that genuinely throw thousands of dollars at me mm -hmm. they came directly from her camp you get what mm -hmm. i'm saying Never so, had on a, on a, wait, wait. so 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 respectfully oh. on a micro level i will concede to that yes sir. i will concede to that but okay. on the macro level but you Ali can't don't. substantiate that right because even those point. women you're naming right now are misandrous at best I, I can see to your point you see what i'm saying so that's what i'm saying on a macro level we just have to accept that yes they they tied into you because of what you represent so if you say that it's based on the man i won't argue with you on that i'll i'll let you have that but on a so, macro level that's very difficult for you to to, to substantiate ali it, it it i feel like we all over the place because people keep putting in more ar arguments right this argument is completely ir irrelevant to what we're discussing because if you're going to bring in a man who already has a wife he's already having sex with someone else why would we have to discuss whether he's having sex with the person he's hiring and he finds value in for business that's a irrelevant point there's no reason to bring in that point. Oh, it was brought up with sharon and his wife my bad i can see my time I thought that no. point was brought up with Fatty and Sharon. Well, Fatty said, Fatty just said why he's saying that. Ali, go ahead and finish. But Sharon is married, and we still question him. Make his point. I gotta make his point. So either, either either few of the brothers are being disingenuous or they don't know the man's anatomy because it's, it's our biological imperative to, to connect with a woman and reproduce so even if she's not a good woman if she has that body part if there's a woman that's a good woman you can't have sex with your biological imperative is going to connect with the woman you can reproduce with no man on this most men on this panel if they meet a woman that don't want to have sex with you they're walking away from her right away and if they it's they're coming to her because of her because they're coming to her because the possibility they can have sex and looking for a good quality quality woman there's nothing wrong with that but if, if they can't reproduce with her if they can't have sex with her no matter uh -huh. how good that woman is they're not going to deal with that woman so you just that contradicted is, yourself how? for 20 years tell me That's tell me how one Wait, hold on jay prince hold on jay prince make, 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 of women hold on, friends but, 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 hold on before i misinterpret before y'all misinterpret i'm talking about an intimate relationship i'm not talking about friendship i'm talking about intimate relationships no, not but he's just but, but, to get something initially but he still st stuck with that woman because she still offered some outside of coochie like i've been in the most men will, that been in relationships will understand that first off you're not fucking i've been in a five-year relationship i did not fuck my woman the whole five years because she had brought something other outside of sex, even even when y'all say the bad woman, most you gotta you what y'all missing is most men be selling, right? They in the mindset of selling it. So uh, uh, and a, a lot of times that by you selling it, okay, yeah. But what what what, what I'm saying is, by me being in a relationship, how many, when it comes to the bad woman, right? A bad woman. Mm -hmm. How many times niggas that had a bad woman and still stay? Okay, can I challenge that real quick? Uh, real let's, quick, DJ Hand, because he let's, just real yeah. fast. Yes, sir. So let's, yeah, 100%. So let's do this. I want to get everybody a kind of like a final say so on this. And I just got one more question, if you don't mind. So, Ali, you can address it, and then so, we'll just go from right right to left. Uh, I, I'm going to say it as respectful as I can, completely respectful, because I'm not saying maybe mama. If I, first of all, it, I, we, most people are not going to believe you. If you have three mothers, to your children and those and you're having custody of those children jay prince would you is that believable what you're saying is believable that you didn't have sex with a woman for five years if you had you have three different mothers to your children and you had and i'm saying respectfully as well too and, and it was public and then you and you have custody of those children is, do you think men believe you in that is that genuine what you're saying you didn't have sex with a woman for five years no, it's not about what other men believe. It's about the woman that I said that I was with for five years, not my child's, neither one of my child's mother, right? I'm just, I'm giving you a, an example of where a, if a woman, it was plenty of times where I said, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave, just like a million other men said they're going to walk out the door and, and don't go no damn where for five years, 10 years, 20 years. And, 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 same, and the same with men signing up for a woman that, 
He wanted some coochie in the beginning. She said no. And he's still been with that woman, breaking bread, everything for 20 years. Same with the men that y'all got y'all favorites on uh, IG models, strip clubs. You're not fucking these women. But yet you still interacting with these women. That's the point. That's the point. That's this how we is is a, talk about it. Yeah, so it's on you, Fatty. You got go ahead. Just uh so, sew this up for, for yourself. For the people that don't know, Q by the numbers is the biggest content creator from the Peeps and Fight Clubs. She has five thousand subscribers, doesn't do shows at all. Why? Because she's attractive. People go from TikTok, from Instagram, they just follow her just because every single person on this panel been doing shows day by day, night by night, and Q just because she has a pussy and she looks good, she gets subscribers on demand. Second part, Anton has business Next. strategy told us multiple times. He surrounds himself with beautiful women around him because his value brings up not shady woman, not fat woman, not women that are not attractive. He chooses attractive woman. I'm not going to name Rob. Remember what Daryl Long said? He mentioned women that are attractive on his panel. There's other women that never show their face or are actually unattractive, and he didn't mention them for whatever reason. And finally, as content creators, we know if we put ugly if we put a panel with no woman there's 500 people watching if we put a man with a panel with ugly woman 600 people watching if you put a panel with beautiful woman a thousand people are watching that's the value it's literally sexuality we spend more money when beautiful women are on our panels everybody here knows that so why are you guys playing Freddy. let's think let's think that's, that's a minute and 20 seconds you got five seconds Ten seconds priscilla came to this space and she left. She only left with one thing. Another content creator. Pussy. That's how valuable it is. Hmm. Uh, uh, what, she came to this what, place. She I left. I'd like to respond, please. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Everybody wants. Daddy, He's Daddy, come on. Come on. Chaotic Truth has 8,000 subscribers. Courtney Michelle has 29,000. Damn, I'm network. Yo, yo, yo. Don't. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, good, there. You got your minute. You can respond yeah, my, to it or just make a statement. Go ahead. I appreciate you. Um, I think it's disingenuous. Anton, um, collectively on all his channels, has over a million subscribers. So, watching Q from the moment where she met Anton to being on his channel every single night, that's how she gained subscribers. Any one of us on his channel every single night, whether we're a man or a woman, if you're there every single night, being propped up as his number two, having your channel being shown to thousands of people every single night because Anton streams three times a day to every single channel for the most part, you're going to grow, right? So um, I think it's very disingenuous. As a matter of fact, Jay Prince grew in the same exact ways. And to say that Q didn't go live where um, where she actually did go live, as a matter of fact, she wasn't going live and Fatty was actually hosting those panels for her. Um, those, I mean, those videos might be private, but we all remember when she was live. As a matter of fact, I had a wrench on that channel. Um, so I think it's very disingenuous to say that um, Q only grew because of her vagina. There's a lot of women that have vaginas that never grew in these spaces. Um, um, to, to make another point, women have value, and that's just ass. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. Nah, y'all cut me agreeing. Y'all got me. Y'all got me agreeing with Daryl Long. Come on, man. Like, let's, 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 let's go with it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say this real no, quick. No, 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 no. We're just giving our final thoughts real quick. Oh. Um, so, B, do you want to use yours on responding? Go ahead. Yo, the intellectual stand. Like, shout out to white people. Yo, this shit gets on my nerves. Stop it, Daryl. Like in real whole life, bro. Stop. Yeah, come on, man. You know the damn well. Like when he said vagina, it wasn't limited to her vagina. He specifically said that she looked good. So come on, man. We're not just saying just because she has a vagina. You also have to look good. You also have to be a little bit good on panels and stuff. We're talking about YouTube. But we but but when you when you minimize it to YouTube, you can make that argument. But we talking about in real whole life. In real, oh. real life, bro. You you can't tell me you ain't seen 30, 40, 50 chicks that you be like, she got a kid? <laughs> she got three kids? Who was hitting yeah. that? Right? But she got a vagina. Period. May I take my minute, Pam? Yes, sir. Go ahead. The black woman is guy. Well, this is a pushback from Fatty, right? Because when you talk about who the men marry, right? Because they try to paint the narrative that beautiful women get more play than uglier women. But 
majority of these, according to Fatty, <laughs> Fatty, you, you have made these statements before. Majority of these women, wives, who they chose to marry is ugly. And one of the, the big content creators specifically that we talk about, you stated his wife was ugly, but yet he chose the ugly wife to marry for 20 some years, but mm-hmm. not none of the beautiful women. Of course, okay, beautiful women is like a play toy. It's something to play with. But who these men is choosing in real life, and especially according to you, that most of their wives is very unattractive, according to you. Sir, they still fucking. But you just, you just, you just think an ugly woman. I still love fucking her. Did he he land his plane? Go ahead. Fatty, you made it, you made, you made a distinction between ugly. Ugly and beautiful made it seem like beautiful on this pedestal. But what I'm saying is that don't matter to a majority of the men because the majority of men still, even though we talked about Anton, he still he still decided to marry what you would say to a woman that's way less attractive than Q. According to you. They're they're teenage lovebirds. They like they're the first for, like what the hell are you talking about? Find no pretty he didn't, he didn't to be like three years ago. He knows the Rita for 25 years. That man is in the right or die. What the hell are you talking about? To Trump, to Trump Ali point, you you made you just made a statement that most of these men will have a wife and go cheat on the on, on the side. Well, the specific person Anton not cheating with you. So that that's not even true. Sir, that's the point. Men will pick women that do right by them and they will chase pussy on the side like Sharon. Yes, that's the point. Pussy is that valuable. Sharon. It's valuable enough for you to pursue it, even though you have everything figured out. Uh, Sharon, take your minute. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sharon. Where's your woman? He's here. Go ahead, Sharon. Um, um I think it's I think it's weird that the men that don't clearly have any visible woman are the one that's talking about that women don't have no value. So clearly, that's no value to them. Uh, so it's just what it is. And um, I think Aaron O said it the best. Um, stupid men, they do not see value in women besides their vagina. And it's just as simple as that. So if you're stupid, <clears throat> then yes, pussy is the only thing that you see valuable in a woman. But if you're trying to build something, you're trying to build a life, you can ask anybody that's been with somebody for long term, a woman for long term, I should say, <laughs> because some of these men do not want women, clearly. Because they got sure. hatred towards women. So they want clearly the same thing as themselves. So the men don't like vagina. Uh, uh, Aaron? Um, <laughs> that's not my phraseology. I, I guess that's what you receive from that. Uh, my, my, my thoughts are we just needed uh, more parameters around the combo because in a relationship and just women that exist in the world having value to men is very, very subjective. Uh, I think the question, if it would evolve to if you could have no sexual experience with women, how valuable would they be then? That would change the whole dynamic. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, is the final thoughts about the question or, or what, what do you mean final thoughts? Well, yeah, 30 seconds, but yeah, generally about this question specifically, okay, I, I like just, what we discussed. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, see some dialogue. Okay. Can I ask Aaron a question right quick? Him two, two no, seconds? No, sir. If you don't mind, sorry, JP. <laughs> I got one more question, my G. Um, world class. Um, I think I, I'm, I'm standing solid on my point. I just think um, it's actually a question to you as well. Uh, that I make the statement and ask you the same question. I think people's personal experience on whether or how they are accepted by women is influencing it, which it should. But to you, um, have how much, uh, how many genuine answers do you think you're going to get? Or do can we expect to get from that type of question with respects to their personal experience? Well, if it's if it's subjective based on personal experience, people would assume that they're being 100 percent honest. Mm-hmm. But you well, saying when I hear the, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like what you're saying. Yeah, they clarify I mean, when, when I hear the question. I didn't. With my initial sentiment, feeling, which you know, hard to trust feelings. Right. I didn't. I didn't necessarily think anybody was just lying through their teeth per se. I think but, if uh, they uh, really dive into it and had time, they might be like, "Oh, I was bugging." But initially, I think that was their first thought. How close would our answers be to the truth? That's basically what I'm saying. 
because if you have men that frequently get vagina since that's specifically what we're talking about and you got other men that are getting rejected by that same vagina when we ask the question like what's the value outside of it to sharon's point when are we getting genuine answers about the world we actually live in mm. versus like resentment <clears throat> and 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 at the same token if you're getting it a uh, lack of appreciation because you get it so easy yeah no nah, all of it's true like for instance if i assess the um answers mm -hmm. cheeky saying he done that shit before that would probably be the answer i'd be like the fuck out of here right just being 100 percent honest when you initially hear it you know like, i did it before i could do it again i'm like who the fuck would do that you know what i mean but he, i know for a fact he was being honest too yeah you know what i mean but if i'm just right. looking at it i'm like you don't know huh? who he is yeah okay i mean that, that's 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 understanding i think the uh, the 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 experiences have a lot to do with where the answer is coming from can, or, can i interject real fast no sir okay um <laughs> did everybody get their their 60 seconds on this one jay prince definitely did G, I, B, did you get I, no I, did. I, I didn't know 60 seconds i was just redoing a response no you you what happened was what had happened was you used your 60 seconds responding <laughs> I ain't get one in those sixty seconds, DJ. But, but Maz, Maz you didn't fast. get one. Yes, no. you did. Mine's is fast. I promise, it's fast. It, it's a question to you. Okay. Hey, can so, I get a follow up? Nigga didn't get one. Quick. So, 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 so this is, if you are if you are good out there, and you seem like there's that room may see is bumpy, like you seem like. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go here, Ali. So in the way this this the the, the question was presented, yes, um, this is the danger. Of what happens when we have conversations like this, and the way people can conflate two things. So the when you ask this question, we separated the woman from the vagina, correct? In this question, sure. the, the what the few of the brothers did, which happens uh, con constantly, especially by women, and it's a feminine trait as well too. Um, not staying on lo logic as well. No disrespect to the brothers, no pun intended. Is they conflated us discussing the value of vagina to disliking women. So I'm going to ask you, in all this conversation, did you hear any of the brothers say that they dislike women or don't value women? Uh, don't value. Um, but not didn't hear anybody say dislike. Who, who yeah. said they didn't value women? Well, I'm saying, you asked me which one would I, did so I I'm hear more? We, the brother, so I'm not going to say the, the more intentional brothers discussed the value of vagina. Okay. They, they We were just uh, separate from the it, woman. Okay, I got you. So, so did it, anybody it say... It conflated to the dislike of a woman but we were saying the value of a woman separate from the vagina so i'm asking you okay. did any brother did any brother on the panel say they dislike or disvalue women okay sorry so did anybody say women are valueless in and of themselves no but the fact that they lose so much value being separate from a vagina i think the assumption would be that you don't value them right but isn't it that a dangerous assumption to go since we since we're I, discussing the value of vagina yeah. separate than yeah. the value of a woman that all, yeah. all of a sudden men disvalue yeah. what i don't is, think it's really dangerous right is, hand is, um, is, well what is is this okay. ali Beans, just, what's your favorite word what it is is I'm, I'm 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 saying what what would people most likely to hear right because people are hearing from a place as well so if if we simply say you remove a vagina and they don't have value right what would people surmise from that state well, nobody nobody said they didn't have value what we were saying that the true that the reason why men are pursuing women is because the of the value of vagina uh, yeah but answer the question answer what he asked you please no 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 Damn, one said I, that. I, answer it, I think it was a good question that you posed i mean it, 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 we're, we're saying that really want to get to the next question um, oh, yeah, i don't want to rush through this i was just saying i mean it, it has to make sense by us asking the question that and we keep reiterating that if a woman has um it, if she's not giving up the pussy she has no value we've said that a million different times from the men here tonight so you're literally telling women outside of sex you have no no value oh see they're alone listen oh. ah, this is my no. point hold on ali hold on ali this is my point jump, this, guy always, this is why earlier then when we talked jay about prince, having you go, a, he got he got 15 seconds jay prince this is why we talked about having a deeper conversation right bro. I don't, right? waste it. don't waste your time. I want to have a surface ass conversation. That's not what's being said. We didn't go into depth about how they don't bring more. They ain't bringing more. How can I expect mm -hmm. you to bring something that you don't? You're not showing me. Yeah, you said that means right. God, like, come on. You you said that right. But also look what you just prefaced your statement with. We didn't go into depth, right? So based on the depth we went in, 
I'm just saying what people were more likely to hear. Oh, you're saying the takeaway. The takeaway. So, so, okay. So, so yeah. I hope you don't take this so, I you heard what you said, though, Bean. Yeah, Absolutely, ahead, I got you. What? I hope okay. you can take this disrespect him if I ask you. Being a married man, right? When you vetted according based on what they were saying, it, it, women just about pussy. Based on what they saying, um, when you when you had to vet your woman, would you have married a prostitute? Meaning that, meaning that the only thing that woman can bring you is pussy. Would you mm-hmm. want to marry her, a woman that's just only for pussy, right? No, I wouldn't. Because why? When you when you decide to marry your wife, did she bring? Did she have way more value than just being a prostitute or a hoe, yeah. a free hoe? Like she just gave you free. No, 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 stop! Yeah. Stop! No, I interrupt y'all. Yes, so, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Hey, exactly. So it's not just it wasn't it wasn't just her pussy because if it was just about pussy, you would have married a hoe, right? If it was only about pussy, then I guess hoes would be valid. But I, my name does matter, so she, my name would be muddy as shit if she was a whore. And, and exactly because so that means your name meaning that you had to find a woman with value outside of just her pussy. This, this, oh, hey, 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 can I can I ask yeah. you? Can I ask you what I ask? Please, hey, we're gonna just have to move on, bro. You want, no, we not have to move on. on. You said, I mean, uh. Or class, can, we, can I ask you the question? That's not how I prefer. Uh, uh, right, I'm going to answer but, Ali's but, question, then we'll get to this last question. So I'm going to say your whole life, would you deal, Would you rather marry a woman for the rest of your life that does everything for you and you can't have sex with or a woman that doesn't do nothing detrimental to you, but she doesn't do nothing for you that you have sex with? Yeah. And just to be clear, I don't have any other outside options, correct? No other options. Then I would, I would, I would, mm-hmm. I would, I would marry the woman who's a push. As long as she ain't getting in the way. And she ain't hurting me or harming me, right? Then I would go with that because I couldn't go sexless. Yep. Thank you. She doesn't harm you at all. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Miss Polly with the final says, Good evening. Nice to see the fellas this evening. Handsome gentlemen being great isn't hard to find after all. Sway with the two dollars. I hate all these old niggas. They all infamous. Laugh out loud. HQ with the final says, I appreciate Daryl, who is a shit starter, contrarian, and a person who goes against the thick narrative here. We need these people for check and balance. JJ with the 20 yen said, World class built like an empty Capri Sun. Red Pill Ranger with the five dollars says, If we if if we has life like sex androids, I'd be done with 304's pocket pussy is too close to masturbation. But that sex droid like Cherry 2000, yeah, buddy. Harambe Jack with the 50 ball. He says, I have intentionally never often publicly endorsed Sharon Dale or even JP's particular point of views because they mostly anti-male, pro-female, black men need to, um, ellipsis, fill in the blank. But their voices are needed because the a minority of men do need a cemetery nap. The black woman is God. Salute to um, Harambe Jack. Oh, I'm broke, baby. I ain't got no money. Bullshit. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. <laughs> Tanisha was popping with the two dollars. World class off subject, but size bra do you wear? Dark Relief, salute for becoming a member. Doris with the $10. Says, Shout out to the men on the top row. Red Pen Ranger with the $5. Says, Take the pussy off women and we would never look at them again. Unless we already loved them before the great coochie rapture, and she's an anal queen. The dating pool with the two dollars beans is the reason women are saying hell no. HQ with the five dollars says some men like beans don't deserve female s- subs. I call for respect, and he has none for us. No, no, that's a lady. I know, no I did Miss Deb with the ten ounces. So if a man just had a female body part in, in part in a can, you don't think. You would still naturally be drawn to a woman for other things. Do you think men would only hang with men and go home to the can? Mostly. Bob with the two dollars. Jay Prince has the Cam Newton starter kit outfit. <laughs> Miss Deb, salute. Angry man, I got you. I appreciate you, my brother. Bob with the five dollars says, "Cheeky, without that hat, you look fifteen years older and have bodied a thousand women." <laughs> Damn. Reaper with the two dollars says, "JP, can you explain what?" Healers are then <coughs> Jay Miller with the two dollars. Are any of the Everybody. simps on the panel? Are any of the simps on the panel married? 
Hey, money with the trust. Shout out to Fatty and uh, Ilkhan Ali. They real niggas. HQ with the trust. JP, you wow. Bob with the five dollars says, Daryl, what kind of country club federal prison are you in that allows a studio? Great lawyer. The one your mom finance. Alexis from the two dollars says, I can call to make your doctor's appointments. That does, they do. Mr. Payne with the ten dollars says, an interesting theory tonight. A coochie list honey still has value everywhere else. I would simply smash a honey with one if that don't violate the terms of the question. Bob with the final says JP has an unusual ability to be deeply misogynistic while at the same time bordering the relentless sympathism. Shout out to me and Maze. Bob with the final says Hamp talk to the panel like he's a headmaster at a boys' reform school. Damn. Damn. Rock then with the final says bro code is bro code and nothing else. What the fuck? Angry man with the 20 ball. He says men seek the counsel of women when they want to be coddled and babied. Men seek the counsel of men when they want to actually improve. But men who raised by men know that. And there's nothing rainbow about that. Joker Bed with the two dollars says, get the likes up. Only a half of you all push the like button. Please hit the like button. Salute the Joker Bed. Bob with the five dollars says, men can't be friends with a woman that they are physically attracted to. Red Pill Ranger with the five dollars says, stop bringing up family members that the question was about romantic partners, exclamation point. Of course you wouldn't care as your mom vagina disappears. Shit is goofy. Angry man with the $10 says, is this what quote unquote women's perspective show tonight? A lot of moisture on the panel tonight. Harambe Jack with the $10 says, somebody baby crying in the background? Dog, whoever on the panel is neglecting their children, get offline, go take a care of your kids. It's stepmommy season. Find a single mom and raise her kids up. Mr. Payne with the $10 says, fellas, do you realize you're no sex commentary is in conflict with your nature? Whether you agree with it with what with it or not harambe jack with a five dollars says i'll take a 30-year marriage with a good pretty woman no sex over anything goes freak with a gawk gawk firebox any day no homo holes are not worth it john henry with the five dollars says vagina has no value unless there is a buyer willing to pay the price to possess it shadow dragon was popping with the ten ounces some of them say some of them say women bring more value than box until you find out the same dudes all in their DMs for box and exposing her personal info and photos later after they get angry. Niggas lying. She's his pals with the two dollars says, I'm sorry, Bean slash fatty slash Ali. You have to sit through this. MC heavy tits with the five dollars says, if most men only see pussy as the main value in women, why are women blamed for picking the wrong men? Rock them with the five dollars says some of the brothers marching for women and your red high heels still doesn't bring out their respect from her. Salute the napkin for becoming a member. Quentin with the two dollars says you're being mentored by a woman. MC Heavy Tits with the ten dollars says so if an attractive chick didn't have no pussy but a three hundred pound ugly chick had as a pussy would would most men go for the attractive chick or the overweight chick? Holiday salute. HQ with the five dollars says Beans just said half his species is obsolete. He just came out the shit. What? That's Kazi was popping. Appreciate you. Kazi with the 500 yen says all day, every day. My the home bicycle over the 911 GT3 RS. My butt was sitting in last night. All for my hubby to have more female friends. AP with the 20 ball say here's the truth women have value but 95 percent of men would not move a woman into his home if the box is off the table if kids are off the table we would use them as a resource only let's be honest gentlemen john henry with the 10 ounces also consider that if you're six four getting vagina on the regular versus being five foot and not getting vagina at all that life experience will determine a woman's value to a man as well the dating pool with the two dollars says ali you don't always need gotcha moments Red Pill Ranger with the five dollars says, "Would you marry slash date a woman who was cut off, who was cut off above the, the pussy, just a torso and arms? This shit certified goofy. I'm disgusted." Nas with the five dollars says, "The main value from women will always be sex. If it isn't, then you have to validate this same quote unquote value for the gay slash trans since they're human too." Sean Brewer with the five dollars says, "Bernie Mac said it best." Pussy so good, I can't wait till they put that shit in cans. Exclamation point. Motherfuckers would be shot lit. That jam. I remember that. God Shout bless you, Dad. G Firm, what up, though? With the five dollars, what it do? 
what what they do homie just showing love so look my brother hope all is well like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can it helps the channel the most get the likes up get the likes up get the likes up we got 764 people the likes are at this shit taking long to refresh needless to say they aren't enough so please click off the chat i slowed it down to 45 seconds i think um hit the like button click back on the chat i promise you won't miss anything all right so y'all ever hear i think people say this more than just uncle rick but i yeah, always hear he say it's over y'all heard that sentiment before yes so i guess my question is is it over if so who will suffer more men or women if it's not over who's most responsible for us getting together the men or women we're going first does it make sense yes yeah go ahead we'll sure. um it's a hard statement it's, it's fringe it's real close it's not like it's a definitive answer again it depends on experience so i'm gonna say it's not over because you're saying a lot of women respond uh, irrespective of if you have the trust, le the trust level or not. <laughs> um, I think it definitely will be on us because it's always on the men. Um, it's just going to be incredibly difficult. Incomprehensibly difficult. I'll be honest with that. But it's, it's definitely French. It's close. On So it's close on who will suffer more? Um, yeah, I didn't answer that one yet. Um, it definitely women will suffer more. Cause they definitely behind the eight ball without a shot of a doubt um and i just answered it the in terms of who was on to fix it well my follow-up question would be if they would suffer more do you think they should put more emphasis on making sure things get right yeah that's why i mentioned first I, you're seeing more and more of them speak up and speak to their own um even in this space um i ain't gonna drop you know, the name drop we've done enough name dropping but you're seeing more and more of that happen so that's a good sign is it enough i don't think you can measure that but um yeah it would be on them to fix that shit and get out of the delusion which is i thought that's what the point of the space was in manosphere in general um to kind of get them to fix themselves and we fix ourselves um okay so yeah <clears throat> sharon i'm not really understanding the question what is over so i've never heard this thing like like us getting together getting married nuclear families building up they're saying we so broken that it's over so I think um, with that question, I think men would suffer more because we, we do not tend to be good by ourselves, lonely, just with a dog in the woods. Most men are not able to do that. Women will um, get themselves together and they will just bond together. They'll be living in a house with three or four ladies in there with cats. So they wouldn't suffer. They'll still live longer. So I think men would suffer more if we were to just split our ways and men just have to be by themselves because it's not going to be uh, a mountain where it's just a whole bunch of men just hanging out. I don't think so. Damn, so you think women, men will be in trouble, huh? Okay. Absolutely. Damn. Anybody disagree? Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Men are, <laughs> men are used to misery. Men are used to loneliness. Men are, there's our life as men. A lot of parts on our life, we just walk alone. There's nothing new. We buy a dog and we do what we do. Most, it's over because even the women on this place, they don't react as long as they're going to have trauma after trauma after trauma after trauma, they don't even fix themselves. And sorry for name dropping. Look at love and also what happened. We told, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's over. Because feminism is the biggest religion on the West. And for every day that like a thousand women come to the market, sexual market, and come with feminist ideology, the time that you catch that woman and you try to reverse her around, like most women are not going to react to that. So it's over. And unfortunately, women are going to suffer more because women are more feelings based. They are not used to be sad and uh, uh, sorrow. We have to understand that. Like most men and women, if we say that both of them are feelings based, the man is going to be better because the man is used to that shit. Who lives longer, men or women? Sharon, can I? Can I um... I think women. Sure, can I say this? This is the fundamental reason why I say I disagree with you. It's because a lot of these women, if it's over and we got to separate, a lot of these women will realize that their bonding with other women is dependent on hating a nigga. And niggas ain't shit, and men ain't this, and plotting against and going against a man and keeping the baby from him and all that shit. 
and they really don't have no bond and no real genuine bond. I disagree. Whereas we, whereas we have genuine bonds based off hobbies, what's going on in the nation at the time, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, listen, this is what I do. Know. Your last answer, though. So this is, this is what I this is what I do know. Men do not have um, pajama sleepovers. Men do not go to the goddamn nail salon. They better not. Who, who, live, who live longer? <laughs> women live longer. And the, reason, and the reason why women live long because they conjugate with each other, and that's why they live longer. For human beings to live long, we are social human beings. We do not do well by ourselves. So all this bullshit about it, all you men is going to all of a sudden be hunters now and live in the woods with a goddamn dog. You all cap. Most of these men can't even fix a fucking tire. Talk about now you're going to be woodsmen. The the fuck out of too. Like, they don't even the wrong question. But uh, but men go play ball together. Like we form teams, there's leagues. I mean, what what do you think about that? that the same thing as the and most of those, and most of the men that do that, they go home to a woman. Oh, they are not being, they are not single. So no, they going so men will suffer if they are alone at home by themselves or most of the point because most, most men are not most men are not most men are not healthy enough to be going to play basketball and football every day when they turn 30 and 40. That's just not what is oh, happening. I, I give, I give you that point. We're, we're what you're saying that this we're talking about, about, what we're this talking about. Men do not do well by themselves. And as they get hey, older, they tend on. to be more by themselves. They do not conjugate with their other homies like that. If we was going into this whole... But, okay, you, but, 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 but what's, what slaps you in the face is the incel about. community right now. They doing that. Men the are not community is doing that. Men community is a family and a woman. That's a man's community. Now, <laughs> real quick, real, that's, that's real perfect, quick, real quick. Perfect. So you are telling me if you put a man, a PlayStation, a dog in a one bedroom apartment and you put a woman, a dog and a whatever she likes, you are telling me that the man is going to be more miserable than the woman. No, if you want to, if you want to give it that strict parameter, no. So what is the, what is the, like woman again, they have thousands of friends. They have people all in at them. At IG, take trying to take it on. That's, that's not what they want. They so, crave actually so again, what I'm, with a partner. So again, what I'm saying is that women they conjugate with each other. Men do not. Men stay in solitude, and it's not healthy for well, human beings to be in solitude. Is what I'm saying. So what women, is fantasy football, Sharon? Say what? What is fantasy football? Go fishing. Go play basketball. Watch the game together. What are these things? When the last time you did anything of running? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? What I'm saying is that most men are not when we get to a certain age. We you are not going to want to sports things and things together the way, the way how you saying it sounds good and all that, but when you go to the gym, you do not see a whole bunch of men karate and being together. Say, let's go. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Go the goddamn 24. Jesus. real quick, Sharon. He was saying, what about the things that aren't physical? Fantasy sports, fantasy football, going to watch the game pool things of that nature those things um a lot uh, do those justify men still congregating yeah so pool women are there like all the things that you're saying except for fantasy football women are there let's be honest men do not do well when they are by themselves they do not they wanna we know what they turn into they turn into that postal worker we know that well well Sharon a lot of guys a lot of inventors that are men they usually by themselves now great a lot of inventors and innovators they're usually by themselves now i will give you your quick pushback would be those that are outliers or the extreme <laughs> nonetheless we've seen most progress when the nikola tesla is by himself working on his crap you know we've benefited from that so i think in that situation you would see more men do that you would, you would see a higher rise in in inventions and, like, and innovation so, so all of a sudden if men start being single by themselves and no. alone and and that weird and it's weird hypothetical right where we where it's over and we separate i think you'll see men thrive by themselves yeah, a little so, bit more so, than what you think so so so, so Sharon, i actually i agree with world class you have to look at it like right now men are not restricted from doing it they're like, oh, we still have the chance to mess with these women. If we said no, that's not an option anymore. <laughs> the women are no longer going to be a burden on you. You no longer have to provide for women and provide for. Listen, man, <laughs> it would change a, lo a lot of burdens. Part of the reason you probably argue that men have a bigger burden in life is because the responsibility 
that they have to do to their family. Y'all ever heard of jail? Okay. I was just I was just thinking of that. Why, why Yo, jail is surviving, like, women survive in prisons more than women do. More than men do. We're not answering the question. <laughs> okay, hey, Sharon. So so yeah, shout out the so, white people. So wow. this is why why data is imperative again and, and research is imperative again as well. We we know that women are the most depressed. We know that women are the most on antidepressants, and we know that women um uh take uh attempt the most suicides. Uh, more than one in five women age 40 to 59, I believe, have the highest rate than any other group um of being on antidepressants uh antidepressants. Not only that, uh the women and adolescent girls are two and a half more times more likely than men and boys uh to be taking one of the pills. But we also have uh the narrative of what a lot of men encounter all the time and say that you can't make a woman happy. Like majority of women men always say that, but we're already in the state of that now where we're talking about single men and women. Um, where majority of men are still doing better off than women in the position we're in now. So men are still going to be fine. It's the women who are going to suffer, suffer. And it's the woman that's dem demonstrated by data um, who's suffering. So if you let most men can be happy just sitting at home by themselves at peace, especially if they got a can of vagina. So most, I believe it'll be worse for women. <coughs> who, who turn is it? Uh, what, JP? Oh, oh, I, I, I mean, Aaron was talking. I, I cut him off, so my apologies. Y'all gotta stop this turn uh, shit, bro. I, 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 it, no turns. No, we don't. No, we better. don't. Don't even. Don't even. Don't, that ain't gonna. It ain't gonna go like that. So let me oh, just um, that, that, that straight. I think. I think men. I, I think. See, first off, both will suffer because men and women was put here to be with each other. So of course, you can find some negatives that men, women, that's gonna be affected, and you can also find some negatives where men gonna be affected. Right. So here's the thing with this. I think the only men that will uh, benefit from that in a way would be men that have gay tendency. Again, bro. Gay, 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 gay. Go ahead, JP. Let it go. Let it go. Go ahead, JP. Talk to JP. Say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. The prime example of that, men one is not allowed to be emotional and gay with each other, right? So when you do think about prisons and stuff like that, women can gather up and love on each other and it's not getting looked at it like, oh, you gay, you woo out the band. No, it's, it's more receptive when you, you put a, a bunch of men in prisons. One, either when a man ain't getting no ass, he's going to become angry or he might, a lot of them going to tend to be looking at checking out other men. That's, that's going to be the leading ground for those men that when, when you say that men is over, men can no longer get no pussy. And again, men and women is men here to be for with each other, point blank. Period. So uh, of course you can find some negatives where women going to be affected by it. And you, we, we just not for the play dumb. And like you can't find no negatives where men going to be affected by it. Yeah, you can play your PlayStation and all this other type of stuff, but those men be very angry. And eventually, they started developing low self-esteem and all this other type of stuff. And, and sometimes they turn out, they start going, want to be sexually intimate with men. But which, that's right. shit. Yeah. which one, JP? But which one, though, JP? Let me clarify. Jay Prince, who is suffering more, though? We get it. It's going to be pros and cons for both. Who 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 is suffering more? <sighs> I would say the reason why I would say men would suffer more because when well, you, you can, gave the reasons one question also JP anecdotally if you you was knocked before for a couple months right yeah um were men actually doing that when locked up though no yeah. but when you said when, you, when, when they were it's something you might have a few occasions but what I'm saying what but I'm you saying know overwhelmingly that shit yeah. is is you said, when you said it's over don't happen when you say it's no over, no no I'm, sorry JP I'm saying when being locked up when you it doesn't actually go like that at all you know what I'm saying we just I just because people don't know people just make jokes about when men are locked up but it, but a man doing 15 20 years without pussy he's gonna turn gay so I'm saying anecdotally when you when you saw it for yourself, right? What were men actually doing though? That was chilling, you know what I'm saying? It's be chilling. Like nobody don't be doing no crazy yeah, shit in there. That's but, all I'm saying, JP. But that's not that's not what I'm saying. When you said no pussy with it, when it's over, right? No, 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 no,
no real quick jp i'm not i'm not i'm not I, I i'm not dismissing that point i'm saying just in terms of the narrative of when people go to prison they just be wilding i'm just saying no, 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 just, no, 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 that yeah. part no okay that yeah, part, yeah. that's no. all i'm saying jp i wasn't just no i wasn't dismissing whatever else Men doing 15, 20 years, typically a lot of them going to be start okay. saying interesting. Does this matter? No, Hold on, no, please let him, please let him do it. Yes, my question is, you fuck up with your turn. I apologize, your priest. Oh, you are right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. this, every, this panel, JP, all JP, all focus. Go ahead, JP, go ahead, go ahead. Just rock, just rock no, you, JP, you actually, you made your point. I was just asking you a clarifying question that was slightly off topic. That's all. Um, I, I was yeah. When, when it comes to men, because a lot of times when you think about the personality and the character traits of men, hmm. although they do stuff to benefit them, but primarily that whole world revolves around um, the reason why they want six figures is for a woman. The reason why they want that Bentley hmm. truck is for a woman. Hmm. The reason why they ran Louis and Gucci is for a woman. They the reason why they chose this type right. of goal right. instead of their goal to attract women. So they whole yeah. concept. Is based on around a woman. All right, hold it down. Hold it down. We we understand the point. Uh, Beans, did you want to go? No, go ahead, Patty. I have, I just have a question. So he said, <laughs> if a man does fifteen to twenty years, he's probably going to turn out gay. G Prince, if he did fifteen years, would you turn out gay? I don't know. I've never been in that situation. Okay. That uh, that. Patrick. You got any so, commentary? Yeah, yeah, he, 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 yeah. So the man, the man go, called, oh, my bad. He said, Chicky, my bad. Let that yeah. go. You jump in. Um, so do I think it's over? I think it's over for maybe a certain generation. And because I, I feel like it's going to, th things are just changing, right? I think what's going to happen is uh, what I was talking about. Like the house husband thing may be extreme for this current generation and and before mm -hmm. but the more this continues on in our society the more women they're going to make adjustments we're all going to make the adjustments necessary to make sure we get what we want right and i think that when it comes down to it who would be hurt the most right now it's men there's no reason to even try to fight that right now it's definitely men we were report i know i know we know stats about sewer the <clears throat> self-deletion we know stats about uh, the highest reports of loneliness and how it's affecting men's mental health 30 percent of men are having sex and it's affecting them the high rise of incel like so w w it's obvious that men are going through problems and you know it's being reported on on mass levels finally but in the later future i don't think that'll be a problem anymore because when we're going to make adjustments all the women that's talking about they want a six-figure nigga all that stuff is going to be over because they'll be making six figures and niggas is, they gonna do what niggas do. <laughs> so, Jiggy, let me tell you why I disagree with you, Jiggy. Because okay. women, because women are prostitutes, and as long as prostitutes, <laughs> just keep it in the book. Because women are prostitutes, and as long as prostitutes exist, men will have an out for what it is that they want, which is sex. But what is the woman's out for what she really wants, which is to be provided for? So, I don't, I don't, I think we simplify what men want a lot of times i think men want relationships they do um, I agree. so whenever we say men want sex mm -hmm. i think that's a byproduct of a relationship because there are men that do want sex but within the context of somebody that they like slash love because as much as we would like to Absolutely. act like men don't believe in you know all these niggas is hard they don't got feelings they don't got emotions mm -hmm. they don't love nobody and we just fuck women and, and dish them to the side Niggas is not moving like that. No average. doubt, but cheeky. Let me let's prove to the world why I always bring your name up when I talk about the smartest people in the space. Who's okay. willing to settle more, men or women? Men. Absolutely, men, so, men, men for sure. Absolutely. So if they have to settle for sex because they okay. can't get the relationship, you see what I'm saying? So that's going to be an easy settle for men. Can I compliment oh. that podcast? It's going to be an easy okay. settle. So you, can, so you yeah. can go back, cheeky. Yeah. Next Expectations a lot of times are going to determine who suffers more. Men expectations. Are did you low. say? Ex did you say expectations? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. A man okay. expectation, even when he gets married, is I have to sacrifice a lot to get with this woman, with this relational. Is the mindset. So, a man expectations are already low. So that's why they settle more and they kind of be content with it. A woman expectation is never to suffer. 
So when both actually get to the same level, it's natural that a woman will suffer way more because the expectations is, are way higher than the men. So it's just, uh, I think... It's, uh, be, but so but, 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 but wait, 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 wait. Beans, beans, beans. Before yeah, I, I'm trying to make sure I understand Fatty because I think I was following. No, you're doubt. saying because men's expectations naturally is just lower, it's easier to yes. exist, right? Yes, in any part of life, even when you get okay, married, when a man gets married, he's like uh, a life of sacrifice starts now. When a woman gets married, oh my god, I'm going to be so happy and I'm going to have kids and all. Like, it is literally this like it's not on the same level so it's easy for a man yeah. to actually fail because it's like I, I was already expecting this it's kind of like the, the difference between both so okay. so watch this cheeky mm -hmm. the, the deeper conversation remember that uh ali right the deeper conversation right right now what it sounds like is we having a conversation about who's going to suffer men who's going to suffer more men or women as if it's actually based on the gender but it's not see the okay. deeper more uncomfortable conversation is Who's going to suffer more is determined by what part of society is choosing who's going to suffer more. So look at marriage and divorce, right? Who suffers more, men or women? In marriage and divorce? Yeah. In, in marriage and men, divorce. Men, suffer yeah, men, men suffer more. Yeah. Is it because they're men or is it because of the way that it's set up? It's because of the way it's set up. Exactly. Which is, which is why I was saying I think society will be changing because we're already moving in that direction so right so so so, so my point is this. Beans, question real quick if you don't mind yeah. well we say it's in our nature to want sex right and mm -hmm. oftentimes men are perceiving suffering as an act the lack thereof you know men talk about sexless marriages and things of that nature mm -hmm. so if that being true it would be i think 50 percent because they're men it's mm -hmm. not just because of how it's set up because of the things that we want and need from women well you but no but again but hold on hold on fatty again, you see what i'm saying right because sex is our nature so. absolutely but it's up but but here's the thing yes or no hemp are women prostitutes <laughs> that's a yes. great yes. so yes. that's my point as long as that's on the table <laughs> right as long as that's on the table that's 50 percent of niggas that get the forego that suffering okay right? he can go, he can go get a prostitute and they, and they are willing to settle they are willing to settle for that right to a more extreme than what willing not women are willing to settle for so that's okay. what i'm saying if you look at this particular okay, so that's that's the out okay i get i get what you're saying now okay that right. that that would be the out that is the that is the 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 way to cure the suffering because as long as there is some level of woman that says hey i'll accept money for sex and that Absolutely. that exchange is there suffering can be mitigated because of that absolutely so, can I ask wait, so and now add on really quickly and now cheeky add on this component okay. the, the component right. is <clears throat> what is society saying right now let's just say that it becomes an eventuality men literally versus women who you really think gonna win that battle let's just be honest right so if it literally becomes men versus women then at some point they're going to have to capitulate to the people who have the 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 uh the the uh monopoly as it pertains to force so right. the women will inevitably have to concede to certain 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 things as it pertains to men right now they're arguing i could provide for myself i can go get this myself i can go do this myself blah 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 blah, blah. well we either gonna see civil war or we're going to see a reconstruction of what's going on right now because I'll men can literally <laughs> say "Fuck this shit and it'll change everything. Ali, can, can, I add, can I add to his point? Because I, I think Chiki and um, Aaron pointed that as well too. When All of us do. When men stop caring, it's going to be an extremely dangerous world. And what you're yeah. saying, once it becomes oh, man, we don't care no more, they're going to take all of it back. Women going to suffer more. It, who's going to protect that's them? A that's a phenomenal point you just made. Wait, who's gonna put, wait, but who's going to protect them, Fatty? Who's well, going to protect get, those very women? I want to kind of get me an, 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 opposite, an opposite point. Fatty, you got a quick point, and then let me get Daryl. Yes, Go ahead. Make a quick point, and then Darryl, Solidified Darryl. podcast point. Listen to this real quickly. Ah, yeah. Yeah. If a man is miserable on a marriage and a woman is miserable on a marriage, mm -hmm. who is likely to last a decade, the man or the woman? The man. The so man. that shows that the man, even if they are engaged in a relationship, 
they are willing to stay even though they have a shitty life while the woman as soon as things go left she doesn't have their resistance and she leaves if we already do that shit in marriages and in relationships what do you think we're going to do single okay uh, just, like, it's, 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 we already there we already yeah, there, already there. So, oh, i don't i don't want to go yet I, i'm gonna let you go to an order but just okay. remember all right aaron and i know aaron has something to say i'll remember my point though you remember it yeah i'll remember it go to uh you can go to the people right, you I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to no, Daryl, no. We'll jump to aaron and you can jump back in um so just to answer the question at the bottom who will suffer more it's definitely gonna be women and children but to the second point who is most responsible for the healing because i was waiting to see who was gonna really talk about that naturally um uh, it seemed like we want to have you know play this whole blame game but the men are going to be responsible for the healing so ali point if men stop caring it's going to be very dangerous for women right because the nature of men oh. is dangerous right it, it, it's yes. just that simple he he made it he, he couldn't be more honest if there weren't men like myself like the sharons the men who go out every single day and do whatever we can to protect women these other men would just roll right through and do whatever the fuck they want to hmm. um yeah men are responsible for the healing men are responsible for cultivating spaces hand like the one that you had right where it's inclusive to women right not telling women we don't care about anything you got to say nothing you bring to the table except your vagina right i mean to me that's very dangerous propaganda mm -hmm. well, even if let's say let's, dangerous propaganda do you think daryl the let me just let me just ask a clarifying question I know men are violent. Is violent and dangerous? Or is that like semantics? Is it synonymous or like what, what do you think? Those um, matter with the intentions, right? Because mm -hmm. you can have somebody, I can go take a pistol and randomly hurt somebody and say, mm -hmm. well, yeah, clearly the intention is different from somebody who would say, well, I has, I protected my woman from a burglar. She can protect herself because she's a woman. She has a vagina. So he came man and I put my armor on and I protected her. So in those situations, right, violence would be different. I understand <laughs> intentions and the reason behind it, right? Mm -hmm. So to answer your question point, uh, I don't believe in good or evil, whatever. That's all subjective based on the like what happened and the intention on why you did what you did. Okay. And so you're you're saying, you're speculating that it's men keeping men at bay at this juncture? And I was based on what Ali was saying. He was right. By okay. saying that if men stop caring, because even now That's what I'm saying. Yeah. men do care and it's still dangerous for women, right? There's still a thousand women missing in, in Ohio. We're not talking about that. There's still women being raped every single day, right? There's women that's being kidnapped every single day, trafficked every single day. But to his point, if men completely shut down mm -hmm. and didn't care, the other men are going to be barbaric. And to his point, we're, the women will need men to protect them from other men who are moving within their true nature which is dangerous to those women okay aaron, can i ask him a question oh go ahead my bad, my bad. Nah, i mean aaron. i agree with him but the aaron i agree with him but it, it, aaron, the same aaron, 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 I was aaron. This earlier but go ahead like y'all gotta the answer to the question is it over yes for the nuclear family if aaron. there is not an adjustment on women being open to men being the providers in the home and that that level of involvement the nuclear family will just it's pretty much going to be gone forever right but tell them why ao i'm not that, <laughs> that's not necessarily ham's question right so to to the next part of the question who will suffer more without question mm -hmm. it will be women however hearing an alternative is like men are going to be so sad and lost without women but women will be fine without men it's making the argument that men love women and desire women more than women desire men right so that's, that's right. single definitely making that argument and yeah. then who is responsible for the healing if there is to be healing done uh ultimately the men will have to have to do more because women are not going to do it Hell, hmm. with all due respect it's unfair for Aaron to answer that question that way and not give the context on why. All right, Aaron, can we have the context? Voice is on why? too important to the no, space. That was not your question, sir. Well, we ask it now. Yeah. So, Aaron, if you don't mind, can you provide me the context? Well, what, what's your question? The con the the context is why why are they going to 
Why do they need to? Beans, beans, slow down a little bit, Playboy. I'm not scared of you, him. <laughs> Air, you know what the context we want. I'm That's not sure. I need to make He's sure. not sure. That's why I'm telling you to let me ask him. All right, go ahead. go ahead. Aaron, seriously, you have to tell them why it is that they have to reevaluate the way that they're evaluating men for relationships because they don't understand it from a numerical, <laughs> from a numerical point of view. They just really think, nigga, go get to the bag. So you well, have to tell them why it is that they have to be able to reevaluate re in this, you know, uh, uh, equitable society. Yeah, it's a combination of the, the the numbers and their their own desires, right? They have to reevaluate re reevaluate what's important to them, and that part they're going to suffer with, right? And mm -hmm. so the numbers are just clear as day. You can't say you're smarter than men and we're better at making money than men and do not realize the numbers that exist and how the economy runs. Like right. that's, just, that's just dumb. But their desire still is no matter how that you fight it, they want to be smarter. They, they want their men to be smarter than them to to, to some capacity. They, they just mm -hmm. want it. They'll say equal or more. But my opinion, if a woman if a woman thinks she's smarter than you, her default is you're dumb. Hmm. Yep. Damn. That's, just, so, that's just what I've noticed. So, so that was necessary. That's good shit. Me. Uh, can I? Uh, well, cheeky, real quick, and then you need to go, Kali. Um. Ali, if it's still pertaining to this, I'd rather Ali go because I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna yeah, go back a little bit, not nothing crazy, but just a little bit. Go ahead, Ali. So, <laughs> so two two fast questions or or statements I'll make. Forget the questions. I don't want to waste nobody's time. Who loves the gender the gender the most? Men love women more than women love men. Who comes to the aid faster than the other gender? Men come to the aid faster uh, for women than women come to the aid of men. Mm -hmm. What all the men would do here if we were in chaos and we had men who was out of order, the only way we would get to healing. So if, if they want to bring in the men would have to heal and to bring in what um, Aaron said, it would take men to heal. And what podcast said, if it got that bad, we it would become dangerous until we made it peace. What men have always done since the beginning of time. Men operate to fear. Same way women would operate to fear. The only way women would turn around is fear. <laughs> same way the men men would turn around. Regardless of whether we want to address that or not, the healing factor would be when the, the consequence is higher than the incentive to care. If we didn't care, we're going to get barbaric until there's peace. And when we make peace, they're going to care because of fear. So, Ali, uh, you think that and this is i'm trying to think of how to say this right but we take violence off the table in a lot of situations right mm -hmm. which is in mm -hmm. sorry sorry chief you wanted to okay yeah so like for instance here's what i was saying one day if there was one day a week where it'd be like the purge but not like the purge movie but like mm -hmm. you can whoop somebody ass and not get in trouble for it mm -hmm. i would beg to say the closer you get to that date the more people's conduct would change positively of of course yeah. uh so so women if if a man disrespects her she'll call the man to violate him if children mm -hmm. have disrespect her she'll call uh the man to violate them as well too the only person that they can't be addressed in that manner is the woman today we can't shame we can't redirect we can't implement a punishment and then the physical part about it is out of it as well too but we're seeing through our history if the men are still being in order if the men are still caring for the woman even a man to marry a, a prostitute what we see right now in our lives a prostitute and we ain't talking about just the professional ones the women offer only fans strippers uh, women with baby daddies, women with multiple kids, men will give grace to all of that. Women are not giving grace to men for standards they're setting higher that we're talking about. They're not at peace because their standards are too high. But if men get to the place where they can't connect the women because the standards are too high and everybody becomes barbaric and why war occurs, men will make peace. That's how men will make peace, like they made with men, like they make with their kids and like they would make with their women. It would be through fear. That's the only way you get to the healing factor when it's chaos is fear. That's why it's better to fe be feared uh, than love. Yeah, so, I think that's only for weak men, to be honest with you. So, only weak men could uh control a woman. They gotta use fear to control a woman. That just makes no fucking sense to me at all. Like, you gotta you use fear to no, wait, 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 no, 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 please. I don't understand no, what we're talking please. about. No, now to go back to go. So Ali actually touched on the things that I was wanted to go back to. Uh, One was how realistic is it for us to believe that there will be a man revolution that leads to violence within the the u.s 
right? I understand you what you guys are saying. The possibility is there, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But it's bit, but it's I think it's very slim, right? I think what is more possible and more maybe probable is men adjusting to society because we all have this agreement on some type of non-verbal or conscious level. We know violence is necessary in today's time, but it is not necessary in the same way that it was years ago. With somehow, some way, somehow, some way, we've agreed that we shouldn't be violent towards women or each other. So, so wait, wait, wait. So, so do you believe that that's based on the propensity for you to be prosecuted based yes. on that violence, punishment? say that again do i think ask that question do again? you could could uh -huh. like what i'm saying is this there was a time in and when white men i'm gonna give you an example really quickly okay. there was a time yeah. when white <laughs> men would attack black people with like no qualms at all right but okay. at some point it started being prosecuted for them to do that so you kind of seeing them dial back right so are you saying that the reason why men are less likely to to go that violent route as it pertains to kind of a uh, 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 performing a coup, it's, the, it's based on the, mm -hmm. the based on the, the threat of prosecution. I think it's that, but I think it's also because we just as a as a whole, just society as a whole, we're not naturally we're trying to be less violent. We're we're actively repressing that, right? In the in the fact, so you're talking the fact about that, uh, millennials and Gen Zers. Yes, like okay. yeah, like the older the older you the older guys are more what I've noticed is the older guys, you guys that's in your forties, late thirties, fifties, y'all niggas willing to fight and shit. Okay. Absolutely. Now the younger right. generation, younger generation will shoot some shit. <laughs> right. But overall, Stop just overall in general, most people aren't really that violent and most people haven't been in fights, and most that's people true. just don't aren't so what I'm saying is when yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. when you guys make the statement, hey, if men <laughs> decide this shit is over. And we decide we're gonna rise up and i'm sorry but the the fur the the more society continues on the less violence you're going to see from men and people in general just because we're, we we have this unsaid agreement that humanity is better than that humanity i can't expect this ever right many people talk i'm trying to hear yeah, fatty. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm fatty trying to hear I just, no, I just said that it's the safest time in history for right. men overall we are right like everybody complaining we are getting softer we don't go outside exactly, don't exactly, exactly. like the, the so most famous man is the guy uh be, behind the computer is not the guy that can punch him in the face that's literally exactly okay. and so and so because that is the case and i think that'll continue to be the case whenever we bring up these primitive behaviors in order to solve the problems of of society in the future really i don't think it's going to work because even even if it even even if we were to do that i'm sorry but there are more men that will want to protect and defend women than they will want to fight against them mm -hmm. and we're going to have a problem when it comes to numbers simply alone we're, we're, you're not going to hear no one no man outside of this space or outside of red pill manosphere or the idea of male-centric ideas is going to hear this and go yeah we should fucking fight women because what, what they're going to do is what they're going to do is they're going to be opposed to us if we were to take that approach. FBI, please. Are you? Are you, are you, are you, are you for example, Patty, that's a good point. The fact that the fucking FBI is trying to investigate inside, we're fucking cooked. Well, <laughs> Lee, are you running that through the I idea of the question? Go ahead, Jay Prince. Let's, let's, question. See, let's, see, let's see what Jay Prince got to say. Like, Cheeky, okay. but on that statement, I would write sitting here right now. I would oppose it like it just in my mind too you know what i'm saying just to be honest like under the premise you have, of it's over you would, you absolutely. would have to beat me up first to get to yeah 100%. absolutely you see what i'm Most saying and, and, and because and because that because that's the case right which is why i gave the answer that i did i think that it's over for maybe my generation and back right so if you're single and 40 you're cooked if you're my age you're probably cooked a little bit right but the younger generation I have some type of <coughs> hope that the way that society is going when it's progressivism and women making money and all of that, that somehow, some way, I'm, I know it's, it's more, it's still low. The I know the probability is still low, but I think it's even lower for the fucking, we got to fight women shit. So, if, for, for example, 
<laughs> yours is mine's is right here and yours is right here. It's they're both low, but mine's is a little higher. He's <laughs> always I, 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 I I silver, right? Oh man. Oh, I, yeah, I know y'all geez. think women's women's nature is hypergamous and they won't give up on shit, but I'm telling y'all, women like men more than they lead on, and when they get lonely yeah. and they got money, they will allow that broke nigga in the house because they lonely. I'm telling you. <laughs> Ain't I you a millennial? <laughs> hey, Prince. First off, I want to start off by saying is uh, to clarify, so because I, I don't, I'm not yeah, playing. World class, you right up. Hey, hey, it's fine. I'm not playing this to the chat, but you know, if I pull somebody else move, and that was my intention was, if somebody else could say some egregious stuff and say it was a joke, I should be allowed to. That that's I want to throw that out there. Yeah, but, bro. But, but but I want to say this to this point. I think that uh, we're not being more specific because when you say it's over, meaning between, let's be more specific, between black men and, and black women, I would think other races of men would choose black women. And when you talk about the violence, you no, know, it's, it's other men. I think that if other, if other what's, what's keeping black, what's actually keeping black women safe? From black men, it's other men, <laughs> and, 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 and black men understand if they violate these women, what these other men are gonna do to them. So, because the same way how y'all can say that women will be uh, in a, in a purse, whatever, women will be unsafe. Well, I would say, based on what I see now. Black men will be unsafe because if you touch them, it's gonna be another man gonna touch you. And majority of these men is, is a uh, majority of black men is afraid to step up to some some other men outside of black men. So if we're gonna have this conversation, let's be more specific. Okay, so you saying JP, our women would have the advantage because other men would come take them and stick up for them. Yes, like they're doing now. Mm. They're doing it now. Is it so you think we would be at a deficit because we pussy or because other men would stick up for them? I, I think black men is, I had to be honest, black men is sure. pussy. Sure. That's one. And black men don't have the power to step up to other men. One, they, they all, the reason why I think that will make black men weak, sure. they have different type of belief systems. They don't have, they don't have a unified belief system. They, black men is all over the place. Every black man got their own beliefs. They don't have a common ground what 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 will make them unified. So I do believe that if we're gonna talk about this conversation, let's be more specific when we say it's over, because we, we typically be referring to black men versus black women. All the thing that's gonna happen, what's happening now, is white men gonna take your woman, Asian men gonna take your woman, the Mexican men gonna take your woman. And if you do get violent with those black women, like what they do now. They're going to call another group of men to come and whoop your ass. And the what? only reason why black men they haven't pushed that button yet because they're afraid. Just like the <laughs> it, JP, but JP, it was a non Just like the woman is afraid of black men. Black, man. Man. black men is afraid of every other race of men but his own. Let's keep it all the way gangster. Yep, JP, so, JP, JP, it was a non racial hypothetical. And we all responded see, to that. It came to Hypothetical because okay. it, it, the reason why I said this cannot be a, a racial, a non racial hypothetical because the only reason why we come up with this solution of it's over, we typically be talking about the dynamics between black women and black men. We ain't talking about because you got passport bros, you got black women talking about they can get other races of men. So we cannot say that it's a non-racial because it's I, it's very as I, much racial. When I when I answered the question, I was the first person to ask the question. I said, I don't think the the need of women, men and women com that combination shit is a waste of time. The foundation of the bond between women is predicated on hating men. That's amongst white chicks. That's right. amongst Spanish chicks. That's among black chicks. It would apply across the board, especially right. in the first world. I agree with what you said. In my mind, when I heard that question, because the only the only time I heard with him the question with him say it's over, the, mm -hmm. what came to my mind is the relationship between black men and black women. That's the only. Thing. That's, you you that's throwing up your experience. I understand. I get that point. I get that. Yeah, that's and, 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 if that's the case, 
black other men the way put like this you know oh how we God. complain about black women how they being angry and all this other type of stuff and how other men don't desire them i think that's bullshit because i think other races of men can put black women in a space they can put them in more of a in a, yeah, a in a more peaceful space or woman like space to the point where they don't have to be allowed aggressive. They can feel safe. They can feel love. They can feel getting married and all this other type of stuff. I think unless I had to be honest and humble myself and be honest, the only reason why black women are going through the stuff that they're going through is because they want to be loyal to black men. If black if black women if black women decide to be outside her race. The only people gonna be losing, we gonna be watching another nigga treating our woman better than we did. We so gonna that, watch our see, see, No, you know, you know what? You know what? Hold on, Jay Prince. You know what? No, 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 Bro, you been going for a long ass time. I ain't no, trying to hit this him, shit. Give him 10 get seconds. Out of here. Y'all long win. Everybody no, else long win this nigga too. Play that airplane for this nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead. 10 seconds. Another man bring the best out of all women. We gonna sit back like, damn, how come we couldn't do that? That's what's gonna end up happening. But okay. they had access for like access there for two hundred years, and they still have it. So, fuck. Play the fucking airplane for that nigga too. So I didn't, I didn't play the airplane for you. <laughs> I didn't play the airplane for you. You played it for Fatty. Play it for that nigga too. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let, in the back, man. Let, let let me pick it up real quick, right? There's a lot of mm-hmm. projection. Like I don't put my hands on black woman because of the white man. There's a lot of projection going hey, on. I ain't gonna lie, that shit is very, very corny to me. You heard? What do you, What do you think is corny? Like playing the airplane or not? Like I barely been telling anybody to stop. So let's not do that. I hate. I hate like narrative painting. Go ahead, fatty. Damn. So, first of all, we are the apex predator in this planet. Yesterday, I had to go downstairs to get Uber Eats because the Indian dude saw me on the window. And he saw I was black and he was afraid of me. Throughout the world, if you are well traveled, you will know in every place that people actually are afraid of you. They are you are not afraid of them, they are the ones afraid of you. That's the first one. And the second one, I want to actually mention take it out of race and go to whatever Sharon was saying. Because Sharon said, mm-hmm. if you have to use fear, you are a weak man. My, my our Parents are not weak men. Our grandparents are not weak men. The men on the Middle East are not weak men. Go to Saudi Arabia and call those men weak. They use fear to deter women behaving like the woman that we have here. They are the, probably the strongest men on the planet. That's the reality. Culture, and again, putting restraints on women, religion, laws, whatever you had going on, there was never a sign of weak men. We're a sign of strong men. We know their nature, so we are going to contain it. You know who the weak men are? The panda bears. Oh, you got this queen. Oh, it's fine. It's the man's fault. Oh, like, you guys are actually the ones that made the problem. You are the weak men because every time a woman messes up, you turn around and say, you know what? It's the, it's the man's fault. You never ask her questions. You never say what she was doing. You don't ask her how she behaving. You always put that on the man. So my question to Sharon is, do you really think that you pandering to woman and talking to woman and putting woman on the pedestal and saying all oh, this is the man fault while there are men that are putting their foot down and want the best for society? Do you think that you are really the strong man compared with these men that have rules and regulations that they will never violate because I want to make my woman happy? Like who is the who is who is the weak man here? So you are the weak man because you are pandering because I didn't pander not one time tonight at all. Not one fucking time in my life you heard me pander. You trying to paint a narrative and it's horrible. It's horrible. Tell me what did I say that was pandering? You can't. You just making shit up and just talking out your ass. You talking about you on the fifth floor and some man seen from the window and said, oh shit, there's a gorilla in the window and I'm scared? Get the fuck out of here. Yes. What the hell are you talking about? Yes. First of all, first of all, I'm not. First of all, anybody that got to use fear to control his woman is a weak man. It's he simple was, as that. He found on fear. So he all the found on it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Good thing, good thing is it's a uh, it's a good back and forth dialogue. So, Fatty, go ahead and respond. No, I, I, this to me is is crazy. What did I the say that was pandering? Men are before, the men before, we move it, before we move it, please explain to me what did I say yeah. that was pandering? Because on, you, painted, you painted a way narrative. Way that I, I, I give you the one so you can go ahead. An example of uh, you said that you would rather deal with a woman without a vagina than a woman with a vagina. 
and then you have a girlfriend uh, extra to your wife, which is like oh, literally you are pandering. You are pandering. Everybody knows that Sharon is public. You literally are pandering. You can even remember Sharon when I asked you, hey bro, if vagina and sex is not the extra that you get from the extra girlfriend, why are you dealing with her? You never could tell me why. You are pandering. No, oh, go, go ahead, Mr. Ed Lee. No, 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 Patty, please don't. Don't do that. Because, see, that's what Sharon is doing. And I that's know, but that's what he does. He's the look, no, wait, look, what am I doing? Wait, wait, look, wait, wait. Wait, look what I'm doing. Let me point this point. out. Let me point this out. We're man. having a conversation about the conversation instead of yeah. having the motherfucking conversation. Yeah. This is some nigga shit. It's fine. Damn, man. It's crazy. So, so, Patty, question. If, 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 if that was a case, like you said, right? Yes. Why is well? Why is it when black women get with other races of men, and I have seen videos that they don't be the way that the complaints that black men have towards black women. Once other, it seems like other races of men can bring the best out of them. So they act totally different. They more feminine. They more nurturing. They more supportive. They more caring. So do you think? It, right. This is the question. So do you think is when you talk about? how the black women is acting and, and clearly another another race of men can bring the best out of your race of woman do you think that's the blame of the woman or the blame of the man there's this i will answer that that's a fallacy divorce rate in my country 70 percent white men are crying about their woman they are the ones pushing feminism they are the ones saying strong they started this shit to be honest oh, they on, just black, black, woman. black woman so so mike again it's a lie white men don't get the best of black woman men in, in like in every area asian men are complaining because asian women are dating out black men are complaining because black women are not listening white men are in like shambles especially in europe because they can't change the laws they can do nothing to actually make them like a, a situation where they have incentivized into having kids having families and all that so when ambassador series is over it's over for everybody on the west the only people that is not over go to the Middle East and go to those countries where there's rules and regulations, there's suppression by religion, there's suppression by law, and they literally have to follow that or it's off with their heads. Other than that, it's over for everybody, no matter hey, where you are on the planet. Hey, hey Hal, okay, one quick question for the panel. Since if we're going to leave women out of it, do you think that women will quickly conform to the men if there was enough men that went against the men that's pandering and allowing women to sexualize? I allowing women to women pandering, to be, bro. I mean, hey, 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 Sean. Calm down. Relax. Relax. Yo, the, the narrative, the narrative, man, the narrative the man, the man is horrible. Bro, give me a second. There's the term spoils of war. If the man dismantled the men that are protecting the women for being toxic, when the woman uh, instantly conform to the men who just got uh, to the men who destroyed those men, women will pick the winners always. No matter if it's right, wrong, no. short, tall. If no, no, you are a winner, no. they're going to pick yeah. you. That's how women no. move. So then we'd have no. to get so so fatty and well, all those let's, let's do this. this. It's a good question. Let's see, because generally Daryl might have a little bit different perspective. So. Let's see, Daryl. What do you think about what Ali proposed in the hypothetical? Um, if you don't mind, like, like the twenty minutes ago, I wanted to address the whole thing about because Ali, I got your question. I wrote it down, and I and I will address it. But the narrative about the Middle Eastern man controlling through just fear is ridiculous. When they actually control through terror, there's something called honor killings out there where they actually delete their own children, they castrate them, they cut off their clitoris, et cetera, et cetera. So unless black men are um, saying that we because and, and just for the record, according to um, the National Institute for Health, the top countries where this happened are all in the Middle East, right? Pakistan, Nepal, India. So, I mean, if we want to say, well, yeah, those men over there have absolute submission, then go ahead. Um, declare for those different things to happen to your own daughters, your own sisters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But to, um, to your point, Ali. Right, because I mean, I just want to make sure that we make that clear that that does happen. Right, they the, they marry you know, children over there. Hold on, Fatty. I'll concede. Nah, nah, Fatty, let it. No, Fatty, let, let it land. Let it land. I mean, let I, I got y'all. I'll concede in a second. I mean, I got y'all. I apologize. Let it land. 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 Let it land.
Like, I don't even fully understand why we keep blaming women for stuff. And, 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 and this whole thing is went back to women has to submit. And then we using the most craziest ideas like the Middle East without actually bringing context into what's really going on over there. Right. Yeah, that's, but, that's not what I asked you. To, but there, I'm, 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 I'm talking about the conversation earlier about the Middle Eastern women and, and, and the Middle Eastern man without fully going into context. We just diving into shit, blaming women. Right. Just fucking windmilling actually had a conversation ask yourself why there are so many different people that's fucking um leaving those countries and seeking asylum in places where it's not okay to marry children where it's not okay to beat women where it's not okay to um cut off clitorises but we don't want to have that conversation because we want to leave it on a basic level where we can blame women right but if you want to have a conversation where we can blame women and not have a conversation based in scientific fact psychological fact or data then we can do that ask me okay. a question so about it's, it's um, a good about, thing, about a good thing. That you set up that I come, okay. so it's a good thing that i come from an islamic background with a mother that lives across seas whether you're speaking about palestinians or arabs those people resent this country except for the opportunity they value their culture they despise the culture of this country they despise the way women behave. They they honor their men over there still. You they, didn't, so, you didn't so, talk uh, about the honor killings and et cetera, et cetera. Can you address the, what I said, though? Can you address small, the honor killings? I know it's a minority just like the minority okay. in this oh, country. Right. It's, it has the it has a, has a extreme Y'all don't answer no questions, bro. It's, it's a moot point. He answered. He said it's a minority. I answered the question directly. No, I never asked. I asked directly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, look at the stats for the answer. It's not a minority. I actually have a number here. So forget that. For the men on this panel, um, if the if we put the women amongst us and let's say we control the women and the men who agree with uh with what, what i'm saying stop out the men who are who we feel like are pandering and supporting those women will the women com conform to us just make it that simple instantly yeah. I, I would i would say yes yeah Any i situation, think the, the, the winner will win no matter they pandering or not the winner will win so i mean it's a mute question to say well just the panders will get beat up not by a mute the question. it's not a mute question it's not a mute question it's the a question will win. It's the, the winners will win that's the way it works right I guess okay so we wouldn't have to fight the women we so just want to matter they're panderers it can be the opposite they will be y'all can be the panders for niggas and y'all get stumped out who will that's win right then? That's so it, that's again, the point. It matter about the ideology. It matter about who wins. That makes his so, point. ideology. That makes his point. That does actually make his point. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, can you ask a question? A lot of control. Saying, women. Um, I don't. Yeah. Man control women. <laughs> no, no. Do you, Ali? Do you, are you saying that you want to have like the Middle Eastern, right, where they got the control of when women get out of pocket? Are you saying that you, you rather have that option where if a woman get out of pocket? Talking, you get the uh beater oh you get the well, I, would not, I would i would not i have i've had this conversation with him before i'd rather a woman do what is right without having no consequences hey, 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 you complain, you always answer complain. the fucking question i did I answer know. the question let, let, let me just say, let me let me clarify because now now we just you just windmilling about the question right so, yeah uh, one sense. thing i, I want to yeah. clarify really quick um the God. countries that were named there and i haven't looked it up but those are indian right so yeah. when we say so like nepal and pakistan, that's pakistan, the Middle East. yeah pakistan is actually indian um and then you have um and then you said um india those are the top so, three but they they, they exist without okay. the middle so that, region. Well, that's a different all culture together. all i'm saying is that's a different culture than what ali's referring to in terms of islam and things of that nature which is what people usually pinpoint so i don't know if he was even talking about the same set of people that's why there. i were middle eastern regions right in the middle eastern no region middle. but that would I'm still be asia region, though. right without being interrupted like everybody else was like when i was on mute Flies in the middle eastern, eastern regions they literally don't eat, allow women to have feminism all this feminism rights it's women allowed true. to be journalists again there was a, 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 a woman was, it don't matter it don't all right matter. never mind i see you guys want to continue to run it it's I'm fine. no i'm not it lying. don't matter it don't matter though. no but guys i'm not gonna kind of get that on the way without right. trying to interrupt them like fucking females then i might be able to fucking make a point but y'all like right now they'll do this just clarify the point go ahead i was trying to niggas act like my daughters again I can bring up the young lady name who passed away, who was directly hung in Pakistan for being nothing else but a fucking journalist trying to report on the problems of women. So again, when you try to, and everybody here knows this, everybody here knows that women have no rights no. there, but now we're trying to make it seem like, oh, they're all free and dandy. No, they use terrorism. And oh, it's only a small percentage, right, Sharon, of, uh, 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 of women who get fucking, um, their clitoris cut off. 
How many do you have to cut off in the village to have the rest of the women obey? How many heads do I got to cut okay. off? Okay, I'm I'm trying to that understand. Is, I'm I'm to question. understand what the question is at this point. I'm, I'm trying like, to understand, geez. like in Whoa, the, well, this is good. it wasn't it, a question; it, it was a point. Okay, but is the point of the conversation right now to highlight how stupid we can be as black people, or can we no. raise the the? Okay, okay. So then, if Fatty already stated that in that region they use fear, aka terror, to control Thank women, you. it's a moot point. Abuse. That we just spent 10 fucking so we're advocating for abuse. Got it. Oh, Being advocating no. for wait, shit because wait, wait, he already wait, stated wait, that they use it. Wait, but that, but wait, wait, God, man, God, that's God, a better God. system than the one what? we have over here. So the men should act more like them. That's the point of bringing it up. Yes, yes because because they're alone. It's the same system that they use against men. Fear. Okay. Cool. Over so, here. Okay. The, the system the that point, they're using against over us uh, us over here is the fear. Point was, y'all want that kind of result that they got. But y'all also want to be abusive ass bandits. Just say that. Cool. The it's point. Kind of the, scene, point. the point. You keep trying to make it seem like it's about us. We not the ones in power. We not the ones in control. We don't get to dictate well, anything. Well, that's the point. The point, the the point of Ali. Ali tried. To, hold on, Jay Prince. Hold on, Jay Prince. Ali, hold on, Jay Prince. Ali tried to make the point five fucking minutes ago is that over here, how we want to be different than them over there is we don't want to have to control these bitches. We want them to control themselves. That was the point. That's that was the point. point. Yeah, so point. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make something clear. So, <clears> the, <throat> so, the, so, the, so the point is that that the men over here want to have women without putting them into fear. Correct. We yeah, want them, but hold on, 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 hold on. So when I said that we need to be able to have women without fear, Go on, you're going to be weak right. and panda. Talk Good to no, him, Ryan. No, 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 no. Because are you dumb? No, I got it. Crazy. That shit is crazy. He thinks that shit is dumb. So Hell, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what you specifically having? I'm, I'm, I'm almost at that point. Yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm almost at that point. To, that everybody, to, oh, man, no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me. I'm not saying it's you. No, I'm not saying it's you. But everybody, just hold on for a second, because the conversation is getting entangled with a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. So, um, let's do this real quick. Ali's saying he don't want to have to do that in the first place. Sharon point was that's weak to have to do. So what what is it that we talking about? Means you want to address that specifically? Go ahead. Somebody. Yes, because Sharon, because he's an asshole, respectfully, you know I love you, is trying to pretend like there's no difference between me as a man and my relationship with my woman and what we do on a macro level. Right? What I might do in my home will be very different from what my religious institution does, what my political institution does. It will be very different different. What I'm saying is, in my home, nigga, I don't want to have to use fear to control my woman. I want her to control her mother fucking self. But on a macro level, yes, we might need the political point. system or the religious systems to put things in place to control <laughs> women, and that might have to be done through fear. And, that's and, that's and that's fear of repercussions, point. nigga, that's not that's far-fetched. Yeah, no, it's all good. So, so therefore, yeah. my point is still stands. You can't move me off of it. If you need to use something as a fair tactic to get a woman, you are a weak ass man, is what I said, and that's it. You so weak. your ancestors were weak. Wait, so can we can we can we just <laughs> go go back the to the idea, right? Go the reason it. why Ali asked the question, if if there are a group of men, let's that have an idea that you know we need to enforce some type of laws or societal expectation for women within a man dynamic, and we mm -hmm. fought the men that opposed us. The question mm -hmm. was, what do you think the women would do? Right. And the the simple answer is they would capitulate to the winning side, which Back. lets us know that today. The reason they're behaving the way they're behaving is because that idea or the premise we're not the winning side if you believe that idea right. that's why he asked 
that's why he asked the question the question wasn't to make it seem as if he wants to uh, start implementing these rules but to point out that women will do the things that they're allowed to do if they think it's the winning side and that's and that's just the that's that's that's, that's as simple as it goes as simple as it, wait, wait, wait 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 hold on wait that's as oh. simple as it goes no one is saying that we should start implementing these right. things no one is saying right. we should start having these laws but to point out the nature of women when it comes to these things if they feel like you're on if they feel like the winning side is there they're going to do what they think is right because they're survivalists so that's a part said, of their so nature you, so you're saying that the the men that are are doing it out of fear on that other side however they do it they beat them up however they doing it right the, yes if they are what? physically putting fear in that don't mean that the women want to do it wait but but that's the problem the problem is they don't have the choice because they're the winning side is the winning side guess what, what? the winning going on in the middle east there is feminism but it's the losing side because they don't feminism do, doesn't dominate how things work in their society patriarchy and things like that does what what ali's point is is we're living in a society to where women feel as if the winning side is behaving however they are behaving which is right. to a lot of men out of order okay so if we that's can not, go ahead but that's ahead. not a, but the way how you express that that is not a woman's choice to do it but the, the problem is some that's the point of the fear the the fear uh factor when it comes to choices when it comes to religion when it comes to all of the things Think about it. The reason, the reason why, the reason why, hold on, the reason why women, the reason, the reason why, women, the reason, the reason why women, go ahead, go ahead. The, 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 the part that, the woman part that submission, that's the same thing as just getting submission. That's no, what you're saying. So, 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 hey, can, oh, I'm talking about Tiki Banner I'm addressing Tiki Banner. I am confused about the words that we are using. I am. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely confused. I'm not trying to be. Um, okay. Okay. Before Daryl and Chirago, one second. Jesus fear Christ. is. Well, listen to me, please. Fear is a deterrent. The United States military is the biggest fear machine in the planet. People what? don't get out of way not because the United States is going to attack us and abuse us. It's because we look at fear as a deterrent. When we're talking about religion, when we're talking about laws, when we talk about politics, is not fear i'm going to take my bat and whoop you outside the head he's bring it into a relationship please because i'm not going to instead of the household right that, now the government and the household is two different things so the government and the household is two different things so please just let me finish before you go to the i want to reiterate the same question you beating a woman for submission because i know what you guys going to do you beating the woman the word fear as a deterrent as an abuse or punishment use it as a deterrent the government and the household are two different things. I can see, I can see the government bullshit. I don't care about that. Cheeky in the household, are you uh -huh. saying that beating a woman yes, and getting that submission forcibly is the same as her giving you, you willingly? That's, 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 that's my question. Oh, well, well, we're trying to get an understanding. All right, right so no, you're not let's sure. Let's 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 do this. Everybody else got that question asked by the panel. Let's do this. Let's do this. I believe this is my confusion. Yeah, no, hundred percent. 100 percent we um like that would be so there what you're saying would be extremely hyperbolic in what they're actually saying right fear and afraid those aren't the same thing putting your hands on her is not is not the goal right fear would be in this aspect would be more synonymous with respect those yes. two words you can sub in and out right but right. we so this is how why he used the countries you can the 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 the, the united states puts fear in a bunch of countries but we get along yes. it's not it's not the overarching thing that we lead with hey hey don't do that because you know we'll fuck you up no no we they there's an understanding there also when you guys are characterizing the, the middle east you have to understand if you understand what their what their what their um religion says there's several steps that you do with your woman before you ever put your hands on her so there's structure to it right and the yeah. fact that they agree and they have the same religion and the same understand well daryl now here's where i get concerned yeah, I fully understand what you're you kind of right well you kind of trying to talk while i'm explaining it which leads me to believe that you may not be hearing everything i'm saying i heard everything you saying i mean but i, I didn't finish it you know, did you know so you let me ask you no 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 it's all good let me just ask you a question did you know that in the quran it gives steps to discipline 
so it, it lays them out the last absolute step is that you can you can like spank her right but it would be synonymous to light as a feather it wouldn't be beating the hell out of her right so when you mischaracterize what they actually do in terms of what their what their what their religion says it's important just to clarify what they mean by physical um adjustment that's fair <clears throat> and so if so so go ahead. your point about the whole thing with the governments right if we didn't continuously have them under the threat of nukes would they fucking attack us yes or no no i can see my time y'all got it down well well wait wait because i'm, I'm answering so like our our navy History shows otherwise but the, attacking the united states of america they can do that to so, states so pearl harbor didn't happen i mean so I mean, you got it so what well, will be the country that will be wait, 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 wait. maybe we oh, missed okay. maybe we oh missed what he asked oh uh, daryl he no, 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 had a conversation about the women we, now you don't talk about Darryl, fraud oh, and what it is and shit. i want to talk about that that's nah, goofy as fuck no, it's he, not about nukes. You have 73 no, military bases around the planet. Now you have yeah. allies. I asked the question was this. The question was this. Here's the problem. You, yeah. y'all not making no y'all not making no strides in a conversation by acting like somebody's saying so much super intelligent shit. The question need to be answered honestly. So, yeah. Daryl, do you understand where we are as a landmass? You don't you attack the United States. We have the largest navy. We have the most planes. We are surrounded by our allies, right? You have to cross two bodies of water to get to us. So when you mention nukes, I'm saying no because all those other factors matter. I'm not trying to answer your question disingenuously. You see what I'm saying? The all of it has to be considered when you say somebody's gonna attack us. That's what I'm saying. That's all. But be but careful, you can't be the monster. Can we please bring it open. back into relationships? Because I yeah, do not know who is yeah, America. Sorry, and can who's, I, can I say and one who's thing? Japan? I don't know who's who's Japan, and who's who's Pearl Harbor. I don't know which one's with. Let's bring it back into relationship because that's where the shit started. Let's get back to the goddamn conversation because this whole war shit it doesn't relate to relationships to me at all. I have a how question. Do, how do we? How do we get? Please let this we, weak nigga finish, please. I, I have a question after world class goes about relationships, right? Because we're solution based, so I try to get to a solution. Mm -hmm. Right, world class. Why? Do, did, how do we get to Ali's question? What was that question based off? So, of? Yes, we, let's we're about to spend ten minutes so on the conversation. It, it, it conversation. started see, world, world class. We yeah. got here because mm -hmm. Ali's point of asking the question about who would women choose if there was a winning side, and we know that women would choose the winning side. No, no, no. I know. I got that part. Why did we get uh -huh. right there? Prior to that, we how did we even get right there? That's we got saying. right there because we he was trying to establish that the or we got there because what podcast fatty and ali was establishing was the only reason why these things society works the way in that it does is because men agree to it but if men as a whole decided not to agree to these terms and conditions of how we run our society and by nature run our relationships because society is a big contributor factor of how our relationships run Come this on. shit would be over come on so that's we're saying what we're what 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 happened is ali was pointing to another society that dictates their relationship based off of the laws of the land very similar to our society in the sense of if our society if for example, well, if it right, wasn't so illegal, what are the laws of the land so we could get a clear because oh my so god, we can't, we can't, we can't wait, wait, go through wait, that run. That's a lot. That's too big. It's simple. Give us five points, three points. I got, 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 I got so Sharon, so I'm here. I'm here. Man, we, Sharon, here's a like simple three. law. To, here's a here's a simple law to land for the United States that we all agree to. You can't put your hands on a woman by not, any by any Human means. means human beings you can't put your hands on well, human well, beings. well wait but wait, wait, that's a societal agreement right that's a societal agreement we know that men and women are viewed differently on a societal level we know that if a man gets hit by a woman it's not treated the same way like there's nuance to that but the agreement the agreement is do not put your hands on a woman if you're a man that's a societal agreement so with that being in a societal agreement you can't then say oh because this is a societal agreement i'm in a relationship i'm going to do it anyway Okay, and because you're breaking you're breaking the first step of that agreement on a societal level, and then you're doing it in your relationship. Okay, so now the men on the other side, what do they could do that makes them better men? Because he said they are better men. So go ahead. No, well, no, I didn't. Wait, who said it didn't? 
That was no. a suggestion. Oh, no, yeah, they're, they're trying to go away from the point. They're, that's what I'm, they I'm do. They, they always do. In the point, if you need to correct me, correct me. I'm not trying to mischaracterize it. I'm really trying to get to help them understand the, the point what? quickly, though. Quickly, quickly, just Ron, you said. I just want to make sure we get we got we got one point we got one point that is uh is that you can't put your hands on a woman in America now how does that relate to the ones on the other side no you said that men that actually use fear to control their woman are weak men and the conversation escalated because of that nobody said they are greater men or power you said Men that control women by fear are weak. I, I ask you, right. are your ancestors weak? Are the men on the Middle East weak? And then we went on a diatribe towards that. So that's where we got. And I have a question. Hey, he's not even addressing it. If, yes, Chiki just, address if, Chiki, if Chiki just gave you a scenario that collectively we're saying men can't hit women, right? Right. That is fear. It's what you right. control me. Right. If it wasn't for that fear, if it wasn't yeah. for the fear of being arrested and going to jail That's and being prosecuted, and losing your job money, yeah. niggas would be beating the shit out of chicks way more often. Yeah, it's fear. And it's you fear. don't have a problem with that fear mongering being against men. You don't consider that weak. Let, and let, now, when you respond, you're going to go somewhere else, move the goalposts, do everything except well, for address see. the point that was just made to you because let's you're see. fucking black. Let's see. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let them. I, I do not compare women to men, but yes. Yeah, so, so you saying that every man? So, what you saying is that every man that followed the law is weak? Just so I'm clear. Checkmate. No, I told you no, he was going to clear. No, I know he was told you he was That's not what he was saying. He's saying that law. We they we they 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 um they um uh, men they enforce structure so me, on men with with fear. Yes. Hey, can I can I ask? Can no, I those men are no, 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 weak. Does he understand it? Huh? No, what, no, 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 in that they wait, use, wait, wait, we wait, use, wait, wait, we wait, use wait. fear, we use fear to control men, right? So, what about the opposite side? So, why not do it for women? Maybe because it's me saying it, God, cheeky. So, so wait, 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 stop, stop, wait, stop, let me wait, stop, 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 please wait, just wait, Sharon. Wait, 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 wait. Sharon, are you, are you afraid of going to jail? No. I don't know what to do. Now we're locking our families. Ask the question again. Ask men. Ask a man. Just ask him a direct question. The question was, if it's okay to use fear to control me and why not women? And you know what he said? No, I didn't. I said I treat men and women differently. Y'all don't want to accept it. Y'all don't want to What I said is I treat men and women differently is what I said. Right, 45 minutes John, ago, wait, 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 45 we minutes ago, 45 minutes, 45 minutes ago, and this is, this is why, and this Law is why I said, everybody I'm trying, I, and, and, and here's the thing, world class, Jesus, Jesus they made a statement as though order shouldn't have been established, right, this said, when Jay Prince said it's his turn, and then so I le I let up on it, and now we've been talking about bullshit. It's 45 fucking and minutes. It's, and it's not intentional by everybody. It's just that the points it's are happening. being ran over. Right. So I'm, I'm saying 45 minutes ago, we established that Sharon was talking about in the house. It was rebutted with the fact that if you expand that to a macro level, right? This is 45 minutes ago. The point that's being made right now, if you expand it to a micro level, it undermines his point. He still said it doesn't dismiss his point. That if you have to Get your keep your chick from fear. You're a weak man. It still doesn't dismiss his point. It's not me saying I agree with it. Still doesn't dismiss his point because he's never got to go in to explain what it. What do you mean by weak in terms of fear? He hasn't explained that. So if y'all gonna do world class, can I can I finish? Can I just finish? Can I just finish the sentence? I got one. Ask question. I'm not gonna No, no, let him go in. It's a respectful interjection. I'm not trying to take the mic. I just want to finish my sentence. I want to finish my sentence. At this point, just ask Sharon, what does he mean by that? All of this banter for 45 minutes, and you need to ask him to go in and prove his point in terms of you being uh, a man, a man needing to use a woman or keep a woman by fear is weak. He never added it, he never qualified that, and y'all never asked. What do you mean? I'm by sorry, because it was motherfucking irrelevant. 
He well, said that shit in response to a nigga well, making see. a comment about let's a macro, Beans, you know, a macro but, problem. But this isn't this hasn't furthered the conversation in the last 30 minutes is world class point. So let's see if this helps the conversation because we didn't try it yet. We tried everything else and it didn't work. So Sharon, what do you mean? What makes him how how should we word it? What makes him weak? Why do you characterize them as such? Right. So the so from what I'm getting from the conversation, what characterizes it as weak is that we use a fear of physical constraints on the women. And that's why those women on the other side is willing to follow those men. Because the women on that side, they use physical uh, <laughs> attributes to get submission from the woman. And for me, I look at that as weak. That's why I understood it as. Do you see, Amp? You ex literally explain escalation is more culture. We talk about deterrent instead of actually aggression, and they went right back to the yep. same fucking bullshit. Oh, wait, so wait, 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 wait. Let 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 this let this just be a bygones be bygones point. No, no, no. I, I have a question. Can we please move on? I have a question. I have a question. I, 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 Hey, this friend, just, just trust me for a second. I have a question for J.P. I have a no, question for J.P. Daryl and Sharon real quick. This is not what's being called out, right? Y'all, and, and I saw what I'm saying that. Y'all is saying that, y'all is saying that, okay. J.P. you not, never left me look. You are going to crash the shit. Oh, what y'all what y'all saying is that the only thing that's preventing men, like Cheeky said, He's going from, to do it again. you know, like no, that was being said. Men will be beating ass these women ass if it wasn't see, from other men creating the law, establish that respect. What help was said, but it, it, it with inside of that, that still makes that man weak. It's almost it's 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 one hundred percent not a, a synonymous with a man hitting on a woman, but he won't get he won't hit another fucking man. You see what so, I'm talking about? The, the M. You see this shit, bro? But fatty, but fatty, wait, but fatty, but wait, but wait. This is why I told you to let him finish. Show. This is why I told you to let him finish, Fanny. This, this is so bad. Just this, that's why I told you to let that's him finish. That's exactly that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. You will hit a bitch, but you won't hit a man. That's what that's what this whole that's what the whole <laughs> it, 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 let it rock, bro. Listen, but that's what you're saying. If if another man putting fear in your bitch ass. The only thing that's stopping you from hitting on a woman because you were scared of another nigga. You was a bitch. And this is why I hey, wanted Daddy, to, let him finish. Why, Please let him finish. This this why, is this why my main point, right? When y'all y'all got me confused when y'all saying all women is the same. Let's bring it here to America. Because it's a reason why we single out black women and saying black women is loud, ghetto, obnoxious, violent, whatever the case. Because from my experience... I don't see no other races of women doing that shit that y'all talking about. It's a, and if y'all say it is, well, you can no longer single out black women. If other races of women is doing the same shit, why do black women get singled out the most? Clearly, all the men in America that's not beating on their women, that's not, don't, we don't have those laws, those religions over here in America, but yet they women still comply with them. Y'all don't want to face no, the fact that you niggas got some, you niggas got some accountability to take on why you getting treated like a bitch by your woman. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No That's doubt. A That's, a good, That's a good landing point right there, JP. So, 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 cheeky. Really, really, really quickly, cheeky. Do you think I pay attention to conversations? How good do you think I am at paying attention to conversations? Fucking great. Okay. <laughs> so this is my point. That thing that Sharon said about what niggas do in their household he said that shit disingenuously to a comment that fatty made on a macro fucking level yep. and we just spent all this time worrying about what the fuck he was talking about we got when we his re when that shit was a response to a a, 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 a statement based uh, on a macro level we uh, wind the fucking tape back i bet uh, any kind of money that you want to Thing, bro, we gotta just. I got fucking be sick of this bro. dumb ass shit. Bro, we we mean, shit. Podcast, remember what we talked about? Podcast, remember what we talked about? Man? Remember what we talked about? Remember what we talked about? Remember what we talked about? Gotta chill. Gotta chill. Trash, Ali. One hundred percent. Look what look what look what look what Jay Prince just did. Jay Prince just I know what we're arguing about. On a matter of understand you. We was just arguing about. Here's the main issue. Here's the main issue with when you're looking at the conversation. Y'all spend so much time addressing 
what it is you don't like and, and, and who's saying it and for how long like just address the point you don't got to call shit dumb and things of that nature allow people to expose themselves with a talking point that doesn't make sense Kendall, but instead we want to i'm not hey, done on, i'm not done i'm not i'm not done it don't matter which i'm not done right y'all think y'all win in the battle when the truth is it's a mess thank you like it, it doesn't it, it you think that you think that we checkmating or, or or we put somebody in the bathroom but we not really because then you we just yelling and they just yelling and then people in the chat gonna agree with who they agree with because they can only hear the person they give a fuck about i'm just asking y'all to take a look at that man that's it so can i ask you a question patty let me ask some question me and you had discussed yes, this before right when people if all there's certain people don't have an intentional conversation like we talk about our relationships and the people who are being intentional making the point are being gaslighted gaslighted because the other side act like they don't know what we're talking about or they change the they change the conversation to something else and this is what i ask you about the importance of even the moderation of it once you and you've been doing it as well here once you're seeing someone either re deflecting or redirecting the conversation to something else after we made our point they're therefore gaslighting and then we get upset about the fact that they can continuously go away from the point instead of the point that they're either ignoring or going up uh, not not even uh giving any context to purposely Ali, Ali. it gaslights us and we get upset Ali, don't yes. shoot code it. Hemp is the best in the space that moderated. I said that. Y'all heard me say it? Hemp is the best that's in the best yeah. in the space that moderated. Guess what? He ain't fucking perfect. No, he no. letting these niggas derail the conversation with these dumbass points that that's didn't have shit to do with what we were talking about. No, we were having no. a conversation about how we no, the, look at the question. Right. Is it right. over? If so, who will suffer more? That's on a macro level. That, 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 that's that's fine. Your individual that's fine. That's fine. and his fucking relationship. Fuck it. That's fine. The thing is, what are y'all talking about? Podcast is fine. The thing for these niggas, man. But it's gonna make us look like we crazy. Podcast is what I'm saying. We, we, we get to look like this, like we crazy. Right. We, we get exactly. Wait, one second. Let's get crazy then. Come on, podcast. Go. Another topic. All right. Go ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. Go ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just get a little bit frustrated because not all opinions are the same with all the respect to everybody. And what is happening here is there somebody's putting the foot on the on the scale. And we're pretending that when G Prince says something dumb, is exactly as valuable as when Chiki is talking. With all the respect, this is actually the problem with this place a lot. And oh, I'm 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 I apologize, G Prince, is that we put a very strong argument and a very weak argument in the same fucking space. We pretend they are both the same when the reality one is an extremely good oh, argument oh, and one one oh, is a dumbass. Oh, oh, it's natural oh, for us to get frustrated, but taking out of that. Everything you're saying is right. We say is wrong. That's what you're saying. It's fine. It's fine. So first of all, everything you're saying is right, and everybody else wrong. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. They talking fix me. Go hear it. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get what it is. What it is. You know, y'all you, don't want to add the other, the other nuance to the conversation. You just want to give up these dumb, shallow ass little points and want us to harp on a shallow ass point without bringing in nuances. Okay, and on I have, I have, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Fatty. Hold on, Fatty. Hold on. God, Fatty, stop stop doing doing shit. Shit. Wait, please, please, Fatty. Please. No, please. Stop, stop. Hey, Chris, no, ask the host. Ask the host. He had an audacity to say that I'm allowing something. I'm just trying to figure out what beans. What are you watching, nigga? I watched. Are you? This nigga. Right, let me ask you a question real quick. You just did. I'm trying. Are to ask you? you. Uh, it was rhetorical. Okay, my bad. Go ahead. Are, are you understanding what's happening? Do you understanding the components that are involved? And do you know that you're a large component of the of the things that is is not helping the situation, right? Absolutely. So it, what I'm saying is, it's unfair for you to try to implicate in that way. It doesn't make a lot of sense. What I like to do is let people say what they saying even if it may not be totally on par and i ask clarifying questions to help them get back to the point instead i allow everybody to jump in hopefully you guys would do it but you didn't do it if i was just right. questioning people i would get them back to that point instead i say fatty do you want to say something beans do you want to say something that's mm -hmm. the different nuance here and you right. you hear they derailing right mm -hmm. but i'm hearing a, a point of view no, no they're really. Hold on. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying I'm not saying 100 percent of the time, right. right? But I'm saying that they're giving a point of view based on how they perceive the question as well. Absolutely. Hold on, hold on, Ali, please. I'm begging you, please. That's He's on, addressing man. me. Let me say this. So, Ham, you, I, I consider you to be a very in, in, a person of integrity, right? Yes, sir. You have a airplane sound that you play. Why do you play that airplane sound? 
uh, so people can land a plane. Absolutely. So that means that you understand that sometimes people can take too long when they're talking, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what I can understand is when a motherfucker is being disingenuous. I don't have a sound effect for it, but it's just the truth. I pay attention intently to who said what, when they said it, why it was said. I listen very closely. So I'm understanding when Jay Prince blurts out of his fucking mouth, respectfully, Jay Prince know I rock with him. But when he blurts out of his mouth that we saying it should be okay to beat women, or if he say we scared to hit men, that's some disingenuous bullshit. After we nobody has ever said oh, any of that. We hold on. Can't like we ever said right. that shit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's bullshit. Cause when Fucking Ali says the disingenuous shit and, and pandering shit. You don't say a motherfucking thing. So if it's okay for Ali to say it, then it's eyes, fucking okay for JP. I, I, okay, I agree with you. 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 I Every time Daryl got it, Joe, you want to beat woman. Sure, yeah. got it. You guys Ron are on in the first few hours to... of this conversation I, 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 said he I, 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 wasn't pandering. Let, let me feel, let me Ron finish. said the let first few hours he point. wasn't pandering. Finish, and Ali not... didn't shut the fuck let up not one time. Give him the floor. Give him the floor. Give them the floor. Let him finish. Give them the floor so we can have the floor. Give him the floor. It's okay for one side. They're interjecting on purpose. Let him have it. No, and, and, and what workplace okay is okay for one side? Is okay for one side. Nothing I'm saying is challenging, but that's why y'all keep what, talking. What if it's okay for Ali to do it, then it got to be okay for JP. So stop. Oh, what did he say my there. name? Let me, Fatty. Let me address it. He said my name. Right. Fatty it's told you this the know. other day. Uh, uh, hemp. You took the women. You you took the women away from the shore, and they ran right back to the the water again when you helped them. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we said we're speaking about men being physical with men, Sharon made it back about women. Then Daryl made about woman. Then you grabbed it from both of them and you explained to them. They're not speaking about beating women. They they explained it to you. We already went through that. The religion and escalates. Once you yes. let it back to Jay Prince, Jay Prince is for bitches because we're not going to be violent with men. What we're talking about is being violent with men. Absolutely. No, 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 now you yeah. said my name. Now you said my name. Let me clarify. No, 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 you don't have to get into it. Real, real, quick, real, quick, real, quick, real quick, real quick. Here, that, well, that, and so Ali, real, real quick. That's why, that's why, that's why. I take exception with foolishness when it's said, right? Because you just said that I redirected them, gave them clarity, right? But then it yes. was alleged that that didn't happen, right? So that that's the point. It doesn't make a lot of sense, you what, know. What but what, not what not, not you, not you. When oh, people oh, saying I didn't, yeah, I didn't me, redirect the you, things of that nature when they when they tried to derail. Remember? So I was no, like, hey, right, right. Well, here's what it is. No, you see? What no, I'm you didn't grab it back from Jay Prince when he started going. Oh, now he he's going went. back. To no, 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 no. Let me, Jay Prince, Prince, I gave y'all the floor. Right. I gave y'all the floor. Understand. Respect. Not. You've been talking the entire time. And he, he, all he does is interject. He's not even trying to make a point. He just, like Lee, bro. He just does, so, does Ed Lee. So, yeah. Stand on there and make a point first, and then we'll, we'll discuss your I point. Every, yeah. every, After, I made every point. You can't. No, you have, like, I know you want to. Come, come on, Ali, bring it back in. Bring it back no, in. Let me, let me, let me say it to you if you don't mind. So when JP just went about, about the men afraid of other men, but they'll hit women. Who, yeah, yes, yes. That point. Yes, you right. should have grabbed it away, like you grabbing well, it away from me right so now, this, respectfully. This what, no, no, you're wrong. Respectfully. Okay. Okay. Right? Oh. So when he when he was talking, oh. he 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 finished his statement, and then that's when I started talking to podcast fatty, etc. I didn't even have a chance to redirect him because we just jumped back into the conversation. That's why okay. I think it's very important just to assess all the situation. Okay. I'm gonna say what podcast told you. You're extremely intentional and respectful, correct? If you yes, if you got your kids, your twins in the house fighting, and they've been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, and you you're let's say you're the smartest person on the panel right now. Have you acknowledged we've been in the same spot for this long because what they've been continuing to do? That's all I'm. At. And then you're saying you're telling us we've been in the same spot, but you're the moderator, him. We're in the same spot because mm -hmm. you're allowing us to be in that yeah. same spot. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying he's not doing his job correctly. Yeah, what I, I, what I was he's saying. He's not doing his job correctly. He, he's trying to run the chat. He's trying to run the and my see, see, and then they do that. They create context and narrative that I'm not saying it right now. But then here's the thing: I don't. I'm not buying into what Jay Prince is saying. We having a conversation. Um, I usually concede when you guys are right. Unfortunately, I can't do it this time because that's not how the majority of the conversation yeah, went. Um, and so what I need for is actually take a step back and assess 
how it's been happening and understand that i also gave other content creators who i deem professional grace to get it back in line but unfortunately it didn't go that way yeah but, but what we can do at this point we can look at the girls version of it and we can look at our version of it and we can see in the world can see who's better i'll say it again i'll say it again real quick real quick real quick let's go ahead fatty what you say fatty what were you saying real quick what I'm saying is that Amp is the sure. point point people out. <laughs> if some people are doing some bullshit, point them out. Don't say you guys. Right? Is right? mm -hmm. is the, the I yeah. am have the right to be frustrated when every time this motherfucker picks up the, the microphone and he goes Woo! like mm -hmm. I have like, one time okay, two times okay. I gave you the floor and then Hamp gave it back. This is what I'm speaking about. They're this is what you're talking about. They're not trying to make points. They're interjecting. And they cut you off. Go ahead, Fatty. Go ahead and finish. Go ahead, Fatty. Go ahead and finish. Jay Prince. I'm interested, I'm interested to hear what he's saying. Go ahead, Fatty. I, it's just the foot on, on the scale. If, like winners win, mm -hmm. losers lose. There's great debaters. There's great mm -hmm. arguments. There's shady debaters. There's shady arguments. I don't like when somebody puts the foot on the scale and pretends that the dumbest person in the room <laughs> opinion is as valid as the smartest person in the room. That shit actually ends up being oh, frustrated. Yeah. And this is usually what, how we get here is we're looking at it says them yeah. like motherfucker yeah. can't even stick a topic, right? So the main, the main, yeah. I, you allow me to take the conversation out of the mud because I want to go back to the way. Wait, 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 Fatty, hold on, Fatty, real quick. I yeah. have the question Fatty. for three of them. Fatty, real Damn. quick. I think that you would be correct if I would agree that they're the only ones turning the conversation upside down. Oh, um, yes. Please, you know Fatty, saying? please. Hell, so, let me ask you a question. So what I'm saying is, uh, what I'm saying is, it's been a lot of hands in that pot turning the conversation upside down. Hmm. Okay, Hamp, let me ask you a question, please. So, Fatty, do you remember earlier when Fatty said, he brought up, he said, I think it was Fatty, or it might have been Ali, one of them said, in the Middle East, they use fear. I think it was Fatty who said they use fear to control. Terror. Do you, do, you, do you remember that specifically? No. Now, fear yes okay so is the middle east a person in a relationship or is that on a macro level macro okay so ron's response to that was if a you nigga had to use fear to control his woman in a relationship a, a, a podcast hey, I have, wait, I have... let it land fatty yes, that man. was how that was interjected into the conversation Ham. okay and, and... But no, 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 Fatty. We gotta hold the moderator. Yeah. No, you okay. can't. You first off, first off, first off, be clear. I'm allowing this conversation to happen. Right? Absolutely, you got it. You the man. I just, just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that's clear. Absolutely, you got it. You the man. No, nah, I'm not even talking about that. I'm saying okay. that I'm fielding it right because I'm choosing to do so. You Absolutely, you got to make sure that's clear. Absolutely, you got it. Yes, sir. So, 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 so does it make sense? So, in your opinion, mm -hmm. if a person is stating that in the Middle East, on a macro level, the way that they control their women is through fear, does it make sense for a nigga to interject that if a man in an individual relationship needs to use fear to control his woman, he's weak? That's a yes or no question. No, it's not. It's not a yes or no question. Um, but I think that if if that was how the interjection went at that juncture it wouldn't make sense absolutely so mm -hmm. when i said that the nigga derailed the conversation i was absolutely wrong no, beans, when, when him, let me ask you a question beans when him brought it back like ali said he brought it back then i derailed it right do you recall yourself saying if because you was hype when you said it, if it wasn't for the law niggas would be beating right. bitches up that's what yes. you said right yes it's, right right so that's when i said uh -huh. so what so based on what you let me re-clarify do yep, you keep just do you, that, do you uh, uh, hold on podcast do you say that if it wasn't for the law yes yes i said it yes okay now that's when i said mm -hmm. that if it wasn't for the law niggas would be being, being bitches up and that's mm -hmm. what i used an example of so based on what podcast saying mm -hmm. is that he would hit a woman but not the female and then i went on and said that and then i went on and said that it, it, since since you are afraid, another man got you afraid of putting your hands on a other uh, on a on a female because you worry about what another man gonna do to you, which is just the law. That's what make you a weak ass nigga. 
That's when I said what I said based off your shit. What cool. you said. So okay, cool. Ali, you a bitchy genius. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 go to Ali. Don't go to Ali. Don't go to Ali. Don't go to Ali. Let's go to the moderator. So, according to the moderator, dear Hemp, dear DJ Hemp, if a person says that the reason why men aren't more physical with women is because of the law, is that indicative of a man being unwilling to fight another man? Yes or no? It's another man created that law. I'm asking him. Well, in terms of enforcement, right? You would call a man to deal with a man. So if you if you listen to JP's logic, the only reason why men aren't doing it is because the law will be enforced by other men to stop them from doing it. Right. Correct. Right. They, they Jay the, fear in you. the same fear, the same fear that you try to put in that woman, another man put that fear in you. I can, Jay Prince, I can see him. The question is, the question is, is a man is a man's reluctancy to be physical with a woman over fear of prosecution indicative of his reluctance reluctancy to fight another man, yes or no? But what, what I'm saying is, I'm how asking DJ Hamp. Oh my bad. Just a physical altercation, no. Okay. It would be so fair when I say that niggas are derailing the conversation, I'm not just saying that shit to be disingenuous. I listen to what people say very intently, DJ Hamp. I know when people are just yeah. saying shit to be saying shit to be provocative, to be disingenuous, and be on bullshit. Both yeah, times now, I was just proving that between Sharon and Jay Prince, it can go all night long if you want to. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm better than everybody else just because I am. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you're going to play a plane when a nigga is talking too long, have some type of interjection when niggas are being disingenuous. No. When oh, niggas oh, is oh, making oh, statements oh, that's oh, the oh, realm oh, of the conversation oh, oh, and put us in a place where we end up for 30 oh, minutes oh, having a conversation oh, about oh, the oh, conversation. Oh, 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 Damn, can you let me take these other oh, 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 in a humble, in a humble tone, yes, beans, I'm, I'm that was sure. the uh, purpose of when you say beating bitches up, oh. you is installing a system, right? That is the same system in, in a way, right? You trying to install this fear system into a woman so she can follow your orders the same way that a man did you. This uh, is yeah. the, this yeah. exactly so, what you, the you know, purpose it, of being more I, I, to assault. Can y'all just can y'all just let me deal with him? Let me let me deal with him. I got the, I got all three of them. It's a, it's a kick one. Will and Will Will Will, will it kill the, the dumb macro point because they're controlling the women. <laughs> you watch this. They're controlling the women by fear, right? So are the women being controlled by fear of the law or fear of a law? Both. The law. Both. They're it's being they relationship is law is both. It's both, but their laws are based on their laws are based on the Quran, right? Yeah. Sir, it's both. Is okay. the so shame of being able to? I know I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking. I wasn't. Yeah, okay. So, so it, then it would go back to Sharon's point, and you would be correct. Mm -hmm. Which is what? Oh my God! Their, 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 their fear. Their fear. No, 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 no. Their their fear is not because of the law or no man. Their fear is because of their religion. Mm -hmm. So people without a religion, let's see you make that argument. Who cool. they're not these oh, women, wait, these women, wait, wait, wait. these women, wait, wait. Stop, stop these, women these women, these... I got this nigga fatty. I... No, 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 please do it. God with no religion. Let's rock. There's not a secular no, country. Time. The law of the country is literally connected to the religion. Is this that's like a that's the fucking point? That's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, but that's but that's, that's the thing. Fact. What are you that's talking exactly about? What he said. That's the point. Is both. So you fucking idiot. That huh. means that the fear that they have is from God. Who? Cool. What? Boy, I, this is why I told you to let me no, have it, man. Daddy. God doesn't yeah. stone and see, woman. This is, and this is and this is the problem when Ali, when you try to point out like what, how it's you, you understand, it's all gotcha moments only. I wish it yeah. was more like trying to understand. And then when I listen to Jay Prince make a point power. that I'm when I listen to Jay Prince make a point that people think doesn't coincide, now I'm supposed to just cut him off, right? But I understand that the, I understand to a level where he's coming from, even if it's off base, he's not doing it to be off base. And I just think that, you know, it just 
at a point, like it, it is what it is. You feel me? <laughs> world class, world class, world class. If I can see, don't do that podcast. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to engage in this. It's not worth it at all. Like it's not worth it. Just talking by talking. I just want to yeah. say one thing. You got your ass smoked. All three of y'all. Let him go. Just let, let him go. Let him have it. 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 Let him have if you make the religious argument, what you're literally saying is that the women are choosing to behave. And as long as you're saying that they choosing to behave, this goes back to Ali's point of exactly. fucking hour ago, which is what we want from the women is for them to control no, fear, no, fear, no. themselves. Your we Ron don't have point, to your fear. Ron <laughs> point. You are responding to Sharon's point to Ali. So y'all get mute. lost. I don't get lost. Already said it, it wasn't that, fucking mute. I just made sure it won. I made sure it was heard. All he right. said, "You are a, you are weak. Why? If you have to use if you fear, have to use fear, you because you're not fucking okay. Allah and you're not the Most High. So what do they you fear? So what, fear what is it? That, woman. What is it so, that they fear? This God the niggas that? were saying the laws, the laws, the laws, the laws in Islam." Which I what would Islam? What did they fear with Islam? Oh, what is it? The fuck up while I'm talking. Hey, yeah, was I not fly while these niggas was talking? Come on, go ahead, world class. Go ahead. Yeah, so this gonna be the last point. Go ahead, world again. Class. So if so again, if if the laws were that the, these chicks are afraid of is from Allah, it's from the Quran, then it had nothing to do about his uh, his uh, his scenario. With what country do what? Because in this country we don't have that, and over there in that country they're not doing it, so it didn't fucking apply at all. They're not fucking doing it because the men made a decision to do X, X, and Y. They are they they have to <coughs> submit to Allah. That's what a Muslim is. That includes the women. So right. when Sharon and that, this is the part I'm trying to get y'all to understand, I don't give a fuck about Sharon's point. His right. point still stands, and you still had to. We could have saved an hour and a half by just asking him what he meant. We would have saved time. It's not rocket science. That's my oh, point. I don't oh, even oh. fighting for his point. It's just stop wasting fucking an hour and we are all content creators. We could be doing other shit and wasting time. Right. But but world class, you you do realize, right? That he said that in response to a nigga making a comment on a macro level. That's what the fuck but, I said? Oh, wait a minute. I just begged them niggas to be quiet while you was talking. You see. World class, what I'm saying, but we good though, huh? We good. But not really, the not and really. Because straight, as long as everybody else be well, quiet. No, here's a, no, because here's the thing. This is what happened when you try to paint a picture, right? This is the stuff that you want me to fix and, and try to bring back to zero, right? When then, but then y'all want to do it. That that's the part that irks me. Um, just to be super candid with y'all. Um, so, uh. I'm not really interested in the back and forth. I'm I'm saying it sounded like they, there was agreement there with what world class said and what Fatty was just saying. So I don't know where the, the discrepancy is to go back and forth about at that juncture with this particular conversation. Well, the, the, I want, the discrepancy I want to... is that he's making the argument that the conversation proceeded based on somebody not asking Sharon the right question when what we're trying to say, myself, Fatty, and Ali, ironically right <laughs> us three on the same team is that it was a moot point because nobody made the statement on the individual level we were talking about what happens on a macro level right mm -hmm. so even to world class's point right now what he's basically saying is that the women themselves are choosing to abide in their religion that means they're making their own choice to be cooperative yeah. submissive and all that other stuff which was exactly what ali said an hour yeah. ago yeah, it's what we wanted from the women was for them to choose to be cooperative on their fucking own that we didn't want to have to fight <laughs> for or any of that mm -hmm. other shit with them a podcast yeah. and, and so allow yeah. me i just have one more question i don't have no more questions right go ahead Fanny. It is for Sharon, the Real, J Prince, and World Class, right? We usually, if you are solution based, we look at the best at doing something and we mimic it, right? The stock market, <clears> best. <throat> basketball, the NBA. We go to Sweden to see the prison system. We go to whatever to see the, the, the health system, right? My question to this man is what are the women that we 
should model like all the women in the west if they had to model a woman in whatever area in the planet since it's not the woman in the middle east right because she's oppressed and all that shit, tell me a woman that you should actually you say black woman white woman all that you should model this after this woman in vietnam or whatever like wh where where is this yeah. woman that yeah. should be the yeah. model of the modern in the west get a bit by dog dial on <coughs> That's the woman. Get a bitch. Buy a dog. Okay. 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 Go, go ahead, Sharon. Hey, so uh, I found my woman. I found her through uh, values. So you got to go by values. You shouldn't go by what you like in a woman. You should go by if you have values aligned with each other. Not just um, saying because you like a movie or because you like a basketball team. Just because you yeah, like the Lakers. Shit. That's not how you should choose your woman. You should choose what podcast is complaining about. Where is the area of the planet where you should find this woman so they model around it? Oh, you have to be green and be the same basketball and parties. That's not the question. So you mean, went to Russia to get your wife, Sharon, right? Or whatever. Right? Women is right? I mean, not a monolith. No, the question is, if you were to actually look at the world and we can diagnose that the woman in the West is corrupted, Everybody is <laughs> where will be the place in the planet other than the Middle East because you guys don't like the Middle East because it's abuse where women are doing good so we can model our behaviors to that woman. What is the place? Mm -hmm. So uh so um I would say you should go by the model of who um what the divorce rates are at. So America divorce rate is not as bad as most places in the country. We actually in the top 10. So over here we have great women and they are staying in relationships longer than most other countries. So I say, if you live in America, you are in a good spot to find a woman. So fatty, when he was saying he was articulating, what was he saying initially? He was saying, oh, you don't have to look at women by their, if they have the same, they likings as you, if they like basketball, or the Lakers or these or that or do. Mm -hmm. or so his his so 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 when i'm hearing that right just as an mm -hmm. example he's saying the women are around you but it's not you it's not them it's you so he's saying you could find a woman over here if mm -hmm. you yeah. do all the things that we've been telling men to do but his wife is russian i understand but you see what i'm saying when he's, when he's, when he's breaking he, it down. He, he impregnated two black women no good found the russian woman mm -hmm married her and then it turns around and says you know fellas they tried to run the united states the motherfucking biggest hypocrite in the planet the black okay. woman wasn't good enough for him the person the second time the mm -hmm. third time he pick a russian and now he turns around you know what you stay right here because women are awesome here yeah what yeah no no but but fatty you see what i'm was saying wrong about, and it's not about divorce was wrong mm -hmm. as well too i got yes. you but, but fatty you see what i'm saying so even if you saying he's being hypocritical I, he's working to a point where he's like, the women are here if you get your shit together. That's I, all I'm saying. You, Amp, and let yeah. me just say this real quick, Amp. Yes, sir. We get we are frustrated because we know each other tendencies for years now. Okay. We know when these people are bullshitting. We mm. can literally as soon as they start talking, here we go. <laughs> the, so is the frustration is motherfucker. Oh. Look at <laughs> these motherfuckers this shit again. So you've been doing it for oh that makes sense that makes yes sense. we what, know these people point? we actually like we know each other tendencies you know that motherfuckers went to right left that's all they do hold on this is this is not, this is what you said earlier i understand sir you said you said you hate narratives this was just another that was just another example of painting yeah that got, that went on what the fuck was that a narrative no, fine, 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 fine. Uh, uh, Sharon, where did I lie? Fucking God. No. Totally it, fine, Sharon, where Ron, was the lie that I said? Ron, what I heard what he was saying was <coughs> the familiarity of it. So <clears throat> when I'm hearing your approach to a question, I'm hearing it as just an approach to a question. It seems as though they're hearing it as you've been doing this shit for too long. I'm tired of this approach. My question is, where did I lie, Sharon? Where, where did you lie that I'm not painting a narrative? That's the problem. I so am where did I lie? I'm, I'm, answering where did I lie? It, I'm answering it how I really hear the question. And you hmm. making it seem like I'm not answering it the way how I hear the question. You make it seem like I am doing something I'm not doing. And that a narrative true. is a lie. Is me putting something together that is actually not real. Sharon, tell me on my statement, 
you made two black women baby mamas you didn't choose them and then you choose to the marry family. the russian woman so you're not telling other people to peek inside while you exporting your wife you, my question is like is it, where wait, am i lying if he's a narrative where wait wait wait, wait 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 sharon's point still stands <laughs> sharon point still stands you don't have no. to use because he could be the minority like let's just say what you said is true yes. right he would mm. he would be a singular person just yes. to refute your point is he'd mm. say uh, i got my daughter married to a u.s person uh my cousin my uncle he had 15 20 people <laughs> And mm -hmm. that would make his point still stand. You're okay. identifying an individual. So he, he based part okay. of his point on the stats of America and divorce rates, etc. His point it, still stands. It's actually perfect, Aaron. So what's the problem with Derek Jackson? Derek Jackson can preach to everybody, do whatever you you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. And his real life doesn't have to actually comply with what he says. What's the problem with Derek Jackson then? He's telling the woman, do this, do this, do this, while he's on the back. Cheating, doing a bunch of shit. This is my it, personal it's a, life. It's a, it's a but simple, what's the difference? It's a what's simple, the problem? There's a simple answer to that. Hmm. If Derek Jackson did all those things you said and he never ever got caught, hmm. there's no knowledge of that, right? He's telling you the right information, right? Hmm. If that's the problem with people. Is it about if the information is right or is it about who's saying the information? Okay, tell him, Aaron. Tell him, Aaron. Tell him. Aaron, no, since you're being very logical, yes or no. Did he answer Fatty's question? Where did I like? I, I don't know. Oh, which which question? That's what I'm saying. The where question did he was, lie? where do our what women do our women get to model themselves against? No, yeah, that's no, the person. I, I did not hear an answer to that. He asked, he, asked, he, asked, he may have said it, but I, I didn't hear it. He asked me, Darren and Sharon. This is what I would say, Fatty. Um but I did answer it though. <laughs> I actually did answer it. What was his answer? What was his answer though, Jay Prince? No, no, no. Let Jay Prince talk. I, I, have, go I just probably didn't hear. If, if I had to model my, our, our women to my, let's say my daughters or women in, from here to uh, outside of other women, I would say absolutely no place because yeah, we can sit up here and say that uh, places like Middle East or or even in your country. They might per perceive to be in this way, but behind closed doors, we don't know what those men have to do to get them to operate in that way. So saying that our women have to, let's just say hypothetically, if I say I wish I model my women after those Middle Eastern women, right, because they behave this way, is also saying that you have to implement the same type of behaviors that those men that we, uh, all of us is ignorant of, of what are they are doing to to make those women to operate in that certain fashion? So, I would say when it, when it comes to be more realistic, let's stop going all overseas because we here in America. I would say the problem, the main problem, what I was getting at is is that you, us men might why first off you gotta ask yourself why is us men, especially us black men, right? Because I only hear us, right? Why is black man is so seeking for this control out of women? <laughs> Maybe that comes from some type of low self esteem within yourself, and since you and since you already emasculated, you need you need you need something to claim you a man and to get dominate to get dominance over mm -hmm. these women. Because no. typically, hold on, typically a woman gonna behave on the way how the man is is right. So if the man is masculine, that woman gonna act feminine nature. But if you was a feminine man, that woman gonna act masculine. So if y'all have a problem, what with kind of man are you? If you're, no, 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 don't make it personal, Ali. Don't make it personal. No, I'm make, I'm gonna let him play with this. Let's see, that's if so your women, it's not making a personal it's shot. It's not making a personal shot at all. You disrupting, you disrespecting. Nobody calling you out. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch you later, my guy. Be safe, bro. Y'all be safe. Let me lay my plane. So, uh, so, uh, God damn. So if 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 a woman I can master that means so this yeah, I don't lost my train of fucking dog. Dude. Hey, you know, so now here here here's what it is, right? Real quick, Jay Prince. You, the premise, the premise, the premise that they said was that their government is largely predicated on their religion. The women are making the decision to follow their religion to its core. 
so it's not the men putting pressure on them they're following their quran appropriately which is why they submit to their men but we don't but they, these men is ignorant of, they don't know what's going on behind closed doors for one man one of these niggas lived overseas the reason would be the reason would be why the closed door the reason, uh, the reason why the closed door um argument wouldn't work is because you don't know what's happening behind there either but if you can't from, use a point then well no what it is if they submit so so what aligns is their government and their religion and so in their in their holy book they, there's order and so those women submit to their their, their god be you know and so that's why they their men don't have to the the speculation they don't have to bully them and touch them because they're already submitting to the religion in the first place that was our main that, our main, our main that, talking point that wouldn't yeah. have fundamentally now look, now, undermined now the fear conversation but, yeah. No, because it's Sorry, weird. Again. Yeah, like, it, it just wouldn't like that, wouldn't that, un, wouldn't that fundamentally undermine their fear conversation that they were oh. having? That was their point when they made when they uh criticized Daryl for saying terror. Um, slightly, however, fear is a part of it, though, right? So you've seen a lot, yes, of a lot, yeah. though, right? Yeah, okay, and, um, and then, from the men that they were referring to prior to that, referred your man to that is your, so, the, the so the man is 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 a lord over his woman, also indeed right and so remember, the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom right and so fear is undivided attention when you see it in holy books so like when your dad yelled for your name and you know you snap to and you don't blink and you don't move that's mm -hmm. what that fear is related to right and so when we use the fear we just got to understand what it is that we're talking about that's all and can i ask a quick question <coughs> go ahead it we're, we're, we're talking about fear and men correct it to keep from if we're saying the uh, uh, religion is man-made in order to keep from me being physical if i can convince my woman to believe in a god not saying that god don't exist if i can convince my woman to believe in the god that on a christian side and islam say if you don't believe or, or or be committed to this religion you'll burn in hell is man still using fear you're gonna do that while you fucking her right like that that's, 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 that's nothing to do what i asked that has nothing well, to do what i asked unfortunate if man, thing is I, if i'm telling if we saying man is the leader okay go ahead i mean unfortunately you said man-made so that's where we would have to part ways right uh, but i'm saying because some people may not believe to god yeah. i'm saying for the odd people that's they're, watching they're just wrong so, okay. so what i would tell them is um it's not man-made and so that's why those women follow it so <laughs> religiously for lack of a better term it, uh, uh, true do you think that man do, does man implement order does man give the the, the did man pass down religion to women even according to the bible yeah. then he gets the word for it first yes, yes. So, so should we say a man told her if you don't listen you're gonna burn in hell isn't that using mm. fear with the quran with the wow. bible, well, bible you're fucking to to man doesn't dismiss the fact that god hey, exists like man every time you interject you're actually oh, not making uh, whatever 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 I mean, whatever you whatever you know, you know, right. have a dope conversation so, so i know you're, 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 you're going to dominate your point there's nothing you can talk about okay. just like hamp just said those people are wrong so just interjecting a man doesn't dismiss the fact that it's for god yeah it, bringing he, up he a man in that scenario doesn't dismiss that it's for god you go he, so yes he can have he just, that that's, that's, he just, that's neither here nor there the, the the moderator right. already over already, i'm talking about the over pursuing that you're doing go ahead right the moderator already acknowledged it right it's the I'm same saying. reason why they try to hold you said was redundant no it's i got not. you I, you got it i can see <laughs> right, for no reason. Reason. the point is that it's the same reason why the niggas try to hold adam accountable <laughs> for what eve did they right. always say he's wrong. Said, yeah. well, God gave her the message. Well, you can't right. have it both ways, right? God, either God gave him the message and he trickled the he message down to her, which means she was literally following him, right? Or she was following God, and then you have to make them accountable for their own actions. If so, Adam to, didn't follow his own law. Say that again. I couldn't hear. You. Adam didn't he's follow his own law. He didn't follow God. Point. That don't even make well, sense. That, that, like you said, it wasn't there early. I think that's a deeper conversation that we can't have here. He's not asking the Lord to have it. I would love to have it with you, but I'm just easy. saying, I'm just saying, if we go by the narrative, which is that <laughs> God gave it to man and man gave it to woman, right? Technically, she's following man, right? Yes. Based on based on trusting him that he's saying what he got came from God. You understand what I'm saying? Technically, she's following God. 
So why the women here don't follow God? No, I agree with you. That's why I said no, 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 technically she's true. because the men are fucking them. What? That's why. They have a over there too. Give me four. Hey, hold on, podcast Fatty. Hey, hey, Hemp, are you acknowledging yeah, what they're actually doing? The answer, answer, no, the no, 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 no. Like see, see, that's I'm not. No, that's not that I'm not conceding that Ali. I apologize, right? It sounds like everybody talking about what they want to talk about, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The the reason why see Daryl just yelled out they fucking them, but here's what that actually means is you said, so why aren't they doing it here? The answer right. was because men ain't following God. Thank so if you, men aren't following point. God, don't no, no, listen, listen, because you said what the man gets the message from God, trickles it down, right? Thank you, right. And so, if the if the if the percent if, if it's perceived that men aren't following God, right? So there's no what the women do it. down. So why are the women? Ali, I got you. I got you. Ali, 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 listen. When I start saying I it, it turn, when I start saying it, in turn to discern what he said, Ali was already shaking his head. So I know I didn't say what I said didn't matter, but at least it was said to understand where they was coming from, and that's. Well, hold on, Ali. That's why when you say it's a derailing tactic, you, and I explain what it means, that that's not fair to the moderation at that point. Thank no, you. No, it no. Have I'm, he have he said men, women fear men. fear God. They don't fear man, have. Yeah. And now you took that and said that they fear men. That they, they, they fear men, not have God. And that can be easily debated. And it's just a have God. It perfectly. It's just a man a that thing, You see what I'm saying? Are suffering from the same problems. Is he at this point is literally irrelevant? There's yeah. bishops being betrayed, pastors being betrayed, men that are hyper religious getting cheated on, getting divorced. And that's why we the men you forced to do it. Hold on, hold on. 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 Thank you. No, seriously. Thank you. And then see, I don't. And if you notice, you notice, right? I don't. I don't do no laughing. I don't be trying to. I don't play. Yeah, don't do that. You are. You become frustrated a lot of times, and you fall back and says, "Oh my God, this is terrible." You guys are dry. You make comments about the show. Oh, what can we do? Wait, when we when we talk. Okay, all right. I can see. Do you not see the? Y'all gotta see the direct line of questions that he's opening himself up. Yes, can I say? Let's be respectful. And it just it, it turns it's corny, right? Because it, it turns into oh, do do this. Well, they just talk, they telling you what they telling you. I don't Depending understand Ali, point, why you want me to the, stop them. Because Hap, you said that women are not following God because men are not following God. Correct. Uh, world class said women are not are not following man because they follow they follow God over there. They don't follow man. He's saying they follow God. They what I said. That is what he, that is what he said. Hey, no. listen. Really? It, man, it is don't that's not it. That, that, the I question said. that you should be asking to, to have like right it. now, Ali, oh, is man, how can he prove that men aren't following God? That's the question. That the you, Bible man. says you're not supposed to fuck till you get married, and you niggas have babies before marriage. Why the that's fuck with the woman? Listen to your bitch ass. That's the why Bible don't say that. I can the see the Bible don't say that, and I'm so glad that you said that because now Hamp can't understand that you're just talking out the side of your ass because that's not what the Bible says. I can see my but, time they got it. But hemp, mm -hmm. if even if I can even if I can see that that's what he meant by it, what's the evidence that men aren't following God? Uh, the laws. What laws? That they Thank supposed you. to follow Thank the laws you, of the Thank land? You. No, in the Torah. That's oh right. wait, so okay, so this, so you, you, please tell me you're not about to follow ignorance. Is 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 does not absolve you from following the law, right? Please tell me you're not about nothing. to do that because you know. The I'm, majority I'm saying, of you're saying, in this country you don't asked know the, you ask the question. You asked the question. How do I know they're not following the Most High? Because they're not following His laws. I don't know why. What What is the, the section for that answer? The because now we're about to. Because now we're about. Now we're gonna have to book bang, and that's crazy. This is why this you don't have to book bang. Y'all don't you have that. Me, you ask you do, me because you know the, you and and slow down, your slow down, don't know that these niggas don't have a Torah. Come on, fam. S slow down. What I'm saying is this. You asked, "How do we know?" That's how you would know. That's that's it. That I mean, I don't know what Ham, why you want to go back and forth about that. Okay, because that's, that, that, because oh, hold on, hold on, that's based on your re because. Podcast, hold on, real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Daryl. I'm sorry, Daryl. Okay, I promise you. I'm, I'm okay, going go ahead, Daryl. Go ahead. We go can't ahead. we can't tell women when you have babies outside of marriage. You're going against God. 
But me fucking you before marriage means I'm still obeying God. That's why they don't Good fucking listen to you dumb niggas now. And then are you having sex? Are you having sex? You to oh, God, there was, I don't, but I don't, I'm not promoting you, man. Don't make it personal. Don't make it personal. No, no, no. Hold on. No, 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 no. The ass main ass point we already went away from. We he pop world cast said that they fear Allah in the Quran. He wanted to give it like he's like he's Arab because he says the Quran a certain way. He said women follow Allah. We were saying that that Hamp said Hamp said that women don't follow God because men don't follow God. It's two different points that they were making, and Hamp took the you you use that and use what they said. Daryl said that was a world class point. Daryl said that they don't follow it because a man no. don't follow. It. World class said they don't. They follow Allah. They scared Allah. It ain't when they ain't worried about man. They worried about the Quran. That's what he said. Okay. What 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 point? You said, are you you said you, then Daryl okay. said women don't follow the the the, the Bible because men don't uh, religion because men don't follow religion. And then you you supported that as if world class said that. That wasn't the point. But see, you, Ali, respectfully, the, I agree with you, He's Ali. You're butting what you said. Wait, 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 okay. I, I, Ali, I agree Ali, with you. Remember, you said, you said, Ali, you said, so why, something to the effect of why aren't they doing that here or why aren't they following the right. man? And I was, I was, a, I was, I was replying I was, to you. It had nothing I, to do with world right, class. Right, I agree. Your point was different than his point. I responded Whoa, to but, your But point. when, where's the, what's the issue? Because I made said a different women, point then. Because if we can rewind later on, we can do a part two of this. He said because women. Because I look good right now. That's what it is. But they I have mean, a problem with somebody I mean, else that they're going against look good. That's what it has. You, that, you that about clear and concise. We, we, Before you ever they, said they, it, I said you were responding to Ali. We've been talking about fear. And if we have to fight men and and create fear in our women, right? But he said that don't even matter because they the reason why they follow over there is because they fear uh, Allah. Right. But Ali, respectfully, this is why I'm telling you the reason why that's the wrong yeah. path is because you're talking about two different religions. This is why I was just saying the hamper is we're going to end up book banging. Right. Because it's going to go down to, to the Torah and then Christian versus Hebrew Israelite versus it, it's, it's like, fuck it. it no, none it of that don't matter. Right. Religion no, is religion. Right. So I'm saying put them all on the same landscape. Just had no. a conversation in a generality sense. Right. And then if you had a conversation in the generality sense, then you have to tell me how men aren't following God, because according to this yeah. specific religion, already people, answered. They're, they're following the law of the land. It was which already is, answered, which is literally, legitimately what that Bible tells them to do. Yeah, um, you, you, we, we, it was already answered though, Beans. But it was based on your knowledge. It was based on your your belief, right? Because yeah, your belief is that this Torah book matters, right? Yeah, you, you asked me the question, right? Absolutely, but that's okay. your belief. Your belief does not constitute reality. You asked. Right? You asked. They asked, "Why aren't women following?" Right? No, no, no. When then, I asked you how, why, how, what's your, how do I know? Men aren't following God. That's what I asked you. Mm -hmm. And you said, because they're not following the Torah. Right. But then that comes back to belief, which isn't based in reality. You see what I'm saying? So that, yeah. that's why I'm saying, like, in, in, instead of making it about what book is what book is what book, right? I'm saying, what's the actual evidence, mm -hmm. right? That men aren't necessarily following God. What is it that exactly. they're actually exactly. doing or not doing that isn't exactly. in line with following God? exactly right and so when you keep saying god right and you're talking about here what's the predominant religion right so then once you answer that question, okay so then once you answer that question then you say how do you know it's because they're that's, not keeping the laws of god that's which that's is it. what which is the 613 commandments right because faith is without works is dead that's it yeah. but I no man can, because no man can keep all of them you would have it's to impossible. that you would have to prove it. What? Hell, this me, bro. Don't do it. You, you would yeah, have to prove it. Yeah, yeah, this me, that's bro. Don't do it. Later, man. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Hey, like, so here's the you thing. I'm, you I'm not, they, they hey, follow you know real quick. Just real quick. I'm not that's wrestling. I'm not wrestling to prove being wrong. I'm. He's asking me questions, and I'm answering his question. Absolutely. Right? And then you want to keep diving into well, this. Well, then what about this? Well, then what about? Like uh, you will, you will, you may eventually get to a point where you can just say check me, right? But is that the point of the conversation? No. no. What I'm trying to get but. you to realize is that you can't. We. I'm trying to get. At first, I tried to get you away from your belief. Now I got you away from your belief. You were willing to concede to what is the the general religion in this country, which isn't based on the Torah. It's based on the Bible, right? But what I'm saying is, okay, then. So what no. is it that they're actually doing or not? Okay, you're saying no. So what percentage, like you always do, the, the minority or the majority of the men in this country 
actually have knowledge of the Torah. You said you said this. The laws are not based on the Torah. They're based on the Bible, right? You said that. I said no, right? Because where is the Torah? It's the first five books of the Bible that everybody reads today. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, so, 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 just to clarify, but you're oh, the same one. Wait, yes, Ali, please, please, Fatty, be safe. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you, Fatty. What time is it, Fatty? Over there, seven a.m. Seven. Oh 10. shit. Okay. Okay. I but hell, very much in forever. multiple conversations, you have admitted that you know these niggas don't read. Your your one of your main but issues you, with a specific oh, wow, religion man. is that they don't actually read but, the Bible. But you see, but you see this, you see that, but you see this though, right? So I answer the question pointedly. Now it's going into now niggas don't read. So I'm absolutely the question, but but think about it, beans. I'm literally giving you answer, answer, answer. I understand that. Et so why now they don't read? But you said, how do I know they don't follow the law? Because <laughs> what? They don't read. You can use that same logic. They don't know ignoring the, the main part that I asked you, which is that nobody can be perfect. So that means even if they didn't follow hey, the first five hey. books, so even if they didn't follow the first five books, what about the second half? What about the new covenant? You, what about you, the red letters? What about all this other stuff? You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm asking no, you. Really. Wait, but okay, him. But listen, respectfully, I asked you directly, right? What is it that they're doing or not doing, right? That that you can argue that they they aren't following God. They're not That's keeping, what I asked you. And I said they're not keeping God law. I don't know how else you want me to say it. Okay, you got it, bro. I know. <laughs> All that evasive shit. No, shit. no, nobody. And then and see, that's the thing, right? And so, and here's what here's the issue when you ask it. me questions, I answer. Here's here's what Beans just said that's problematic, right? They just complained about gaslighting, right? Mm -hmm and then that evasive part. i'm answering questions directly there was not. nothing evasive about it i said yeah. god's law then it went to this then i told you where the torah was yes because right? there's a lot in god's law and then you law, say though, and then you say and you say nobody can keep the law perfectly i didn't even answer that but then you mentioned red letter so what does the red letter actually tell you jesus gave people grace so when they mess up following the law they can ask for forgiveness unlike before where you couldn't ask for forgiveness right so you're right you don't have to be perfect thank god for jesus for coming through giving us That's grace right so now it's, it's it's all full circle but then somehow somebody ran from those remedial questions you had doesn't make no, sense if you just admitted that you don't have to be perfect then how can you argue that they aren't you, following the law you said perfect right i said grace allows you to make mistakes and then fix those mistakes right, right? which you're saying Somebody, that you don't have to be perfect watch this some of the laws right are mm -hmm. outward you can see if somebody's keeping them right? right so when i see pastors that don't for instance aren't dawning what you're supposed to dawn in numbers 15 instantly mm -hmm. you can see right then and there they're not keeping the law see it's not it's not it's not hard but no man can keep all of it it's did you hear what i just said i did okay he so, said, so if you arguing him. that a person a person is and let's say ali, is, Ma, ali you understand what i'm saying right so if, I, if like friends, saying they can keep it if you always ask them for forgiveness is that what you're saying how no if, well no if, so like this, you when he that, says, how do i know the pastors right ali when okay. they don't have their fringes on boom i know they're not keeping the law you see what i'm saying like it i don't have to know all of the insight into the man to understand right. that some of the laws are outward so when i see my right. bald head okay boom I, with a I shade beard, that, he's asking home. you. you know he's I mean? asking you, can anyone follow every single law? That's what he's asking you. Even one person, one yes. person, yes. are they following all the laws? Yes. But the Bible in the New Testament says that man is incapable of following all the laws. That's why oh. Jesus came. You remember, you remember this, right? Philippians four thirteen says what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Paul said that he's not a fool. So that's what I'm saying. But we have a grace period where you can correct your wrongs. That's it. You know what I'm oh. saying? I'm not saying motherfuckers is like boom, 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 every single one. But what I'm saying, when you when you misstep, ask for grace and don't misstep anymore. Because eventually um there's no more sacrifice for sinning um intentionally. That's okay. All. So, right. so in, you, in Galatians, so, hold on real quick, my pockets. In Galatians uh 2 16 it says knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith of jesus christ even we have believed in jesus christ that we might be justified by the faith of christ and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law no flesh can be justified what what does that mean 
no man can get through hell just perfect. living in the flesh. You can't be perfect. It's, you can't in the flesh. You, not make, you have to make it through Christ. To get to heaven, you have to go through Christ. Perfect. Perfect, right? But I, 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 you're not using that verse to refute what I'm saying, right? Because you would be totally not, off base, right? Because no, no, no. here's what here's what the letter to Galatia be be just be slow down okay. a little bit, right? Okay. Those Jews did not understand that Jesus was the Christ, right? So mm -hmm. Paul's illustrating a point to those Jews specifically. They already keep the law. What he's trying to get them to understand is that Jesus is important, right? And you need to believe that Jesus is the Christ in order to get the kingdom. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know they what believe, you, I don't know what I don't know what the point. But yeah, you see yeah. that. But but look at this, Ali, real quick. You asking this, me? Okay. No, no, not not. I'm not trying to cut. But just look at this, right? Okay. We got here because what? I was answering the point, the questions directly. No podcast didn't like my answers, and so now we're here talking about up. Jesus. Yeah, because yeah, it wasn't direct, and I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna dumb myself down for your crowd and anybody else's to pretend like it was. He's not if you ask me right now, what kind of hat I got on? Or what's the brand of my hat? And I say it's a brand that's sold in the store. I'm not answering you. I know See, that you're looking for Nike, you know, Adidas, I'm you so know, Prada, something like that. So if I don't analogy. answer your question, I'm not actually answering. But you understand it's a very bad analogy, right? I don't because when I asked you what is it that the men aren't doing, you could have said they aren't praying, they aren't eating, they aren't fasting, they aren't loving, they aren't. You didn't say any of it. You said, said they're not, they're keeping, not the keeping the laws. And what I said to and you, then guess what I told you. That mm -hmm. the law is found in the Torah. So not only did I tell you, because you, uh, which your analogy, I would have said Bible. No, yeah. I said Torah, and then I told you where it was because you didn't know that was the first five books of the Bible. So not right. only did I not give you bullshit laws, I said there's 613. They're in they're in Leviticus, or excuse me, Genesis through um Deuteronomy. Right, but it was right? irrelevant because oh, that's a whole it, bunch more information that you asked for. Cool, but when we wait, hold on, Ali. Mm -hmm. But when we made the mm -hmm. argument that no man can follow all of them, you said right. yes, they can, but we know they're gonna end up messing up, so that's why they get grace. Well, then that means they can't. Right. We're talking about at all points in time. Can you go without a, a blemish? And that's impossible. Oh. What I'm saying is there's I, going see, what to you, I see. I see what you missed. The, you you you're not upholding the intellectual standards. Is that how you say it? Absolutely. OK, good. So ask better questions. What you should have asked is can men keep the law perfectly? The answer would be he said no. That. No, nope. that's what he meant. No, nope. nope. no, wait, 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 watch this. Watch this. Watch this, watch this podcast. You getting Ali. What did you just say? He, that's what he we I, from, no 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 no. what did you just say what did you he just perfect. say perfect. that's what he, he was that's what he was that's the podcast that's what no 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 said. ali 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 what did you just blurt out you said that's what he what what do you mean you just said yeah. that's what he meant right that's what he meant that's, that's what, what he meant, meant right no, 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 so, no, wait wait watch this watch this because you getting so you just said that's what he meant is that what he said ali yes 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 who want to bet Put the Ali, 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 let me just ask you a question. Are you said no man can be perfect? Let me ask you a question. That's what we debate now, right? Let me ask you a question. No, 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 don't try to turn it around world class. Everybody heard what the fuck I said. No, 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 here's the thing. I want to Here's the thing. That's what I said. Hey, this is the funny part, right? Ali said that's what he meant. Absolutely. Right? So, so what does that mean? That's not what he actually said. Ali can't speak for me. No, no, because we're you doing what we did earlier. I'm just, playing some basics now. I'm just so, saying, right? I'm just I, saying. I, I can't, what, what, he can't I, speak I can't, for me. Uh, the money. Hold on, hold on. Hey, podcast, hold on. I, hold on, hold on yeah. podcast, hold on. Hey, are you saying that what podcast and me Wolf is saying is that we didn't say that we're saying man can't per follow that law perfectly? Is that what you said? No. That you didn't get that from us. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, you didn't get that from us. He said no man is no man is perfect. So yes. they can't keep the law. Yes, that's what he said. Right? I said, no, men can keep the law. Jesus came and gave us grace so we don't get destroyed for every time we do a sin. Okay, okay. so, so right? let me actually... And so, wait, I, Ali, hold on one second. You know, I, you know I love you. This. Yeah, I know, it, it, it's got ugly because no, I've, I've been moderating. Now I'm not. So that's now... No, okay. no, nah, nah, you're getting your ass kicked. Now... No, you can't disagree with him. No, no, this is what's actually happening. So now, now, keeping the law perfectly means what? You never misstep, right? That's why the law is being kept perfectly. An example of that would be Job, right? Because the Most High said it out of his mouth himself, right? So that those you see how it's different, uh huh? 
I can see how you try to make it no different, man. but we know what he was no trying. You saying keep the laws that. and then yeah, you Yeah, because that book. don't matter unless you let them have that. Yeah, Fuck you can no. have that. You're what saying that we have the book. So we follow the book. We keep the laws. That, now that's what you're saying. You knew what he was trying to imply. Yeah, see, saying, now now I got to do all this. Now what I got to do all this discerning, right? Have, but then, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My bad, my bad, my bad. I, in, my, in my belief and not knowing, yeah. I believe that you knew exactly what he was implying and what I was implying. No, no. See, here's the thing. Now when I now so then think about what what, what was happening. I'm okay. breaking down what Jay Prince said. I'm breaking down what Daryl said. Now 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 I'm not I'm not supposed to do that with them. But now I gotta fucking decipher what the fuck Bean's talking no, about. Yeah, he, 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 Hey, this nigga and this nigga right here, here looking like you don't agree with this bullshit. Hell, yeah. day on you, nigga. Yo, do y'all know how much I'm a drag? Yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah, Ali, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Ali, what are you saying? My bad, my bad. Can you formulate what your kids are telling you, even if you can't, if they can't formulate a, a sentence? Can you know Ali, what they're telling you? Stop pushing that narrative, man. I said so that. Bees, bees don't I look like my kids. I'm letting this nigga trick you. I, I don't know. I know. You watch the podcast. You right. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that right now. Hey, you don't usually do that. Hey, 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 I don't know why Bees, Bees, why do he compare you to the kids? This nigga ain't shit, man. Ali, don't let this nigga trick you. I can't believe you doing that. I can't believe you. No, no, no. You said it earlier. You still doing it, Ali, don't do it. You heard it. You a part nah, of nah, it, nah, nah, nah. you the one that said mint. I didn't say nothing about mint. You could have stayed there on mute, but instead right. you jumped off <laughs> and, and, put, and mint, put beans in the bathroom. Right, because you knew what he meant. No matter what you said, well, no matter what we can say, it's semantics. When I say semantics, they, they're the king. Right on this side is the king of semantics. Ali, you they're might be right, but he's telling you you handed him the ammunition, nigga. Let no. this one go so we can <laughs> win. Beans, 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 beans. I'm trying to win beans. some money, man. Stop <laughs> making this what he meant to be shit. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're now, right. who the fuck bet money that I, I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying now. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't man, believe it. Man, nigga. Hey, no, Ali. Ali, there's you know nothing not to believe. There's yeah, nothing not to believe. Because here's the thing: you should have, you should have said this though, Ali. Keep it a buck. When Bean said I was talking around, um, I was how would would you say Bean? My fault. You said I was kind of answering or whatever. Um, yeah, evading. I, I you wasn't answering directly. Now, Ali, question. when I was answering his questions, let me see where where you, where where your head is at. You might be sleepy. Was I answering directly? Was I answering directly when he was asking me the questions about when we went down the line? Yeah, you asked him directly. Oh, you snigger ain't shit. No, 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 this nigga no, no, light skinned it, man. I'm, no, 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 you want me to stop. Shit. You wanted me to stop. I'm not over pursuing anymore. I want, I want the bet. Go ahead and do the bet. They ain't gonna bet because this nigga know the fuck I said it. He know yeah. I said it. But you see, but what? No, but beans, beans, beans. No, no. Why didn't Ali stop you when you were telling me I wasn't answering directly? He know I was. Because I light skinned. No, no, because I asked <laughs> early in the conversation, there's. Ham, you could stop me a long time ago. Expect that's why <laughs> even if he misspoke, even if I misinterpret it off a of technicality that we we uh keep the commandments but aren't perfect, then you could have went, okay, this is what you're trying to say. That's all you have to do. Oh god, oh. you know these niggas see, can't, now. man. So I'm trying to tell no, you. No, you no, 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 no. See, now no, no. you Ali, gotta do Ali, Ali, you know, Ali, what? Sharon, I'm gonna tell you this, Ham. Sharon did that to me earlier. He believes in the Bible. To. He believes in the Bible, but he admitted that he doesn't follow it to a tweet T, but he believes it. He still holds the law, but he doesn't he doesn't follow it to a T. He did the same thing to me earlier. Mm -hmm. And you did the same thing Sharon did to me earlier on no, the on no, a, on a, on a panel no, with Beans. Now let me ask you a question, right? Beans and I are going back and forth, right? Are you saying we're debating uh, and out of love, right? Of you course. And you want me to help the nigga? No, you know, see, <laughs> you <laughs> believe. I mean, no, I can't beans. help. He keep throwing you under the bus, me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you going to strawberry? Okay, you got it. Hey, have no. you got it? Hey, <laughs> sure, baby. No. Hey, hey, Ali, <laughs> leave me oh, alone, oh. man. Leave me alone. Man, <laughs> uh, he, hey, 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 podcast, he just did it. Hey, no, it's, it's, it's man, up, man. Hey, I'm, I'm not mad at this say, nigga, though. I'm mad at you. Say, um, you told this nigga, nah, fuck that bet that bread, right, nigga. Go ahead, Sharon, real quick. I just want to say, y'all. 
I appreciate this more than you ever know that you had to deal with that and you you handled it with the grace that you did. It's because a lot of a lot of times is that like you know how Fatty was saying early that um people act a certain way. Mm-hmm. And I think today it was proof of fact that people do act a certain way because even you was dealing with it and everybody experienced them the same exact way you did. But one yes. thing I will say is that you handled it with grace because you was able to keep your tone properly mm-hmm. and you didn't allow it to frustrate even though you was frustrated. And I just want to commend you for that. That was freaking thank you, bro. Awesome, brother. Like <laughs> seriously, you like, because them- I'm, not, I'm not, I don't have that. I don't have that calmness the way how you, how you was able to through frustration. Yeah, I always try to stay. Keep that tone. Yeah. Can, I, can I say something? Yeah. Wow. Masterful. And um, and and it goes to show that you know sometimes people they they um they see things a certain way because they're able to paint things a certain way, and really the person that is saying that they other people's painting and they usually talking about themselves and it was right. masterful it happened in real time that's was the beauty of it wow so so him may i say something real quick yeah sure we about to roll um i would say um and i, I bit think, my goddamn tongue i can't talk <laughs> i think what it, i think when it came to you when it came to uh ali and them fatty them uh what made them <laughs> The conversation disingenuous on their behalf because they came in playing sides. And when you when you come in and having a conversation and you just gonna stick to one side, even if even if I can make a, a valid point or anybody else make a valid point, but since that person is not on your side, that's gonna make the whole conversation disingenuous. So when 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 you when they were sitting up here playing like they were the victim, we were like the villains and derailing. The reason why they came off like that because if we watch if we if we we watch the whole show, you would see them doing all the interrupting. Them the ones the, the really they were bas- this was basically damn near their sh- their show. But since they came in playing teams, it was Ali, Fatty, Halfway Beans playing playing on the same squad. They, they made a conversation disingenuous. Everybody else was playing fair. When oh, when when uh, Sharon oh, says oh, something oh, too well. <laughs> The world class, the world class corrected it, and he was conceding with, to some of y'all points. I was conceding with some of y'all points, but y'all would they would never concede to our points because they came in on game shit. Well, well, this is what I'll say, right? From my perception of the events that transpired, I think that those men stand on those points because they believe those points. I don't, I don't, I don't think that it was like, like, I don't see beans ever being like oh nigga hey we we rolling together tonight no 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 he don't give a fuck that much he care about what the fuck he care about and truth in in terms of whatever it is at that juncture so um and i think that they believe what it is they saying j prince and i think the listening was pretty good i mean we've been up here for five and a half hours you know um uh so yeah. i don't know i i understand i'm not dismissing it j prince but i just think they believe that they believe what it is they they say let me say this respectfully we gotta admit this shit this show went as well as you could have possibly expected yeah I, honestly with all of the with all of the personalities who was up here it went as well as you can respect it it wasn't a whole bunch of disrespect for that we all got a common respect hey now. but yeah, somehow no, I'm hey. proving that right now you see how you and sharon starting to talk while i'm talking you proving that you had a respect for him but he ain't the one that's gonna punch you niggas in the fucking mouth <laughs> yeah. interrupting me nigga. Fuck wrong with you nigga. Nigga, y'all been talking for the past two hours <laughs> now i'm just saying though like in, in real life though the show went as well as you could possibly expect yeah. with all of the motherfuckers i think so and now that everybody who was up here in real life, the only nigga that I actually have any kind of contention for is Fatty, and it's not even smoke. You know what I'm <laughs> it's it's really just that I I want us to absolutely move past whatever we had in the future because I want to see this space make it to the levels of the, the destinies and all these other motherfuckers. So even with me and world class falling out, it, that nigga might hate me now, but I love that nigga, right? So at the end of the day. It don't have any motherfucking thing to do with I'm joining a team. It's in the moment what I believe and, and what I could literally dissect to show. This is what I do on my panel. This is why it's called the intellectual standard because I want people to see what it looks like, right? What I do often, Jay Prince, is I pull debates 
<laughs> other motherfuckers, mostly white people, right? And then I show these niggas the problematic shit inside of those debates, how the conversations go left. And they all be in the chat like, yeah, yeah, I see that shit, yeah. And I say, then say that shit when you watching these niggas. Hold these niggas to the same fucking standard. Don't pretend like you don't see it then, right? Acknowledge when a motherfucker is derailing, deflecting, or any of that shit. You can't say that just because I'm demonstrative that that shit is derailing when I'm when the shit that's coming out of my mouth is yeah. literally on task with the conversation Yo. at hand. Me. You understand? Yeah, hundred percent. Tonight, that, this shit was as good as you could have expected. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm proud of all of us. Real talk. I'm proud of all. Yeah, of I think us. you guys did. I think we did an awesome job. Beans, you know what I saw? I'll be quick, Jay Print. Yeah, we're gonna roll <laughs> um beans you know what i saw you put me onto the crucible right yeah um and generally speaking you would agree that not not i'm not you know those guys are, are awesome mm -hmm. but they kind of like stay like kind of where i am to an extent like that usually the ladies be saying some wild shit they'll mm -hmm. let them finish and they'll they'll ask a question to get them to confound themselves you know um, absolutely i saw absolutely. that a little bit more that's usually what i do you know but like i said i yeah. respect you guys and i know you guys grind so when they yeah. doing, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, you you have your turn, you know. I was just kind of thinking maybe well it'll correct itself, but you know, I, maybe I was foolish for that thought. You know, and, and, and and I, 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 you created this space for this. this I gotta be we've been asking something. for this for a long time, and it happened. Yeah. No I think it went. I think it went really well, honestly. You know, Absolutely. I gotta be honest with something. When you first told me about this show, I was under the impression that we was gonna have this. Like we was gonna get grimy. I was downloading video clips and stuff like that. So that's why. <laughs> when you asked me about, like, let me finish. That's why when you asked me about the prison shit, uh, one of them, Fatty asked me, "Would you uh uh would I uh turn gay after 15 years?" I made a statement, and I did that intentionally, right? Because I was like, in my mind at the time, I thought we was gonna get grimy. So I was setting up plays. I was setting up plays, right? Because I was, I was I was I was about to say, well. If I can if I can say something egregious and say it's a joke and you don't take it as a joke, you still want to harp on that, then I was gonna get into some other stuff. But yeah. that was under the impression that was yeah. under the pressure that we was we was gonna go that route. But Jay Prince, he admitted that he, that he came did. on bullshit. When, when he asked you at the end of that, would you be gay after that? You said, I don't know. That's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not what he said, bro. I know, I know nothing we yeah. we don't hear we can't hear. We don't we got hearing problems. Right. But he didn't I say I don't know. I said, that yeah, I'm not in that position. I said that intentionally because I was setting up plays in my head because I was thinking this, I, <laughs> I came in ill intentions because I was under the pressure that we were going to have <laughs> You got to clean it up, right? Because I was going to use that. Really I was going to use that. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Hey, hey, Prince, why did you think? Why did you as, think? And as, you know what I'm saying? Why hey. did you think? Why did you think I would go that route, though? You it's a great question. Right. Thank you. I'm glad he asked it. Go ahead. Because uh, you had me, Fatty, Ali, uh, Daryl, uh, World Class, Sharon. I wish all, I could beat myself up yeah, right now. We, we, we all, we all, you know, you know, you know, you know what's been going on. So I was, I was thinking, everybody was telling me like, Jay Prince, you better go in. Everybody was talking about this show before the show even started. Everybody was under impression that this for the, this was for the B. A smoke grimy show today. In fact, he said, J Prince, you better wear your helmet. Remember yesterday, he said, J Prince, you better wear your helmet. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting up here downloading some shit. Bro, Fatty told he, me. I'm expecting to get ugly. Fatty told me too. He said, Hey, you know, you might get some smoke. I'm like, okay. And it came, right. but it, it was fun. It was <laughs> good, though. It was what good, I'm saying, right? though. So, huh? so the person, the person, the person who is paying attention to his surroundings understands that the guy that's putting this together is not looking for that. No. You understand what I'm saying? So this is to Fatty's point when he's saying like, yo, certain people move a certain way. It, as much as me and Fatty might have contention with each other. You go ahead and clip it. This part, this part, we respect. Right, I could whatever personality shit we might not like about each other. Same thing with with Ali, Daryl, Sharon, J Prince, World Class, Hemp. Whatever personality shit I might not like about a motherfucker, this the shit I'm gonna <coughs> judge you by. You understand? Hey, I, whatever it is I don't like about your personality, I can either deal with it or I can't. If I can, then I will. If I can't, then I don't. Right? But this the shit I'm gonna judge you by. How many times you gonna say that? So the, when the motherfucker bring this shit to the table. I'm gonna look at the situation. I'm gonna say, okay, what would this motherfucker be doing by bringing this panel together? 
Well, it was him, so we know what this is about to be. It's about to yeah. be an intellectual ass conversation. It was boring for the first two hours, but then it got good. Yeah, and, um, so, and you know, uh, go ahead, Sean. So uh, I think um, I think it was um, real interesting because people was trying to hold hold they uh they smoke because even though they try to still bring it into my family, somehow my family still gets brought into it somehow in the conversation. But regardless <laughs> uh, of the fact that it's still. After a while, it turned into exactly how they always move. That was very interesting to me. So some people was really holding holding respect for the show, and some people just doing whatever the <coughs> fuck they normally do. And I thought that was really right, interesting. I'm glad that I'm glad that it happened, and I'm glad Hamp handled it the way it happened. So this way, it just unfolded naturally. That was so beautiful, and we all now we can say Ali. You can't use the word disingenuous no more and i'm sorry podcast you can't use it neither because y'all used it wrong in tonight's conversation y'all need to drop that out your vocabulary nah you demonstrate oh, you even said because you, you even said you even said dj hamp was the disingenuous in that moment he's not, he's, he's Nigga, not a disingenuous like person at that moment this is ass this is moment, I'm not no, like just because so what i'm saying is that just because the the answer so, so if we believe so we believe that he was disingenuous at that moment it disqualifies us as a person yeah, no because it, just yeah. because the conversation wasn't go the way how you wanted to doesn't mean that the person is being disingenuous okay but but outside of that y'all y'all lied majority majority y'all lied on this panel for the most part of the show so you because me and him went we went back and forth as men respectfully and i thought i, I didn't agree with him i thought he was being disingenuous i went like that with pod, podcast they you still my brother narrative you're, you're creating the narrative now you're trying to make everybody go against us because we had that one moment that's what you're doing you see how they are you see what they do to people and world class double downs as well all he does is co-sign he can't even stand hold on, on. Hold on. ali ali because the same ali, thing ali. Ali, I'm you talking about what happened. Hold on, hold on. That's not a, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Used in, was, was, it was used incorrectly. I think that, isn't that what he said, Ali? I'm just, mm -hmm. yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he said disingenuous was used incorrectly. Yeah, he that's said I used it. No, no, yeah. but now he's saying this is what me, podcast, uh, fatty do all the time to people. That's what, he, what, what and that's oh what God. Jay Prince is double down and on and world class is double down and on. You know, I just. Fucking record it. I didn't know well, well, Ali, your team, your fatty. Hold on, hold on, Jay Prince. Let's not let him go up past on, that. Jay Prince, he's look, saying something on. that I didn't say right there, live time. Ooh, I said, you said, you said, you, you, said you get to see what they do all the time. That's what you just said. It can't be just something we disagreed on and we move past it. We are about going, hey man, you see what world class and do all the time? Do you see what Sharon and them do all the time? Do you see what Jay Prince does all the time? We agree to disagree and move on like men. Y'all creating a narrative. Podcast ain't trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that. I, what, what, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, do I think, all that. think it was I think it was solid. I think I was solid. I think disingenuous is when something is intentionally being done um to try to right not be truthful, right? That's why you preface saying that to me with that's not me in the first place, you know. Um, I think it was just simply how you guys would have liked me to guide some of the responses, but that wouldn't make it disingenuous. And You'd I said like, that as well too. I said you you don't do this. You usually don't wait, do wait, wait, hold on, Ali. But for the yeah, record, I didn't but that was, but hey, that was for the record. I didn't call I didn't say disingenuous, uh Sharon. I said it was favoritism. Right? <laughs> oh, hell no. Nobody and, and and right now, nigga, nobody's gonna change. Not gonna the Ali when you done, man. No, because then somebody somebody was in the chat like, wait, is this such and such show? So it's it, you won't be able to. I mean, here's what you know about like when you run into something, you won't be able to please everybody every second in a five hour show. You know what I'm saying? So podcast. To be fair, at that point, if I wasn't interjecting, it could be seen as favoritism from your point, right? Absolutely. Or when when Fatty was going for a minute and forty seconds when I said a minute and I hit the airplane. We was the only one that got an airplane, right? So you could you could technically be like, damn, why fatty? But it was a minute and 40 seconds, not just a minute. Sharon, you know Sharon Sharon has to wait. So this but just in terms of acknowledging what you where you stand. The way, you know, you know, way, you know. way podcast say Sharon threw it off when he made it, when he, he was talking about the masses versus the individual. Once they brought religion in it, it was a rap. Because that you know you have a certain bias for the religion. It was a rap. And not saying that you purposely did anything, but once the religion came part in it and what world class said and what you said was completely different. Then we got hung up on the religion. No, not really. So Ali, I'm do you like remember the Empire? I no, do you remember? Religion. No, because oh, remember I, I, I want the religion to talk too. I look forward oh, to it. 
Damn, Damn, y'all got Tourette's. Y'all just talking to yeah, me talking. They, you know, no, it, was, it wasn't. That's the thing. I'm not biased. I'm not biased against the religion. And if you notice, I actually clarify religion talking about the Quran to Daryl about how there is um a Absolutely. level of discipline. So no, that yeah. didn't happen, Ali. Also, I gave him the information where you're usually talking about Arabs, but actually the countries he named were all Indian, right? Yeah. Pakistan. So that's see, that's the thing. That's why it's very important to note that and then say what was actually happening. He was Remember? talking about the Middle East while he was talking yeah. about Indian countries, huh? But I what, what I'm, I corrected it. Remember, what I'm saying once once we started talking about the law and men not following laws, I believe you got caught up on that part. That's what I, all I'm saying is when we, whispering, man. I want you the said, smoke you said that men women are following the laws because men don't. I believe you got caught up on that part. That's what I'm no, saying. That no, part, no, no. Just, just listening, just about listening. About listening about being said. Um, but also yeah, just to make sure. Ali, can I ask you a question, right quick, Ali? I just wanna, yeah, you can ask him sooner. Now, Ali, when yeah. you said religion, now remember, I'm the one that clarified the Quran to understand what discipline looks like. But, but, but I kept but no, to, no, but I no, 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 because you said I got caught up on something. Now, say that. Sorry. That say sorry. I can't say that sorry. If you watch this, watch this podcast. If you love me, you say sorry. <laughs> All right. I love you anyway. Why? I, I, if you just want me to say I'm sorry, because to know people know that I love you, I say I'm sorry if you want me to say I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all I was trying to put. Hey, out hey, hey, Ali. That's I all I was trying to get Ali to love you. Part. Uh, you like, know I love you. I ain't Ali. saying it out loud. I was like, Jack, mate. Nigga, that, that, that man do not want to concede to uh, nothing. Ali, that man is so <laughs> stubborn. Is what am I? Hold on, what am I supposed to be conceding to? Hey, Hank, this is L. This is L, Hank. L, bro. So what? L, for what? Concede to what? You should love him. Look, look, look at him. Look, the podcast is what I'll be talking about. He, look, he can't even get the mic. Oh, he can't, he had to mute the mic. Ali, how long was y'all? Have, let, let me have this conversation with Ali right quick. Ali, okay. when, when I made a statement about the, the jail thing, what, would you, what did you think about that? Did you think I was serious? Like, do you think I was like fruity? You think I was serious about that? I think you was yeah. extremely serious about what you were saying, uh, Jay Prince. I didn't say you were fruity. I didn't say you was fruity. You said that men and when men go to jail, they stay there too long. They become. Yeah, man, when Freddie asked me what I would have did that, and I said I don't know, maybe so. I don't. I never been in there. Do you think that's kind of fruity? Yeah, it was kind of suspect. Yes, to me, yes, it was suspect. Kinda, one of our, one of I said after I made that statement, one of I said I was just joking. Would you still believe that? If you would have you know, did it right away, I could have probably give you the benefit of the doubt, but you didn't do it right away. Hey, I could have given you the benefit of the doubt. Am, what, am I supposed to pretend yeah. like I don't know what he's doing right now? I know. I know. Yeah, me they, too. You better land yeah. this on no. your own. He, he, he's still explaining yeah, it. You ready now. Now. Bees, Bees, you know that, that I'm 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 a keen to that now. I, I, See, that's what I'm saying, they, bro. Like, don't, no, don't make me myself down. I know what he's doing. You know that type of stuff I don't like. You know what I mean? So JP, chill out, JP. Over explain you know it, man. Like, it's gonna make on. it look worse. No, no, no. I, I, I couldn't. First off, I couldn't. After I said that, we had to. Him made us move on, so I couldn't respond immediately. I didn't want to disrespect him. Hey, hey, podcast. If you were jail, talking about what you said right now, nigga, we not if you, if you was in prison for fifteen we years, you turn, you hey, podcast. If you was in prison for fifteen years, would you turn gay? So right. So, <laughs> so no matter what I say, I'm you know, it's a joke, right? No, no, you no, well, I don't know. No, well, no, no, J Prince, J Prince, J Prince. So, so, so J Prince, so, let me, let me, let me, let me help real quick. So, now let me ask you, was it a joke? Yes, it, it was intentionally, it was intentionally done, right? So, right. I have this moment. to make a joke, well, exactly. Right? <laughs> and so, and so now we say, okay, whew, JP ain't gonna turn gay after 16 years, right? <laughs> like, that's what we would say now, JP. <laughs> But what was the joke for? Because, like, you know how I'm crushing you, you right now? You to make this no, fucking point. So you did it all. Okay. Yo, Ali, you can't be this slow. You have to understand what he's trying to do. Hey, yo, come on. Y'all aligned. Ever since all this stuff happened, all y'all aligned, boy. It's funny. Man, let him get this shit out so I can pull my point about him. Ali, because I, I don't want to be on terms with you, Patty, though, right? So it was, and I thought this, remember I said it, I thought I come in here with the smoke wall, all this other type of stuff. So the reason why I'm questioning you, and you still saying that, no, nah, this ain't no joke. So intentionally, I was I was doing this to say, okay, you, when people make statements, we know right? when people make statements, and like you say, you don't clarify right away, you still believe it. So how come that don't go on 
on on all for everybody, right? Cool, and like let's say one of your team members might say some stuff, okay, some outrageous okay. stuff, and and then I'll do some outrageous really, stuff. Oh, and don't really clarify that it's, it's, it's a joke. So should we take what that person say seriously? No, because you said it was a joke, especially after no, the person it's, identified it's, it's, it was a joke. It's a no when it comes to people that you care about. Right, it's a no when when it comes to people that you care about, people that but the people that okay. you don't want that you don't fuck with like that. Okay, you, you 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 still gonna stand on the fact that you believe that I will turn through that to fifteen well, years, right? Hey, JP, uh-huh. you know they they're not though, right? And the reason why you know is because you have the clips. Like, remember when you were like, if I was SMD in right, when you were trying to remember we were talking about like if somebody said they would give fellatio to a man etc right, right and you said i right it was just mischaracterized but nobody know everybody know you're not gay like we know that no no i was but him uh, but him you don't understand what's going on right this stuff go deep right and and i was doing it i was i was having it with ali without fatty because usually fatty here in, in fatty well, got 10 minutes to make it fast protecting ali so what i was trying to do is like based on ali beliefs mm-hmm. if a if a motherfucker say something Mm-hmm. And like Ali say, no, you didn't say that none of what the bam. So mm-hmm. now we're gonna stand on this is what you is, Jay Prince. So I was saying that, well, that applies mm-hmm. to people like his his guy Fatty. Check okay. mate. And, my and turn. Check no, mate. no, it's not my turn. My turn. My no, my, my, my turn. For me. This is what I'm talking about to him. Uh, Jay Prince, when, when that person said something that was a joke, did you laugh? Huh? Don't look away. Don't look at the camera. Look at me in my face when I'm t- when I looked at you in your face. You when laugh, that, you laugh, when, said it. I'm asking you a question. Right when that, back into this when that, person said, when that person said that, did you laugh? No. You was on the pa- what? So hold on, no. right in front of him and, and everybody no, no, watching, when he no, said that, he said that. Come on, man. I don't want to drop you down. down. I don't want to. Why not, out. nigga? They you drop me. Out. See, this what I'm saying, Dave. In totality. Hell, I'm not going to allow us to have this conversation in totality. So <laughs> when I made that statement, when I just made that statement earlier, I seen you, Fatty, and I everybody ask that. I didn't ask you that. No, I asked a joke question directly like a man. So be a man. Oh, when he told God. that joke. Favoritism. <laughs> did you laugh when he told that whatever he said? Did you laugh? No, uh, I laughed, and you know why I did. Why did okay, why did you laugh? Yo, right, man, put that look down, down, bro. We got the last ten minutes. Y'all no, that's 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 why did you laugh? We gotta you laugh? end that before six hours. The reason why I laugh because yeah, we gonna course. pretend like we got down. Somebody's gonna intentionally do something to my boy JB. No, no, why did you laugh? All right, no, no, come on. Y'all, 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 is this we know yeah. Jay Prince. If you tell us it's a joke, we inclined right. to believe you, all right. And and we know a joke is a, I mean, come on, bro. I, I understand, I understand y'all him, but I was specifically targeting him. Him we and Fatty. It. We we understood it. We understood about. it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, hey, Pocket, okay. we, we talked about earlier. We yes, understand that. that's, that's what they did. And here's the thing, no, and here's the thing we, about we, this, and here's the thing about this. We know when something's a joke, and we know when somebody's not. not serious. Yeah. But what if I right. continue to make those same statements? Well, uh, and that's the thing, JP, it. just real quick. Even when you said 15 years, we're like, nigga, shut up, shut JP. Up. Yeah, we're we going like, to clip that dumb shit, but shut up. Like, that's yeah, what it so actually is. So, so come on. What if I continue to make those same statements in a serious conversation? All right, we understand your point. Yeah, we, we understand. Know. You got it. You no, got no, 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 no. Fuck that. Let them keep saying it. No, because we don't got much. we don't got that much time for it. When y'all did it earlier, we had time for it. We don't have time for it. Chat don't with us when we had the conversation. This was not supposed to happen. This nigga is letting it happen. This is yeah, favorite for doing, Jay Why y'all You two are smart for this. Why you doing this? Nerd video coming tonight, man. So, yeah, man. Let's Nerd video is him coming tonight. Tune in. We got eight minutes. It's crazy. Man. But anyway, I want to say, uh, so so <laughs> I wanted to ask Ali this. Um, so with the, whole, with the whole picture situation, do you still... 
But is that okay because your man did it? See what I'm saying? I'm just when, going to ask when he, I know. Yeah, so he didn't yeah. think nothing about he he you you created the narrative and try to make it seem like he tried to do what you said. Just like you said when someone came on your <laughs> I asked battle, you a direct question. I, I just said it. I just answered it. I said you implied you implied that he did something that he didn't do. That's what you implied. You implied something that he tried to he purposely did something to somebody in your family, which he didn't. He showed you and another person. You try to imply something to make people feel like that by creating a narrative. Same way when I came on your panel. Oh, I am not. I'm Pause. not finished. Pause. I'm not. I'm not finished. I'm Pause. not. No, I'm Come not on. finished. The picture. The picture was of who? What's the original picture? You and Daryl. I said, what's the original picture? It was you and Daryl. All right, the original John. picture. Where did let's, the original let's picture let's come roll. from? Let's roll. Let's roll. So which oh, which wow. original picture you come out? Well, I mean, you gonna correct Fetty when you make a clip saying I'm gay, right? <laughs> let me read this was the original picture was the original picture did he did he try to depict your your person in any kind of way on, that's how you get man. disingenuous this he asked he asked the man. question did he try to imp it did he try to make that person i'm gonna any drop you down man okay come on. i know look at the clock do it, do it, podcast. Do it. Kelly <laughs> 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 Ben with the five dollars says, Y'all have sexual marketplace value. How many minutes? Y'all have sexual marketplace yourselves into value yourselves into 24 7 Tourette spasms. Rock then said, What MC heavy tits with the 10 ounces? I'm gonna be living with a raccoon, a deer, and an armadillo, all domesticated by me. HQ with the five houses. Men will delete each other. Women will bond with each other. All men will think is no more puss deletion on epic scale. Facts. HQ with the two houses. Men wish we were miserable without them. Not true. Zoe with the five houses. Marriage survived every society. As the world crumbled yet again, strong families have stood up and built society. There is nothing new under the sun. MC Heavy Tits with the five houses. Ted Kaczynski thrived by himself. AK with the two houses. Men thrive in all military command. The will with the five houses. If a man and a woman separated for good, half the men would be extremely productive. The other half would self-delete. Jim with the five houses. There are literally men online saying to bring a meteor to literally start everything over because they cannot get women. Men are in trouble. Mo Love was popping with the ten houses. Shout out to Ham and the panel. Salute. Hank with the two houses. JP, you was talking about mm, mm, mm. Sean Brew with the two houses. Ham, it goes down in prison, fam. You better ask. No, it doesn't, bro. Quentin with the two dollars says, no one has spoke about gay stuff. <coughs> JP. Sean Brew with the two dollars. JP is talking about himself. I'm him with the two dollars. Hey, Fatty Files will prove um, those fake simps. JC with the five dollars Why JP dressed like Nate today? All he's missing is big earrings. Jay Miller with the five dollars Men will eventually replace women with machines if it gets bad enough. It's already in progress with AI and Finbots. It's actually unsettling. Salute the Rock, who became the members. Uh, HQ with the two dollars says Jay Miller was already replaced. Replace you with Bob Checkmate. Laguerre with the five dollars. Men meant meant to tell you appreciate the shirt you sent me here. No doubt, bro. I appreciate the support. Red Pill Ranger with the five dollars. I said this before and I say it again. If all men agreed to put women on leashes and walk them like dogs, they would all be on leashes by the summer. Jay Miller with the two dollars says Bob doesn't pay bills. Checkmate. <laughs> Uh, Asia, Tanisha, salute with the five houses. Male imp impotence is getting younger, and so you telling me that these men are just congregating amongst themselves, or still want companionship from women? Hmm. MC Heavy tips with the ten houses. Men will leave a marriage before the file of divorce. My uncle was technically married to his wife, but with my aunt for forty years. Damn. Red Pill Ranger with the five houses. Every right and freedom women have is because men let them. If we all agreed to to that, them shits ain't nothing they. Them shits ain't nothing they could do. Y'all hoes are welcome. Salute the ace became a, a member. Appreciate you. Red pill with the two dollars says RIP Akira Toramaya. B day April 5th. MC Heavy Kids. Appreciate you with the 20 bosses. Women's standards are too high. Also, women make babies with dudes that don't meet their standards. John Henry with the 10 dollars says men recognize their low there's a low key possibility of violence when we address each other, whereas women do not pres process that sentiment hence they they speak out of their mouths to men in general ariane with the five dollars says 
Haiti just proved to us what happens when men really want change. Let's not forget the power of one man's voice that was one man who they talking about. Uh, Hank with the two dollars. Shout out to JP for for staying on the on dumb the whole show. MC Heavy Tits with the ten ounces. JP, black women don't date other races of men in mass. Please stop with the cap. See this pals with the two dollars. Come on, Hamp. JP is trolling us. This is crazy. <clears throat> Ariana with the ten ounces. The truth is, black men are looked at as weak by by women because we ain't pop off anything. They hear about slavery, Black Wall Street, civil rights movement, all those events, and all we did is f the boys. Uh, John Henry with the twenty ball. He says, "JP, you are posing a narrative that black men are the natural enemy of black women. There are no other men in force looking to step in between black relation functionality to marry black women in mass. Stop pandering." MC Heavy to the files says, "Fatty spitting facts." John Henry with the ten ounces. JP, it's because certain sisters um know historically that the other men's skin color provides options that the black men's skin color by birth does not. Chad plays K Kadisha just like he does Sarah. Mule with the five ounces. Uh, uh, those cry freedom over there. Jim with the five ounces. Qatar is the number one listening to Prince Seller on Spotify. That is saying they are not happy with their culture. Ali, she give them a voice they can't use. HQ <coughs> with this ten ounces. Black race are black women are race loyal. If black women one day decided to announce that they didn't need black men anymore, there wouldn't be there would be mass deletions made by women. Um, women on black men black women really a white men on black men black women really hold black men's life in their hands think about that sukiyomi with the 10 ounces people like there who never left the country and never been to the middle and only views the middle east through the lens of the west and what was the west tell them is hilarious you on propaganda mule with the 10 ounces. so y'all just want women to abuse women Ariane with the two dollars says they don't have a choice. Get it with it or get it done. See this palace with the two GBG General. Good points trying to teach Sharon. Mule University with the two dollars says I'm terrified of these men's conversations. Daryl. Ariane with the two dollars says he don't hear you because he he talking over you like a woman. Dark Lake with the two dollars says the black man is God. Mule University with the two dollars physical adjustments. Ariane became a member and Bell became a member. Salute. Sugar with the two dollars says Sin G was right. E the man with the two dollars says this is sad. Mule University with the two dollars says these men sound dangerous. I'm scared. Jonathan with the twenty ball says mute if you're not called on. This John is crazy. E Black salute with the twenty ball says good try, Hamp. I appreciate the effort. Sadly, I feel some of the panelists are missing the opportunity to separate themselves as a brand to the audience. Guys, do better, please, because I know y'all can do better. <laughs> Rebel Rose with the two dollars. Should women follow this behavior panel? Pally Bev with its five ounces. Can we move the fuck on or just get final thoughts? Jesus. <laughs> MC Heavy Tits with 20 balls. She says, DJ Hamp, you are the best and we love you. I appreciate it, man. I love y'all. Salute to JC becoming a member. Quentin with the two dollars says, Told y'all GBG was here and by gunpoint. <laughs> we putting folks in the bathroom tonight? Nah, John, not tonight. <laughs> Mule with the sauce is now Ali mad with Hamp Houseway. <laughs> Rebel Rose with the sauce. Y'all sound like big kids tonight, bro. <laughs> Mule University with the um 2000 warning. Take this down. Rebel Rose with the tells us intelligent minds having a cat fight. 10 Mark. seconds. Arno Allen with the five. I ain't gonna make it. Arno Allen with the five ounces. Sharon's wife follow him out of fear of losing him and his resources. The control or leverage has come at the consequence. Don't miss that. John Henry with the ten dollars says a man's reluctance to hit a woman is geared more towards him being prosecuted rather than confronting another man. World class, I'm atheist and believe in no god, but I recognize that jail is real. Tato, appreciate you, my G. He said, "Now that's how you perform, fellas. Right side, Hamp, salute. Appreciate you, bro. Love you, my boy. Thank you, bro." I go in with the five ounces. World class point was dumb as hell. Why all of a sudden, when Muslims women come to the states, they stop fearing Allah if it's not the men? Hmm, that's a good point. Quentin with the two ounces. Aaron just here so he don't get fined. <laughs> Salute, Lauren. She says with the honey ball. Thank you. Ham, thanks for the panel of the male minds in the space. I know these men have the capacity to think beyond their issues, and I have seen them do it. Hopefully, everyone can watch the replay and listen for grace in each response. Much love, Dad. Bro, with the three dollars super sticker, salute. 
John Henry with the 10 ounces. Fearing a non-existent entity, i.e. God, is no comparison to the reality of a father who leads in an authoritative and commanding manner, not authoritarian. Fathers exist. Michael M. with the 2000s. Iranian women are arrested for not wearing a hijab. Tanisha with the 2000s. To the, mo the Most High said, do not make whores of your women. <coughs> JJ Carver salute with the 20 ball. He says, keep in mind, or to 2000 yen, said, keep in mind, not all Islam is the same. There's Sharia, Sunni, Shiite, Sufism, Wahhabism, etc. Not every virgin controls their women through fear. Sufism in a body does not condone fear slash violence against their women. Duke with the five dollars said JP must have filled a reasonable accommodation application because he was the only creator that got to finish his full statement. Whole show, no play. Hell no. <laughs> Lord Lou with the six uh euro says, Damn, I'm almost six hours too late. I have to watch the epic the um episode back. It's 8 a.m. over here, by the way. Salute Hamp, salute, bro. Be safe over here. Salute to Jake Carver. Like that. Like that. Five memberships. <laughs> Fatty with the two euro said. Nigga, you gay. Super you mayor. Super mayor with the $10 says, at the end of the day, y'all are destroying your sector the same way others did. People have been accusing people with no proof for years. It never ends well. Mm -hmm. Can I say something to Jay Prince? It's respectful, too. It's not It's not that negative. I swear. <laughs> Go ahead. Jay Prince, I don't think you gay. If you if that's what you want me to say, I don't think you gay. But what you say, you have your name. So you're known, I, you know, you known to say some suspect stuff, but I know I don't believe in my heart at all that you. Yeah, you known to be, say outrageous. No, you said to yourself suspect. that you know you said you were infamous for saying some crazy stuff. No, you. Oh, when you say suspect, can you clarify what you mean by not suspect? Gay, not, not, what you said was suspect. Okay. Not, you're not you suspect. Said, you said, okay. no, let me ask you a question, then. Oh, so uh, if you, I try if to say some positive to Day Prince. I, I, yeah, I'm basically saying you're not gay. gay. Going, so you should wait, basically wait, wait, go. I respect you. All I'm saying is, so since you said that you know I'm not that right, so mm -hmm. if somebody that you love and care about would go out here and push off false narratives like I am, being them type of morality man, and you you stand on principle no matter what, mm -hmm. would you correct him and say, no, we ain't gonna push push this false narrative narrative off on him to make to paint a to paint a bogus narrative and I and you and I and you believe that I'm not that. That he gonna push off? Would you if say no? Ain't gonna do that. If, if it's not warranted, yes. But if it's warranted and someone keeps doing the same thing, then it's to make a point, not to really paint you as a certain way, but to paint you as being a liar or being disingenuous, not calling you that. Then it's warranted. Mm. So, so your beliefs, so that means that means you believe when I'm not that is is conditional. Hey, no, 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 it's get, I'm, I'm saying giving examples of what you're the, the behavior demonstrating is different than the fact that they dem, they deliberately really trying to paint a narrative about you. If you're talking about what narrative are you talking about anyway? All right, y'all. Yeah, man. I mean, because it's not it's not being handled. It's just rebuts, rebuts, rebuts. Right, right. So it's unfortunate, but we we not unfortunate. I mean, it might just be what it's gonna be. No, I got like response clips of somebody that's you know very respect a lot, and so he puts on the narrative. His his person that he respect a whole lot because Fatty love you like a brother, and you love him like a brother. I gotta get out of here. So if he, if he respect you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So he will move differently, right? He does move differently. How does he not? Who 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 sees? Uh, most people don't see Fatty as a bad guy. It's only a certain few that keep put pointing out false narratives about him. Beans, you already know that he got he got the biggest support in this space. Y'all say what y'all want to say. He got the biggest not, support. In this space. Yeah, man. Yeah, listen. Like this, I think all the brothers, man, they put in a lot of work, put in a lot of pain. Period. You know what I'm saying? Um, all, all, I mean, people have helped each other tremendously in a lot of ways. That's why it was very important to have that famous and infamous. And are you an asset or a liability? Because people have poured in a lot of work and brought a lot of attention. Um, to a bunch of different channels. Um, I know when I was first building up, I mean, one of the first more popular ones was Beans. Came over, I would say, early on. Chaotic. Um, fatty. Um, you know, came over early on in terms of, you know, we did a joint show with the lady. So there's a lot of help and good that people have done. 
um i just wonder do we consider people's entire history or only the parts that we dislike exactly you know? so yeah. you know and then when jay prince first came over we had a ball uh he tried to call <laughs> remember sis made the call jp you tried to call girl yeah. you um, said exactly huh um Ali, you said exactly the first time world class came over about- we had a ball i mean I just appreciate it, man. The cross contamination matters, B. You this know? guy. So, all right, I'm out, man. Y'all good? So we don't get yeah. to address our problems, huh? <laughs> nope. No. No. Nope. No. I really want to. I really want to ask Ali that, but I thought that was no. strange. Well, Can we at least what? do our final thoughts? I thought um, that was- <laughs> yeah. My final thought is this. (laughs) (laughs) My final thought is this, man. I know people think that it's not good for you to be jealous, but I'm jealous. The show you saw tonight, this is a show that I have been suggesting for a very, very long time. I've been wanting, I've been wanting to get world class and Aaron O on the same panel, Jay Prince and Fatty on the same pr- on the same panel, me and Ali on the same panel for a long time. But the difference is, is that I'm objective enough, introspective enough to understand that I was just suggesting it, and Hemp actually put it together. You he actually my reached name, out to people and put it together, and that was the difference. I was afraid of being rejected. I was afraid of hearing no's. And who knows? I probably would have heard them no's. But the fact of the matter is he put it together. You made one of my dreams come true. This is not understated. I'm a little bit emotional even just talking about it. It's to have World Class and Aaron O on the same panel. And world class knows this, no matter how much he might hate me. And I think these niggas is the dopest niggas in the space. And I think they some of the dopest niggas I ever met in my life. And as much as they get on my fucking nerves sometimes, I love all y'all. I'm so glad that I was able to be a part of this. And just much respect again to World Class, Sharon, J Prince, Ali, Fatty, Aaron O, Cheeky, and of course, Ham for putting it together, man. Thank, <coughs> thank you, fellas, for real. No, real shit. You got a final thought, World Class? Um, I'm the best of the best. Ain't nobody close. Ain't nobody close to close. You can have whatever you want on your stupid little channel. Um, when you get on the panel with me, the gap is gonna be pretty clear. It kind of this night went the way I felt like letting it go, to be honest, in terms of being one of the panelists, not the moderator. And um, because I was asked by, you know, my people to be more patient and um, not be as angry. And I think I did that. But I think you guys need to really pay attention to what the fuck you're saying and why the fuck you're saying it. Um, Because constantly saying rhetoric is not going to make you smarter and you will get exposed by people that are actually studying. Sitting there, and uh, I, I think me and Hamp was patient and sitting loud, y'all to have that dumb conversation, knowing that y'all didn't have the expertise for like an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I think that's the it's indicative of what happens in this space, and what makes a person like me, I'm gonna just be vicious. Hamp will be patient um, when it when it comes to those that stupid level of banter and back and forth. Um, if we want better quality, you got to be better people. Like same thing I told my son, mother, you can't be a better person, uh, parent than you are a person. So y'all got to work on your self-development, your hearing ability, stop throwing up dumbass narratives, and then when somebody do it to you, you whining and crying. One of the things to point out is like the shit where I snap is like, if you're going to sit and make uh, accusations on somebody, say that they're a panderer, say that they're deflecting, say that they're derailing, then when somebody does the equivalent, irrespective of their intelligence level, you have no right to call them out and act like they're doing something that you're not when both of y'all was wrong the entire time so it's just an integrity thing you know what i mean and uh that's why things like these 
don't happen and can't happen because unless we're being a ridiculous level of, of patience, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think Sharon did a great job tonight, to be honest. Um, this fucking kills my soul to give this boy credit. But I think um, Darrell was extremely patient. That's the best, the best behavior I've ever seen him uh, do. Um, and I, I, do the antagonistic shit. Um, I could sit and complain about one person, but it is what it is. And uh, overall, I think it was a dope idea, Ham. So I was a part of it. Um, and I think people really need to do a side by side. So the people that were on the panel, including myself, can really do a quality check of when the women did it and then when we did it and see which one was better. Hmm. So, uh, oh, my bad. Go ahead, Ali. You go. Oh, so this is the definition of a pyrrhic victory when someone will think they get a victory and they're actually destroying themselves. Um, there's a saying, there's a tree, when a tree falls, um, does it make a noise if nobody's around? He has to have enough viewers for him, him even to make an impact. But um, the fact that my, his whole entire content, content is me and Fatty, I don't know how he can profess to be the greatest debater when his whole his whole platform is us but he's losing viewers every 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 week so the fact that he decided to do that as a leader that isn't the final leader and if you're doing that to demonstrate to your son how about youtube and you're not talking about leadership or bringing the community together and your whole entire content is beef content that don't solidify a real man so people got to watch it for you to make an impact o only reason why you here is is because you come on this channel and you support no disrespect to him you your friends with him but outside of that nobody's watching that for you to make an impact on anybody listening to anything you got to say and luckily for podcasts he supported it but i was right in support him when you try to do certain things on his platform and lost all the people that came in, came to support you and you turned against them as well too you lost everybody except for a certain people so you can have that final thought you got that's the only uh fans you got so respect to you uh world class and keep talking about us thank you for making this famous oh uh, is my go yes sir well um I made you favor. Shout out, shout, out, shout out to him for bringing this show together, man. Appreciate you, um, Ali. You need um, you forgot about y'all. Y'all, the Untouchables, was about Jay Prince for president. Um, you mean you mean the, the channel we created? I did not interrupt you. I did not interrupt you. Okay. Your whole channel is a beef channel. Y'all okay. been stalking me. Yeah, me on me hanging on my list nine months. Nine, no, ten months straight about Jay Prince for president. My name built your channel, so you going out picking on world class. See, <laughs> this one, this I always tell people. Deans, I'm putting every, it on private, man. Every time you point fingers, <laughs> I'm pointing right back at you. And that's a known fact. Everybody will tell you that y'all started, y'all hopping on my name to build your channel, and your channel is nothing but a goof channel. Even when you try to make it positive, and somehow your leader wanted to give friend. back beef with the president, so I think you should chew up on your own advice. Uh, take some, do some more self reflection, take accountability, stop pointing fingers at somebody else, and look at you. You describe world class to your from your perspective very well. Now you got to sit back and look at how your channel was built, how your home was built, and you might see the resemblance. Everything you said about him. I, I, I could I was so easy to say about y'all right but that was my whole purpose that was my sole purpose of this conversation mm -hmm. when I said I was intentionally trying to be the uh, liability I'm coming in when when truth hit the last <coughs> get a score I put mirrors in people's faces okay I'm vaping for president and I and, approve this message and your channel dead just like world class channel is dead oh, no, I'm putting this on private so since we um our final thoughts is sneak distance oh lord i'm gonna say this Don't my show it. would be at 9 a.m ish in the morning every single day i am the solution based game i rebel against remedial rhetoric every day i want people to mind out their own thoughts and not just use what you can hear it and regurgitate things that they heard before i want you to substantiate your own thoughts and hold to your words. That's what we do every single day. We mine out different topics. We deal in issues, and that's why we call it a solution-based gang. And um, I think it was a good show today. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. I made them famous. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. I want to say that uh, I think I think the majority of the show was well conducted. I think everybody comported themselves well. Obviously, we had 
uh discourse but for all intents and purposes was civil civil pardon me um you know and it's it's okay to say hemp improve on this from my point of view and then we can have the conversation or if somebody says something you don't like, it's okay to have a civil discourse, right? Accountability is key. Wrong, right, or indifferent. If somebody cares about you, their job is to say, hey, what you think about how you did on this X, Y, and Z here, you know? So it, it, it all is a, is a place to learn, you know? Uh, Could we react to it before you private it, though? Huh? Could we uh, react to it before you private it? Or I at least want to rewatch it, see what yeah. I need to prove on. What I'm going to do... What I'm gonna do is um I'm cutting out this this bullshit here. Um and I'll re upload it without all this this the shit at the end. So all that like the conversation will be up, you know. Uh I might edit out me kicking beans and Ali ass too, just cause I don't want, you know, everybody to see it. I don't I know edit, about that. I might edit that shit out hey, too. Shout out the beans, you know? baby. <laughs> Man, hey, Sean, hey, you, you, see how, hey, you see how I was slicing the dice? I had your back. That's twice I had your back. Hey, Always world class. That world class. It was, it was, it was, it was. That's twice. That shit was embarrassing. But, but no, you know, just, yeah, all the, just. This, Damn, this, I always this, got your back, so. Be, oh, I, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Brothers for real, so it hey, don't, hey, stop pandering. Don't stop pandering, please. Nigga, I already Damn, told yeah, everybody, uh, including uh, my mama. I said, mama, get at this thing in Ali got, got your back. You me, Ali got your back too, right? You said Ali had your back too, this right? Nigga telling me out his motherfucking mind. <laughs> so nah, man, but it, it was good, man. I think I think I think we did well. Um, I think there's definitely parts that we can improve on and do better. I think yeah. when I was looking at the ladies panel, I think that um, I, I liked it. I liked it, but this was fun, also, you know. Uh, hey. yeah, get the fuck. Hey, See, this is what hey, I'm saying. You. I don't worry about. I'm gonna talk about it on my show. Yeah, hold on. Hey, hey, I do. It is the credit that everybody saw. Though, did you you run you ran a phenomenal panel though? But in Thank spaces you. where this probably would never happen, you ran the panel in a space where it could happen. So a lot of people still got the things they wanted to say off in this in in the conversation without it going too left. So yeah. it's much for you to be able to run the panel the way you did. And that moment don't even equate to nowhere or shape out no. the way I feel about you. You already yeah, know no. that. We had this conversation in the back. No, 100%. 100%. Because if you see, because what no. I take it as, especially if you do it, Beans does it, really any of the brothers, but specifically with y'all, because you know I usually don't miss a lot of stuff. So if you think I missed something and I didn't correct it, it's only right that you'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Like right. beans will be in the chat saying shit like, hold on, hold on. Okay, Hamp is back. You know what I mean? So I Absolutely. get I understand where it's coming from. So I'm consistent. Yeah. <laughs> love is love is love, you know. Open love rebuke is better than secret. Right, open, open rebuke is better than secret love, you know, to me. Uh so I agree. So listen, wait a minute. Since since you gave at least you gave Jay Prince like 37 hours to address his uh yeah, you gotta end it now. End it. Bang. Let me address mine. We'll be here all night. Um, we, 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 we I want to say that. I don't I think we're gonna find a book. He had a suit on. on. He had a blazer and a dress shirt on all night long. He oh, tried God. to show us up. I told this nigga I didn't have no suits. He still wore one. If he can, <laughs> yo, I need to get some damn suits, bro. <laughs> when I told my mama you said that, she was like, that's a damn shame. You supposed to have a blue suit, a black suit, a brown suit. <laughs> a gray suit. Yeah. I ain't I don't own a suit, nigga. Not one, nigga. Yeah, we gotta one. get one, man. All right, well, we gotta run it just for caskets, baby. Oh fuck around. Christ. Smoke hey, dumb ass nigga. Well, y'all be safe. I'm gonna so Let me know when you want the real smoke world class. I got it for you. In terms None of, of in terms of in terms of everybody, I'm gonna have to put this on the, the, the highest members pot, but I am going to um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a, I, I, just some of the riffraff. I, I gotta take it out, but I'm gonna try to do it this evening at least so everybody can use it when it needs to. <laughs> so, all right, man, I love y'all. Be safe, do the right thing, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, no, <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and we out. Hey.